for your compassion, for your, give, for your forgiveness, and for you to see us through in safety, in peace, in harmony, unity throughout this month. And the truth only. And grant the commission the design in spirit to design in truth and falsehood. Also, we pray for the population and the diaspora and the international community at large to have patience. The due process of the law to take its proper course. You to whom vengeance belong, you will render to each and every one their due in your own time. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Amen. Bishop Odeko. Council, you may proceed if you're ready with this morning's among witness. <coughs> uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. May I ask that the witness be brought in, please? I pa Amadi Jalo. I pa Amadi Jalo. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. But the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Witness. Welcome to the TRRC. Thank you, sir, Council. Um, you are called here today to testify about the case of the West African migrants who happened to have been in Gambia sometime in July 2005. Yes, Councilman. Uh, but before you start your testimony, before you start your testimony, uh, may I indicate to you that we do normally have interpretation uh, in one of the local languages. In which local language would you wish your testimony to be interpreted into? Um, maybe in Mandinka, because I come from a predominantly Mandinka community. Community. May we have the Mandinka boot set up, please, uh, Mr. Mane? As the Mandinka interpretation boat is being set up, uh, may I inform you that uh, you have just taken an oath to speak the truth? Yes, uh, sir. And uh, it is a criminal offense for criminal offense under the laws of this country to lie under oath? Yes, uh, sir. And it is a criminal offense under the laws of this country to it, it is also an offense to provide false information to the commission. I don't understand. Uh, and for, uh, in order to assist the interpreters, to interpret what is being said, 
purga kanna sor lal de ma isaje nembe fo kan jang ay kanna sor nyala mi alon ko afata wala nyama respond or speak after they have complete concluded speaking eh be jabiro kala wati la min ni alon ko eh kanna sor la ni kanna sor ko foy pareta isina jabiro di uh, and also allow for three seconds in between the speeches so that the speech is not over isaje nyin kama la fanang isi montro be second sabo fanang di bula di amol tema isaje di amol nyin kana selo nyokam do you understand no that ya famle thank you very much uh inum baraba ke um Mr. Jallo, please tell us your full name. My name is Apa Amadi Jallo. Don't Apa Amadi Jallo Lati. Date and place of birth. We would have been told that we would have sent you all. I was born on the 23rd of April, 1966. We would have been born on the 23rd of April, 1966. We have had quite a few from Jara Sankia <laughs> in different circumstances. Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, give us a brief description of your biograph, your biographical information, yeah. schools, employment positions held and so forth in brief format so mala suti ya kandong ee karamuni ndamu ta mintu ole andu ila kutulu bisele ta nyono manyadi le andu yebdu ukulke dingira jumale to yema kama jumale lefa na mbara kandong wofo nyamba um i was enrolled in pakalendim primary school in 1977 1977 sangokono up to 1980 kata for 1980 i went to Pakalending Junior Secondary School. Ndara Pakalending Junior Secondary School. 1980 to 1985, Ndara Saint Augustine High School. Kabo 1980, Kadar 1985, Ndara Saint Augustine High School. Uh, where I did my GCE O levels. Mutofu na ngakarawiri kakarongo ke kavu mi GCE O level. After that, um, I enlisted into the Gambia Police Force in 1986. Uh huh. Okay. After you were tumbled and dumped the Gambia Police Force 1986. Continue. Hmm. You were just a little under. You were under Gambia Police Bunda, right? Then down Kabo, right? 1986. When I completed my training, I was posted at the general duty section of the Banyul Police Station at Communications. Now, bang, not another police do bunda, not another chokinolo bunda, not another go ye. So I was there for about six months, and after I was um, deployed to the special branch unit of the Gambia Police Force. Not an ensemble bunda, a modi police bunda, a jetto. Kafa is a special branch. Kafa is a special branch. So, this special branch for 1988. Ntar raja for 1988 sama kono. Yeah, I was promoted as an officer cadet. Nada nama nama kamu lah fakang ke officer cadet ti. So from there I was redeployed to the CID as an investigator. Rumbo rawat raja nara nang sound di dingkira raja kafu dah mende CID. Bundung bundung CID for that matter. Bundung police station ora. Then I was still a cadet officer on probation. Hanin kabimbe mumunung cadet officer di be probation ne walam ne be nakul korobo kana kajube. Then after a while, during what for untaraja for what ila? I was redeployed to Farafenye. Nara nansa ba Farafenye. Station. Walam general duties ku jamal katamar damar damento police ola dingiraro. I was confirmed to inspector after my probation in Farafenye. During nakorobo korobo ralai nara nang confirm naku sabat indikan ke. Then, then I was made the station officer in charge of Farafenye Station. Yes, was the station officer of Farafenye Jero. Uh, I left Farafenye in 1990. In Bota Farafenye 1993, 1994, Sankono. I came to Birkama Police Station as the as the station officer. Not another Birkama Police Station or the station officer. I was there until 1995. But yeah, from 1995, I was again deployed to Bundung CID. Okay, Naranan Sound, the Bundung Katra CID. 
Then in the same year, I was promoted to assistant superintendent of police. Uh, whilst I was in charge of uh, of the KMC CID, after about two to three years, I was deployed to the headquarters at the fraud and commercial unit uh, officer commanding. CID unit. Uh, I was in fraud the fraud to 1996. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint and discipline department. Then I was redeployed to the complaint as officer commanding Basse. Can Kenya run court in Basse Tundoro? Then after about a year, Sanji Kilimkoma, Nyaro. I returned to the headquarters. Nata Nata Murlan Kordabado. Then I was made the commissioner for admin. Nata Nanke commissioner member Maradu Wota Mandir Nyalla. So I was in admin for um, until 2005. Darta Odingira for 2005, so onko no. Then I was designated as the crime management coordinator. Nara nanke nyung tajire la nyung kuja ukela la ku tamandrila anyaron kodi. Good. So proceed. Continue. So, but prior to those, perjanjian dulu. I had some training. Karang odolke. In administration. Walem dovo tamandri nyadi. At the MDI. Walem kalau bangkola karam bumba mengialang kau kado kau do kau tamandri bulol tak kau wala to. And I also had a diploma in law in 1992. Diploma so to dua karam to. In the Gambia itu sangkan. GTTI. Gambia la te macam kau karam bunda ni to. GTTI. Then I was I also had a certificate. Ma certificate of anu soro to. On peacekeeping operations. Walem kairo sabat indinya tamando. At the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Center in Ghana. I also went to Nigeria. Tara Nigeria Banko Fanangkang. At the Staff College. Walem karamo mega fe Staff College. Do my officer training. Rungan na nyarong kaya karang londo kera karang kaya order fanang. I also attended an order course at the Nigerian Detective College in Enugu. Nara na karang do fanang kaya Nigerian ola karang do karamo do mega fe nye wale nyung. I also had a certificate. A certificate of an answer. On police leadership and management. Olem police ke police ya nyarongo anato poro ni kulto poro nya. At the Hendon College in London. London ko Hendon College member London sado Bangkok kang. I also attended a training program. Nara na karang do fanangke. On peacekeeping operations as well. Fanang mukairo sabatin linyaldi. At the Swedish International Peacekeeping Center. Well, I'm Swedish or la international Cairo Sabat in Nigeria, la Karamoni into. I also had a certificate. A Cairo Cairo Finance or a certificate or. At the United Nations Far East Institute. Well, I'm United Nations Far East Institute for anti. For the treatment of offenders in Tokyo in Japan. Well, I'm here on call by by in Canal la Ibera call to put on a nyadi le. And basically, it was all about criminal justice system. I also had a master's degree. A master's degree from Nsoro Karangola Karola. On on criminal justice. On criminal and intelligence. On peacekeeping and peacekeeping operations. And in Cairo, Sabat in Dinya. Yeah, you have also participated in United Nations missions. Oh yes. Ah, you done for Nigeria United Nations mission do call that. Tell us about. Yes, Councilor. Yes, ma'am. I serve in the United Nations peacekeeping mission in East Timor. Ah, Councilor, ma'am, do call that United Nations la kara sabat in the dinkira mengkita East Timor. From 1999 to 2000. About 1999, sangko na kata for 2000 sangko kono. Ah, when I return. Biru murun tanang. I was also a commanding officer in charge of Banjul Police Division. Telephone and Kira Nyarong Kodi, commanding officer di Banjul Tundogang. And I also serve in the United Nations Light Support Mission in Sudan. United Nations for the Kira Sabat in Dome, Yarong Kodi, Kaofan and Kisudan, Ngodogo, Kaofan and Kaofan. This was a light support package assistance to the African Union Mission in Sudan. 
Kaira Sabatin Dol, we are on the African Union. Um, I was one of the 10 police officers that we are deployed from various countries. Ndabe police tango kono me alonko evel tombo nkabo bankoldo. To assist the United Nations. Ka United Nations DEMA. The African Union. Ka African Union ka DEMA. And then we started the 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 UN mission in in Darfur as well. Narna damura rofa nange UN na mission ome be Darfur fana. That would be AMIS, wouldn't it? AMIS. Then I was part of the United Nations Light Support Package. Hani kabi wado nda be United Nations na kaira support indo be mall kono tumbo ndi mall fana kono le. And after the Light Support Package, it was upgraded to a Heavy Support Package. Siri nara na walo kuvula faya ke semba maya la ku sembo warandi yao kaira support indo ni ala sembo warandi. Would that be under the auspices of UNAMID? Of UNAMID. Of UNAMID. It was the the Heavy Support Package. It became the Heavy Support Hybrid Package. So, but you also participated in the investigations by 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 Amis. Amis, yes. Amis, yes. Kisi kisi da bunani da tatan wofana kona. Yes, Council. I was the chief investigator of the ceasefire commission. Ah, Council. Ntele mo nung kisi kisi la nyarong ko di wala mi joran joran ol ni e mutai bela kol kis kis la nyaame assistant the african union african union nyin na ka fo nyin ke de ma yes council and i served for almost 2 years in that mission no nga sanji fula ke do ko nyin ko nale then i returned home muruta nan su i was redeployed to the police training school here in the gambia na dan nan samba police wala karam mo nyin to gambia banko ka nyang as deputy commandant nke nyaron ko no lan ko de I was there for almost eight months. Tarra je fo karisei. Then I was also assigned. Nara nan samba kotenge. As the United Nations Peace Support Officer in Kairaba Police Station. Walam Kairaba Commanding. Kairaba Police Station member the United Nations na Kairaba Sabatindo diama la katal diama la eje. I was there until 2010. Tarra je fo 2010 samu kono. Then I was seconded again to the United Nations mission in Darfur. Nara nan hani kabi nara nan samba United Nations doko member Darfur. As a special assistant to the police commission. Okay, police all member ye ke ke la ka ke la demar ladi. So intermittently, I will act as the chief of staff in the absence of the chief of staff. Inka bi ni chief of staff ni te yende better la jaya to yala. So I was there on this degree. Yes, council. Okay, council. Clearly, you have extensive experience in policy. I come to create a yellow dose of tobacco and another police yala carola. Very well, council. Council Hakai. Both locally and internationally. Banko Kanjang and in Banko Bandala. Very well, council. Council Bagabang. As an investigator, you have headed one of the most complex investigations uh, in uh, mass atrocities in Africa. Come in, it is Baosay Kisikisiro Bunda, Ineo Maraleno. Ani dabula to kisi kisi wa ekonomi yangu kuhulem kujawa ni yangu kuhikata Afrika tundo kanya. The Darfur case involved the killing. Darfur kwenye adabula to je farol mingeka. Of about three hundred thousand black Africans. Minta Darfur mo wili keme saba mi yangu kuhita dar mo fin du mo le mo le mo le. You cannot have a bigger case than that. That's correct. In modern times, at least. In, in Rwanda, 900,000 thereabout were killed in 100 days. Rwanda, Rwanda, for now, you know, we will come and confront the fact that you all far why we chose to come and we will come and we chose to come. We get that. So to have worked in these cases, for saying that you go to any final would require a lot of skill. Uh, well, on the ball and in in Cade. Very well, Council. But above all, Rabbi Kori, Kela. You would understand the value of truthfulness. Therefore, Hamro Kela, Kumi Mune Tonya Kumayandi. Very well, Council. You would also understand the importance of not polluting the record, of putting the evidence as it is. Kumi Fana, Abe Kumale, the Fonya Kodawa Bak, Kumi Katilindir, Kewelem, Femal Mianan, Kuwele Sefeda, Ikana Fenke, Jemimba, Nondela, Bariablo, Nyama, Itala, Trinding, Itala, Senari. Working for the United Nations will require one to understand what are the standard minimum rules to be applied in every endeavor. Yalong Kumi Priya Dogo, the United Nations, Wanyanta Fikale Fenet, Mole, the Mialong Kai, Sartol Faham Bakele, Sartol Mialong Kuwele Nyantakatam, Wodo Kusipalkon. Very well. 
we want you to bring those values into your testimony. Please tell us what happened in the migrants case in 2005, July. And tell us from the events of July 22nd, 2005. And the Tamos which only get a 2005 song like on and then for now, July, July, Carol till morning for a coming get a is a new big cafe. Thank you very much, Kansu. Barbara Kansu. I vividly remembered a killer as a man on the 22nd July 2005. I wrote him on the 2005 song. I was the CMC crime management coordinator of the Gambia Police Force. The Lenin Kuja Barala Kela La Kutopoto Nyati, well, I'm telling you, Topoto Gambia Police Force La Bundala. So on the morning of the July 22nd, 2005, it was on a Friday. Usually there is a guard of honor parade along the Act 22. Police Police so as usual, all the senior police officers attended this parade. Police officials. And of course, the president as the chief guest of honor. President, So after the parade, the police officers the night, there was supposed to be. A musical jamboree at the 22nd July Square, formerly known as the Magat Square. So there were a lot of preparations. So in the night, I mean, all the senior government officers converge at the square. Because the president was attending. But I, for one, unfortunately, I did not attend. So the program uh, was streamed live on national television. So everybody was watching, I believe. I was in my room. Then on to GRTS. When the program started, so various cultural groups were performing before the president. No, whilst the president was there, so many musical cultural groups of various tribes were performing. Um, it, it went on for a while until around midnight or so. I was watching. But I did not go. Because I was so tired because in the morning I was at the parade ground and you know it was so tiring for me so I decided just to stay home. So whilst I was watching. I saw the then director general of the National Intelligence Agency, Daba Marena. Ngaje nuto director general korda tume mbenu ena e kafa e Daba Marena. Got up from his chair. Wilta la sira ngokang. Went and spoke to the president. Tata diang the president nuto president we. I can see that vividly. Ngoje le nyake sola. Was he the only one you saw? Atele mo Daba Marena minge numbang. Speak to the president in that manner. Kadiamo president wa wanyama. No consul. I also saw my boss, my former boss, Usman Sonko. What position did he hold at the time? Usman Sonko was the Inspector General of Police. Usman Sonko was the Inspector General of Police. I also Inspector General. I also saw him after Marino spoke to him. Then I also saw Usman got up from his seat went and spoke to the president because the camera was zooming on him. Obviously, not being there, you wouldn't know what they talked about. So I don't know what they were talking about. Because. 
proceed, please. So, but whilst uh, Marina spoke to the president, but he covering uh, Marina will die. The other one, the president, why? Songo also spoke to him briefly. Songo found the other one that is what is The festivities were still going on. Be on, be on, you know, be on, you be tenting, be kegang. But within three minutes, when Marena and uh, Songo spoke to, to, to the president, the president got up. And he turned around. And he turned around. He turned around. He turned the He turned around. 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 He I saw the, the enterers followed him. They walked down the stairs. I can still see the, uh, the camera zooming on the president. Then he hit the floor and he went to the camera. Then he left the, the, the pavilion. He walked away. But the camera also turned again on the cultural music. As far as you know, was that normal? Well, it was not very normal. You know, as an intelligence officer, I have observed the president severally. When there are such musical jamborees, he tends to enjoy and uh, you know sometimes he, he take parts you know. Exactly, but after that he just left, which was very unusual. Which is what you say it was a Would you say it was abrupt? It was very abrupt. So when he left, the music, the cultural activities continued until after one o'clock. Did you observe the president's demeanor? President, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm Well, when uh, I saw Dabba Marina spoke to him and Sonko, I didn't notice any change in his domino immediately. Because he remained seated for a while. Then he got up. But I didn't observe his face or his demeanor immediately. I just saw him start walking away. So when that happened, the music continued until around 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. <coughs> The entourage that followed him. Did they go with him or did they return to the pavilion? Uh, Council, they never returned to the pavilion. Council, they never to the pavilion. Council, they never returned to the pavilion. they never to the pavilion. Council, they to the pavilion. Council, they never returned to the pavilion. Council, they never returned to the pavilion. Council, they never returned to the pavilion. Council, they never Yes, Council. Are they Council? Um, I remember seeing the former CDS um, Asansar. Nundo Sojaro la Nyarongo Asansar Ngojele. I also saw Nurcham. Nurchal Fanangele. Um, I also I saw Daba Marena. Daba Marena Fanangele. Um, these are the very prominent people that I actually, you know, could recall. See, Nila Mold de Melango Moto, Borimba de Melango Hakilo Sio de Mano, Konga Old Delje. You had earlier mentioned the IGP, Mr. Oh, Usman Sonko. Of course, the IGP, Usman Sonko. Yeah, for no, I, yeah, police will look into it. Usman Sonko. Did uh, he join the entourage? Father, we will not come again. Yes, you. Um, yes, Council. He joined the entourage, but I never saw him again on the screen. Ah, uh, Council. I will not have any more than you. Yeah, I will not have any more than you. Can you carry on screen? Only more than a lot can you carry? Proceed, please. Continue. Uh, Council, I continue watching. Until, until around 1, 1.30 towards 2 o'clock, 
I became tired. But at a corroju be roller tele. So I switched off my television. Nana television on alpha. Then I went to bed. Tadala. So the following day was the following in the morning. The following in the morning, in the morning rather. Samo Somanda. Around eight o'clock. Talanse Mafang. Eight thirty. Talanse Tambida Minitan Sabala. I checked my phone. Nana mobile or UBA. I saw several calls, missed calls. No miss call. Jamal Taraje. And all the missed calls came from my former boss, the the deputy inspector general of police. And now commander will be me young commander of water and all in the JP Jamal Bay, but now Mundo and boss the Bunuel inspector general of police. Name, please. Tom. Uh, at the time, the deputy inspector general of police was one Abunjai. What all our member police all in Yaronko, Nolanko, and Kaome Abunjai? He called me several times. Then when I got up, I said, oh my God, I don't know what must have happened. Because um, the deputy, I, I am answerable to the deputy IG directly. So I called him around 8.30 to 9. And so the moment he, I got him on the phone. And so bring us to the telephone order. That's me, Pajalo, where were you? And you ninka konye Pajalo, you been mintele, you been mintole nu. I said about whom? Ninka embesu. He said no. Konye hani. I mean last night, where were you? Ninka konye ko kunusu to tambira, mosu tambira, you been mintole. I said I was at the square. Ninka embenu square to bendulado. I was never there. Nta numantra nunge. So he said to me, we called him, we couldn't reach you. What happened? I said, perhaps my battery was flat. I was really scared. Because you know, the police is so regimented. And then he told me, go to Kairaba police now. He said to me, some people have been arrested last night. So go to Kairaba police now. The police The NIA will join you there. NIL be kafule makan ikanne. And then you investigate. And he kiski ale kiski siroke. He told me there are two groups of people arrested from Bara. Akonye ko kafufula le sorana me alonko ye muta bar kabu bara. Some are taken to Baba Job's residence in Kololi. Dole samba Baba Job la kordato Kololi saate kono. Others are in Kairaba Police Station. Dole be Kairaba Police Station oro. I said, all right, sir. Nkaya bete yada sa. Then I dressed up. It was on a Saturday morning. And I went direct to Kairaba Police. When I arrived at Kairaba Police, I went to the charge of his station. Then I found some people just behind the counter. The counter counter. Uh, behind the counter in Kairaba, and Kunduara Koma, Kairaba Police Station, there is a metal railing just behind the counter. No, do no beje Kunduara Koma, no do le beje. Where usually suspects are detained before they are charged. Da amente yalongo, mol me yalongo, iso bi tele la ko jani be tubiro la leka iki ma ba waleto. So I went to the relief commander. Data relief commander niya. And I ask him who were those arrested the previous night. Na njini kanga ya jumala mol di menu mo da kunusu to tambila. So then he pointed them to me. Ya bulo chodi na ako nyun ako nyun lam. So I spoke to one or two of them. Di amra mo kilingu mo fula kono. Then I said, what happened? Then one of them who appears to be the, the senior man or the leader of the group said to me, we are traveling uh, uh, to come to Gambia to join a ship to go to Europe. Did he say well, where they were traveling from? Yes, ha. he said to me we are from Senegal. Senegal Bank but then I went back to the CID office to get a constable. Uruka constable odo police odo soroje. We can take his statement. Isa jensi lo kumba kongo ta. We got him. Bring na ota. In fact, all of them were were half naked. Sa fo no tol fangol be la fangol dum fangol men be la manke dum dum fen tum mari ngol fangol ti. They were not putting on shirts, so tops. Eman bendi gold dum. They only had boxes. 
an officer of the NIA came to join. NIA What's his name? His name is Ibrahim Afai. Popularly called Parfai. Dolka commanded him Parfai Lera. Parfai came to join me. Parfai Nara our Kafutam Fe. So we were in the CID office. The CID officer on a J. So I said to the man, explain to me what happened. Before we start to take the statement, I say explain what happened. He said uh, there are a group of um, Ghanaians. They are from the Ghana Civil Defence Force. A group of um, Ghanaians. They 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 came from Senegal. From Senegal, They were converted. Did, did he say where in Senegal? Yeah, from the Senegal Munto. I'm coming to um, Kansu. He said they converted at Mbour. Koi benda Mbourle. At the coastal town, one of the uh, the coastal towns in Senegal, where they converged, converted, uh, hired a ship, uh, sorry, a boat, to come to Banjo, uh, to travel to Europe. And he said to me, there is a Ghanaian man in in, in Mbur itself whose name is Kofi. Kofi. So this Kofi is the agent who was supposed to facilitate their travel to Spain. Uh, through an other person in Gambia. So as he finished his story, he said to me, I even have a telephone number. Then he removed his telephone, the telephone number on a small piece of paper. Then he gave it to me. What? The person you spoke to. Mommy, I read Did you re did you write down his name? Where it was available. Um. Yes, we wrote his name. Ah, Kansul Ngato Safele. But I really cannot remember it now. Very so. scientific. How could I remember that? Do you have any record, any document? Oh, from the jail, I tried to hear Safele Dami. No, I don't have it because we are uh, we open a file taking statements. Ani. There and then. Nga file or yele nke la kumako ni Safele Walter. So when he gave me that piece, that piece of paper, there was no name written on it. I took the number, then I called that number. When I called the number, um, somebody answered on the other side of the line. I said, who is this? I said, in Mandinka Jamalam. I said, in Mandinka Jamalam. Who is this? He said, who is this? I said, who is this? I said, who is this? I said, my name is Pajalo. He said, what, what can I do for you? I said, Jumalim again. I, I for the arms. Who is this? He said, Ntelem Lamin. Ntelem Lamin. Lamin. Ntelem Lamin. I said, which Lamin? Kudji Lamin Juma. He said, Lamin Tunkara. Kato mu Lamin Tunkara. So, Council there and then. Council Jen Jero. I said to him. Kayako. Uh, I understand you help people go to Europe. He said, yes, 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 I do. Yes, yes, I do. I said, can you help? He said, how? I said, no, I don't want to travel. But can you help? He said, oh, yes, I can. I was with Parfai. Parfai So he said to me, but when do we meet? It was around 12 o'clock. I said, 1 o'clock, can we meet? He said, where? I said, Westfield. Westfield. So I am Parfai. You drove to Westfield in my car. We arrived to Westfield around 20 to, 20 to 1. 
then we shot just by the garage. Well, you know, if you know Westfield, Mfudada, Mfudada Westfield, there is a garage just by the main gate. We sat there. Then after about 15, 10 past one or so, I took my phone again. And I dialed the same number. And all of a sudden, I saw a gentleman. When I said hello, hello, I can hear him also saying hello. So I can see him. And I waved. I said, I'm here. And he crossed the road. I see and came. Nata. So we shook hands. I said, Yes, you are Lamin Tunkara. He said, Yes, I'm Lamin Tunkara. And I removed my ID card. And ID card opened. I said, Police. I said, We need to add Kairaba Police. Then myself and Parfai. We escorted him. Then went to Kairaba Police. Did he resist? No, he never resisted. Well, I'm sorry. Ani. He never resisted. Do, do you remember how he looked? Very well, counsel. Um, I am bigger than him a little bit. I am taller than him. But he's a bit darker in complexion. He's a darker, darker in complexion. Do you remember where he came from? He came from where he came from. Council, he came from the Talindin side. Council, remember about the Talindin now from Nala. He came from the Talindin side. He about the Talindin from Nala. You know, to Westfield. And then now Westfield. Do you know where he lived? For for I don't know what to have said about him in Damimbang. Council, no, I don't know where he lived. Council, how many miles have you said about him in Damimbang? Proceed. So we escorted him to Kairaba Police. Now, attending a somebody Kairaba Police station, or then we took him in the charge office. Now, somebody office order to to enroll the more kind of diamond, or that was around one thirty to two o'clock. Okay, that talent killing time be the minute time to balance that talent for the gang. Because my boss had earlier informed me, I do not boss him. Kalam muta di nunu command, or that an order group. Was at Baba Job's residence in Kuduli. Kafodo vana mesoto ni me alonko ebe Baba Job la kordaro. So I said I was going to Baba Job's um, residence. Konfa ya si dambi da Baba Job la kordani nito. Then my boss called me again. Na boss yangu kumandi. He said to me, "Paja lo how far?" Konyo ko paja paja lo albetembe da jumale. I said we are on it, sir. Nkae sa ba kane. And he rang off. I move alo far. So the first person we had. We had his statement complete. Then we called the second person. As he was giving his statement, the deputy IU called me. He said to me, uh, Pajalo, I said, sir, you are the second person. He said, we have got information that two bodies are found in Burford. He said, can you make an argument now to go there immediately? And report back. I said, all right, sir. So as I was still sitting down, the deputy IG called me again. Within a span of three to four minutes. And minutes, minutes, he said, I told you there are two bodies in Burford. But now there are about four bodies. He said to me, can you contact our cameraman? Who was stationed in Bundu? He was named Ali Njai. Ali Njai lady. But he is now deceased. He said to me, call him now. And go to Burford. I said, alright, sir. Then I call Ali Njai. Ali Njai command. I said, can you take a taxi from Bundu? Meet me at Burford right now. Yentera Burford sign sign. After speaking to Alinjai, I got into my car. I was going to Burford. Before I and arrived, did you leave Parfai behind or did you go with him? I, I left Parfai because he has his own car. But he also found me there at, uh, later on. So, as I was going, before I arrived in Gambia, 
Did the IG call me again? Eh, police or any other uncle, no uncle, no commander, got angry. Where are you? He was shouting. Where are you? Give me minute, I'll be over there. Give me minute, I'll be. I said, I'm, I'm on the way going. Okay, na si any other uncle, basically, okay, na mbira kane. He said, okay. Yo, Ross now. Ria. So, but as he was speaking to me, but what woman have you come kanye? I thought, yeah, na mira ko, a boat might have capsized, you know, in the sea. Oh, kulumole yele matajio nyingono. And then the the bodies were washed ashore. Eh. That was my thought. So I drove up to I drove up to Ghana town. Ghana town. I went to the PIU office. We have a PIU office there. So I found the officer standing. And uh, I told them I've just got in but they knew that I was the CMC. So I told them I want you to take me to the scene where these bodies were found. They had their pickup just packed. Uh, so one of them jumped into the pickup. And two others. Then I followed them. So we left the PIU, we are the PIU but a parallel dingira ni to brufu je going towards the beach area towards the beach at abada la mafangola but they continued the it pickup continued it tendenta so i said to myself kon fay ko but that's the beach but ba 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 fe lok i used to go there in delta le kanaja so many years ago sanji jama ko manto so they proceeded tendenta um there's a junction that goes to the beach Johnson from the highway but then when we are going to watch Tanje about 200 meters away from the Johnson that goes to the beach that's where that would be into the bad reserve wouldn't it exactly so the PIU vehicle stopped I also stopped. When I saw my cameraman, our cameraman in charge of photography in the police, he also alighted from, from a taxi. I asked him how much. He said the driver asked for five hundred dollars because he took the taxi from Bundung. Then I paid him. So the PI officer led me. He said the PI officer led me. We went about two meters. Data for me, bit a meter fuller. I saw a first body. Not for a follow the line. Just. I saw the first body. Then I told the guy, the photographer, come and take a picture. If it is not too much to ask, if it is not too much to ask, under the current circumstances, could you give us a description of what you saw? First of all, you know, 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 if it is not too much to ask. Um, the body was, the, 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 the corpse, I would rather say, Furenying. was half naked. Furenying. Uh,
Uh, Mr. Chair, perhaps we should give the witness a bit of a break. Uh, we can take the coffee break now, five minutes in advance of time. And we resume um, 25 minutes past noon. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Njigita Gonsa, Sedo Solomon Dean Sang, Wakans are continuing knowing and a funion de Watota, after a minute to do the water to the promo for your new damota. So the funion de Mordata Sang is a talent turning not to demanding sad that he got in. Well, I'm to have not a minute of minute one in Lulu. Uh, thank you, Council. Uh, yes, I think it's probably good. I'm going to take that on a short break now, a coffee break, and we'll resume at 12.30. Thank you very much. Meetings again. more about safe migration procedures and local opportunities for education, employment and entrepreneurship in the Gambia. short break. Uh, Council, shall we continue, please? Well, yes, Mr. Ready. Mr. Chair, the witness is being brought in. Thank you. Mr. Uh, I, I hope you are now able to proceed with your testimony. I am. Uh, Mr. Chair, and should you need another break, just let us know. And and we all understand that it is really difficult to relieve uh, all this traumatic event. Um, and, uh, you know, should you need to stop, just let us know. Could you give you before the break you were giving us the description of the first body that you came across right? kindly give us a description thank you council council um, the first body that we saw was half naked Amunta Fankilim Balakan Sangolong, the head was broken. Clube tearing badly. Nyaja wo nyamade. From what you saw, was it by a sharp object or a blunt object? Kwete nyaya menje, ba yuko akumuni atetan. Fo, ila ukorosiro ya hakilo muna dila. Fo, fen melu ni waya lipa wala ba, fo fen buli waya lipa wala ba. Um, it is a heavy object, I would rather put it. Uh, as an investigator, I noticed that the head was broken and blood was oozing from the mouth and from the ears. Uh, 
He was the first body. Did it look to you that the killing was done at the site where you found the body? Or did it appear that the killing was done elsewhere and the scene there was just a dumping place? <laughs> Ofira onye biri nya ya je fa mun te fele ko fa roni akita dingira to ba ya na ti je ba fo ya fa o dingira nyi no je la mi hakilo mun di la o fura onye na ko do as an investigator ndi kisikisir la mun te tinya me my opinion was that na jero mun ni tiko and the assault was done on the scene ya ya benka la ya kala o dingira fo le to that was the very crime scene o le mu dingira ti ko fo keta la me is come sir what else did you see? You saw the first body. After the I head was broken. Blood coming from the mouth and, and, uh, and the ears. But perhaps to answer this question first. When you got there, was blood still oozing out? Or, or you all you just saw was that there was blood and it did come out from from those blood has already come out it was even beginning to dry not only you know but for and based on your experience would you say that this was a killing of Three, four hours, or was it more like six, seven hours? The London men did a four far on Yinka Bioke, three for on Yimen, I mean, did a year four. I buffer a co far on Yinka Montro, a full of Saba Yaro, Yaro, the manufacturer, and Nani War, and Karawa Santo. In my experience, in the Roto, the killing could have taken place within four hours by the time we arrived there. As a Keloko Faro, Keta Montro, what in Nani, the common to Janinto of Trilogy. That is, it must have happened during the day. It must have happened so, in the early hours of the morning, maybe around 6 to 6.30. Munda. Akita, sumanda, juno, le mwosa, fo, tala woro, kata, tala woro, nin talakang. Because um, the assailants, the assailants were in a hurry to leave the scene. That was far land, many were barrow, kebe, haujarin ne, purkabo, dinkirato. If they have gotten the opportunity, they could have disposed of those bodies, but because it's becoming daylight, so they have to abandon the bodies. But between why you want to move the So proceed with what else you saw. So after discovering the first body, I called the cameraman. I told him to take two shots. I took two shots. I told again further down. I saw another body in similar condition. Then I called the cameraman. I said, take two, take two shots. You, you said in similar condition. Yes. Could you, could you down for that? Could you break that down for us, please? Yes, council. Ah, council. Um, that one also, the skull was broken. And you can even see the brain falling off. Life. And uh, blood was also oozing. And you can see the from the mouth. And the ears. And the ears. So we asked the cameraman to take two shots. Go camera and go at a line at half flatter, which he did. Was it also half naked? 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 Was it half naked? Was it also 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 half naked? Was it Bodies were the their limbs free or were they tied? Eh, the limbs free or nying? If if you know nying, if the city the bamfo be 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 fire, they may blow the city. That's when they were not tied. The mantra city ring, they were not tied. The blow the mantra city ring. Their hands were loose. The blow the free in them. So we counted up to three bodies. 
and we went further down the forest. We found another one, an other one, an other one, an other one, until we counted eight bodies. And from the forest, I can count it. So the cameraman, where are they all men? They are all men. Sorry, they were all men. Cancel. They were all men. Cancel. So when we counted about eight bodies, the cameraman took all the photo shots. I came back on the highway. I was traumatized. I was confused. I don't know what to do. As the chief crime investigator of the Gambia Police Force, I was terrified. So I left the bodies where they were lying. Nothing like this has ever happened in this country before. It has never happened, Council. I left the bodies lying down there. I came on the highway. I was standing, meditating. meditating. What must have happened? So, within a short time, according, what, according to your experience, were these bodies washed ashore as we previously thought? Never. Never. What did you believe happened? I believe it was a massacre. Inside the forest, not very far away from the beach. Because my first thought was that a boat might have capsized. But when I arrived the scene, it was a total massacre. Proceed, please. While you were on the Main road. While I was on the main road, this went around 2.30, sorry, after 2 to 3, the IGP came, he came in GPF-1, that was the, the number plate of the, 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 the police, IG. At the police kuntoko ya moto mendia la GPF1 ali ya moto fangole nata. He found me standing. I entered a lorry. He called me. I am Kumandi. Pajalo. Konya Pajalo. I said, sir. Mkai, sir. He said, come here. Konya nana. I went towards the vehicle. Ntata la moto bala. Like he was coming from the, um, um, from, from, from the, um, Senegambia and towards, this side towards Tangye area. Oh, that's where he found me. I entered a jail. Uh, did he see the bodies before he had a conversation with you? Jan Ninga de Benibe Kuma Falina Nyotema. For a frail Jelaban. No country. Honey. Did he ask to see them? For a can you do a Kalaban Puruka for all Jelaban? No country. Honey. Did he enter into the forest to see the, what you describe as a crime scene? No country. Any council. What did he say to you? I'm not for When he called me, he said, What do you think? I said, Sir, this is foul play. It's foul play. It's foul play. But like sometimes uh, in the police, we use some jargons. <laughs> you know, you just to describe events. It's foul play. And what did you mean by that in police jargon? Uh, what I meant in saying it was a foul play, the killings were illegal. It was barbaric. It was heinous. And was unacceptable. And So that's what I meant by it was foul play. That's what I told the IG. Then he left. How did he react? 
Uh, I didn't notice any reaction on his face, to be honest, at that very moment. You said you were traumatized. Did he, did he look affected by it? I didn't notice that in him. When I just spoke to him, I said this is foul play. I repeated that about three times. Then he left. Did he in suggest to you that he was really interested in knowing what happened? Not all counsel. Did he look indifferent? Well, after he left, uh, did he look indifferent? Um, it was difficult to say because me and the former IG Usman Sonko, the Kulayana and the Purka of Kadu, Nime IG follow Usman Sonko. He talks less. La Diabo Bukasia. He talks less. La Diabo Bukasia. He doesn't talk much. Abukaja Mafo. So he just kept quiet. I had the drone and left the scene. Abotaji. Without even attempting to see what was in the forest. Exactly cancel. Then when he left, I was still standing. Uh, I remember the former minister of interior, Babu Karjata. He also arrived in his official vehicle. Because he knew me very well. So he called my name. He said, Are you on the investigations? I said, Yes, sir, honorable. He also didn't come down. I was standing there. Then after 15 minutes, at a four minute time, I didn't go back to the scene. Mamuru Katao Dinkirato de, the former IGP, Melene Kata IGP Tinu, landing Baji Tatin, landing Baji Kafame Tatin Baji, was coming from the other side. We broke on Karadola from the Tangye area. We broke on Tangye Mafola. Then he had, um, he had been sacked, I think, and detained, then released after two weeks or one week. Usman Sonko took over from him. Usman Sonko So he also found me on the same spot. He stopped his vehicle. He called me. I am commanding. Because I am more comfortable with, with Tatin Baji. Tatin Baji, Natalie Lakulu Sonoyata, Yofe. He being an original police officer. At a doom police old Kabrin Juna. So we know each other too well. So he called me. I am commanding. Pajalo, come here. Come here, Pajalo, na. I stopped about five steps because it was just um, on the way, on the highway. And he whispered to me. He said, be careful of this case. I said, all right, sir. Then he, at that stage, did he know what has happened? I believe he must have had the information. Because Tatin was a very sociable person. He was a household name. Even when he became IGP, we still call him Tatin Baji because of his, his regimental number. He continued to command Tatin Baji to the police to the police to the police. So he has a good network. And I took him on a kind of Then he left. Why do you think he was cautioning you? Well, I have no doubt in my mind that Tatin believed that that the state was behind this massacre. Because he had a lot of 
connections. That's why I took him to the German Lesotho. Within the police. Police Kono. And of course the NIA. Ning NIA Kono. Because he was one time redeployed from the police. That what is wrong with him? He was the police. And he was redeployed to the NIA. Yeah, Samba NIA. So he really has a good connection. And what do I took him to the Kenya Lesotho? And then what happened after that? Money that ranke. Okola. So when that happened, cancel. We don't get a cancel. I saw one journalist. Nakibar Tala Kilingije. He was working with the Daily Observer. And in Kibar Kaito Le Kaluko Ke Kafume Daily Observer. Kwa Lamin Cham. Kafa Lamin Cham. So when we are talking, Nabe Di Amukam. I said, I don't know, we should move these bodies immediately to the mutuary. Nka Malon De Bari Ni Anta Nyin Furo Lu Bundi La Jane Sain Sain Ke Samba Furo Bunoto. I think Lamin Cham made some calls, if I remember well. Nyin Manyina Lamin Cham Kumandiro Lu Bundi Ke at the Burfoot Health Center, a Burfoot Lopital Auto, so the ambulance was uh, dispatched. Between that ambulance, okay now. So the ambulance came, ambulance of Futata, we lifted this body, na you full chica, myself, Interfango, uh, I think Parfai was there, and in Nam with a Parfai beginning. With some PIU officers, we were able to put about five bodies in the ambulance. Then there were three. They couldn't fit in the ambulance. We put them on the PIU pickup. So I told them, let's drive to Banjul. We drove direct to Banjul. We arrived at Banjul around 7.15 or something like that. I went to the accident and emergency. Ntata dinkira to dami ya lonko ka jaral tere ke mole dami ka vijele accident and emergency. Then I found I informed the officer health officer on duty or doctor. Jaral la member je watembo ngakibaro diwele la. That we have got some dead bodies that we want to put in the mortuary. Nka efreo le bumbulu lafta mimi kila efreo buloto. So he gave the green light. Asanta. The vehicles went back um, to Gamtel on the Gamtel Road, the Telegraph Road. Motor Muruta Kata Gamtel Mafangla Telegraph Road for a mutuary. For a blue The mutuary was open. We took all these bodies and put them on the on the tables inside the mutuary. So whilst there, I started to search their presence. I started to search their presence. I put my hands into their pockets. So the first person, I found some foreign currency. It was about 100 and something um, uh, euros. So I removed that from his pocket and put it on, on his body. I sat the other person. I found about 80 to 90 dollars. And I put that money also on his body. So virtually, uh, all the diseased persons had some foreign currencies on them. But since we don't know their names, I had a notepad. So I labeled them as number one. Number two, uh, number one, we found about eighty or ninety dollars. I did that. Even some safe were found on one of the bodies. So when was it dollars or euros? So when that happened, uh, since I labeled them as number one, two, three, up to eight, so I took this monies, then uh, I wrapped this monies on them and, write, and wrote on the, on, on the paper the figure. So I took about eight, um, eight sheets of paper from my notepad. So I wrote number one, number two, number three. Then stuck them in, onto their trousers. But, but, but these people... You said uh, you found them only in their undergarments. How did they have pockets? Said nobody here. But I'm going to go in the mall for new food and you don't buy yet. Raja, I don't know what you're doing there. So I can't even imagine. I'm not even going to buy anything. Not all of them were under, I mean, undergarments. 
Amanka ko ibe ni ibu makurto dam manne mude. Because they were they they had their trousers. Ulu la kurto lube bala. And the one or two were in on under their garment. Amira fulani bije mani alonko wulu ila ibu makurto dogo ne bela. So when that happened, council. Ulu kita council. I went outside. So we put the bodies inside the the chambers. Na fure ulu ke fure landi dula luto. Then I went outside. Fundi tabanta. I took my telephone. Na telephone ota. I called the IG. Na police ni atongo kumandi. I said so that was between 7:30 to 8 o'clock because it was getting late. Watu mo tala uro ula ni tala lom kata tala nsa ikan kato watu mo sobe kukang. I said sir. Nka esa. We have already arrived at the mutuary. Nka mfuta tala fure bunoto. We have put these bodies inside the chambers. Na yu fure ulo ke fure we landi dula lutole. But I have found some foreign currencies on them. Bari nga banta la banku kudo ludo lutara ibala. Before I finish, ya nimbe mbandila. He hung up the phone. A telephone or do they not look at? Why do you think he hung up the phone? Ita mira na romone ya zabu ayo ke a police no eh telephone ota ya di bang itu look at? Because he doesn't want to listen to what I was saying. Na ramam pare lamu lamu mfu kang. That's my belief. Until I tell you that. He was uninterested. Yes, uninterested. Masula. Masula friend. So whilst I was standing there, no no ringe. Lamin Cham came. Lamin Cham fut atanang. The journalist from the Daily Observer. Kibar chala men botan nang Daily Observer kibar kai toto. He knew me because I used to be the police spokesperson sometimes some years back. Ayen lo ne katun tele ka police bunda la kibaru nu banke nu wati tambita. So we had that relationship. Itu chokin yo ben tema. Then he just wanted an interview. Laftan nu pour ka ka changi ka nyinin ka. Then he said to me CMC uh, what do you think about this? Ko ni CMC te men ni ronin koto. So I responded. Najabi. I said, well, this is a foul play. Ngai ni muti limbali aldi. And we will investigate this matter. Ngai ndumba kuo kesi kesi lale. And anyone found responsible, and ndumba ata muta muomundi na barumu, will be held accountable. Ndumba itele muta la ka itumi ko itele yinke. That was the statement I made. Itele wole kumakano for. As the chief investigator. Ndumba itele mkis kesi lale ni ato nkoti. And I was also speaking on the name of the IGP and the Gambia Police Force. Ndumba itele wole kumakano for. Ndumba itele mkis kesi lale ni ato nkoti. ndumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumbumb
wolunu observa ki bar kaito la nera folo ala nyati linya wile keta eh eh ki bar folo ti men safeta je it quoted me ay ntela kuma kawo lu fintin di jele asen on tele nga foko police cmc police on la cmc ko um, that uh, the dead bodies found at um, i can't actually remember the exact wording but he promised to investigate this thing to the latter and anybody found responsible will be accountable that was the observer's front page story and they also quoted like i say is found you know, i was so used to that and you know so when that happened you know I call my commanders. Nanga nyatun kulu commandi commandalu. A CMC. I didn't tell them CMC to what to know. are responsible for serious crime. And we tell them that they are kujau kujau lo kujau balula. are responsible for fraud. And we tapale ya kulu fana lo ibetele koto. Major crime. Ani ni kujau nyatun kabalu. And Interpol. Ani ni banku ni banku tema police bunda. So I call all the commanders. Now we nyatun kulu bekeli. And then brief them. I said to them, this is what happened during the weekend. So I would like you to go to Burfoot on a fact-finding mission. And then we report back. So the commanders, I remember one of them was uh, Tumani Sanyan. He was, uh, uh, he was an ASP at the time. I remember uh, Malamin Sise. Malamin Sise Fanana. He was an inspector at the time. Serious crime. I remember also Keita, Inspector Keita. He was also a very veteran investigator. So they all left for Burfoot. But before that, on Sunday, did you speak to the IGP? No council, I did not speak to the IGP. Any council in IGP Mandiam. So on that Monday, it will tell you after dispatching my, my, my senior officers on a fact finding mission I called the IG. I said IG sir. I have already dispatched my commanders. Go to Burfoot on a fact finding mission. Before I finish, he hung up. I telephoned him to call again. I telephoned him and then called Mr. Jalo. I am looking at your statement here. Say do I remember Mr. Jalo? Do I look like I'm suffering or do I look like I'm dying? And when you spoke to the IGP on Saturday, on Saturday, Sibiri Lumala. Um, you told him that you were coming from the mortuary. I kaya ko ibe bokan ng fure bumoro. Did you tell him anything else that you are going to do? For ina na kuma kando fa ina bangko ibina mengkela ba. With regards to the public. So yeah. Ning Jamal Rahmano la kuola ba. That was on Monday. Okay, that tell him Okay. On the same day. On Monday. Okay. Proceed. So when I I called the IG, the IG kili. I told him sir. Okay sir. I've dispatched my commander, senior commanders. Okay, no na niyato ko lu kanti ulu ni bula le tata. Go to Burfur on a fact finding mission. Ureta ku kisi kisi ola Burfur kata ju be men kata. Before I finish, ya ni nambandi. He hung up the phone. I telephone o kundu. So I was kind of confused yet again. But okay, I am not jackal o lafa. Did you at any point in time tell him that you were going to issue a press release? Yes. What in the solo ndela banka kalamu dani jina ko ibina kibari jenga munda alukumani na purga kumakamu dila ba. Ha. After he hung up the phone on my on on me again. Right. The phone kuntu mtulo koto kote ke. After ten minutes. Ten minutes ita ntam bita. I insisted I will call him again. Na ke na kumani kote ke. I said sir. Okay sir. I think we should write a press statement. Because when I was in the administration, I used to do most of these press statements. When I said that, he hung up the phone again. Did he say yes or no? 
He saw me as a big problem. Because I also had no iota of of anything of like of any information that you know he knew something about the whole thing. I didn't know. Are you suggesting, Mr. Jalo, that his responses to you suggested that he saw you as as somebody who was going into something that need not or should not be gotten into? That's very correct, Council. The IG never wanted me to go deep into the investigations. Wala mutoa ni ati Council. IG malafu ni mtela kisi kisi ro ye dinka kadungu kulo kulo wanyama. And he was not telling me to stop. Andu amafu ni yampu na bula. So I was also going ahead. Wao tunetafa na mbete nteni kwa watu mo. So Council, when he hung up the phone, when I suggested that we should make a press statement, bringe ni mfaya kuniyanta kibaru fintin dila la la dunga tena ni mtao safela. He hung up. I telephoned or then I couldn't do it. Then immediately, we not. I had a file on my table. Na file was on the table. Okay. This uh, this was a particular file that I ha I, ha I had interest in. You move file letting him know the men can know. But there was a correspondent. That was a friend of a friend of work. 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 Kaiti mabora ukolo from the Spanish embassy. Member of Spain the embassy auto. Through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, mentioned by the Minister Bunda, the member of the Bank of Lutema, addressed to the Minister to the Ministry of the Interior to the IGP. Me ya longo ya ki Minister le member of the Bank of Kung Kang Kunya la baribitun kulem me nyanda ta la police kunyato longo ya. And that uh, when the correspondence came, and when Bruno Kaito Nata, it was indicating that Abenyino itambi kanko. There is a ship in the Gambian waters. Kulungo be Gambia la jio lukolo ba jio kolo. And this ship. It's a cargo ship. It has come to discharge merchandise. But they are suspecting that it is waiting to carry illegal immigrants to Spain. But if the sovereign cop, Kulungi, among the merchandise, Kulungi today, so better go and attack more like a man who can't even tamala luti. He can make no kuloto samba katayi in Spain. Then I was reading that file, that same correspondence. But when I go, can I take you on a current canoe or tembo? And I got that correspondence one week before this incident. And when I go, can I take you on a current canoe or tembo? And I got that correspondence one week before this incident. And I got that correspondence. I minuted it to the officer in charge of Interpol. Nasafeka Kim Police niatunka lofana ya me ya longo. Wole mu niatunka tibangu ni bangu tema police doko bunda la. Because the IGP minuted the same to me. Kado IGP fana yoku kilimu ni kina nteka. And and minuted CMC action police. Alo aya ni safari jesi MC kuta mandi nindo. So I also minuted on the same file. Nde fana yeye safari kilo unke wa file kilo moto. That ship officer in charge of Interpol. Oh member ta Interpol la bunda la. And can you investigate and report back? Fana nsi nyingo kisi kisi yake baro murundi inkanla. So Interpol went to the port. Interpol tata wa photo. They investigate about that ship. Yo kulo la kuo kisi kisi. Actually, I remember it. Numo kujabi. Hakilo ya muto kumu ikafume numo kujabi. Dilet numo kujabi. Kala numo kujabi. He is always in peace. Kala ma alai nema ni kafarka e. He was then an inspector. Utumu inspector le muati. He was the one assigned to go to the port. Yenyi ndo kuo diati le la prayta wa photo. Go and investigate about this ship. Rukata yu kulo la kuo kisi kisi. So numo kujabi came back. Rim numo kujabi muruta na. He reported that. Yenyi le foko. The port has uh, the ship has left the port two days earlier. I was reading that correspondence. Trying to connect, you know, the the the, the dots. That's these immigrants. We are not going by boat to Spain. But they were instead. Yo, what we be men silo men pan kang utu mo scheduled to travel on that boat. What we be pare kang pro katamon on that ship. On that ship, on that ship. Kulumbale la. So as I was reading, men kang kang utu mo men, the deputy IG looked at my office. 
Please, not to go. No, 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 he said, my younger one. I said, how is it? How is it in Mandinka? Uh, how, how is it in Mandinka? He said, among Katiku. He said, uh, things didn't go rightly. Didn't go right. He said, among Katiku. Things didn't break at the right point. I said, what happened? He said, you are transferred with immediate effect. So, did he tell you who transferred you? He didn't tell me, but of course, it's the IGP. I'm not from him, but the IGP will do call him because uh, he is part, part of the senior management. The IG has the right to redeploy and, you know, transfer people at his will. IG lays him also to come on so on the cable, the young case and Babunda do la diata in young and yama. And according to procedures, wouldn't he be the only person who could transfer you? Yes, slowly off on yam and four hundred and one 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 hundred and Proceed. So when that happened, you okay, I just uh, took a piece of paper. Not kaito ta. Then I had the, the handing over. I took over from the former CMC. Not kaito ta ngamenta CMC follow bulu nembi je nte saita na plaza auto. So I started to prepare my handing over. Ifanan na na kaito da mataka safari purka fulu lu saundi nyenta plaza auto dila mena. So I told the deputy. Uko police ni punto ko lolan ko eko. Who is taking over from me? Jumale bina jam pala sota la ntebulu. He said jata balde. Ko jata balde. Commissioner jata balde. Commissioner jata balde. He's late now. Uh, uh, sign a mantra baluri. May he so rest in peace. Alama ne mani kavar kelaye. Did they tell you why you were being transferred? Ya fwene da ilo me asabu ibe sa undi kamba. I did not ask. Mungi ni nkarike. I complied. Nso nta. Did do you... No, do you have reason to believe why you are transferred? Mm -hmm. Yes, country. Ah, country. Tell the commission. Yeah, because uh, I thought it was the matter that I'm investigating they didn't like. That's, that's why they transfer me. So I complied. I prepared my handing over notes. Very quickly, by the time I finish, my commanders has come back from Burfoot. So they wanted to report to me. I said to them, well, unfortunately, I've been transferred with immediate effects. It's a CMC, what happened? I said, I don't know. I don't know. Malong. In fact, I told one of them, we cleaned up the phone call and call. Let them take me to the police ban. In some police ban. I would do the work. Malu ko I will tell the director my job because Ma we used to tease him. Malfala ila director my job katun katoyen ne. Give me the big drum. Prior ila wo tambur ba dinna. And any time there's a parade. I will hit it, everybody will hear it. So I told the officers, they were dejected. They were disappointed. They were confused. They said, no way. It's fine now. So I took my hand in over note. I took my personal belongings from the office. Then I climbed, went to the DIG's office. I gave him my hand in over note. And I had handed over the office key na office chabo fanam diala this was around 1 to 2 o'clock ni mutalan kilim kata talam fula wato leti i have no office immediately tembo office tembo lu ndalo ko kala dal did they tell you where you were transferred to ya foy na bang ye saudi din giraju malto ba yes council ha council um, the DIG told me, DIG police kunto ko no lan ko yina foy ni then i'll be taking over as commissioner for traffic in view of the experience and training you had, was the traffic section 
the best place where your talents could have possibly been better used. Ito ya mele londo menzoro. Kiesa mba kakatara mara li ntrafiko kenya ala. Foye londo ni nkarao menzoro. Ito ya mele ila uko londo ni okarao nyi. Trafiko uko ni ngirari mea ala nko isi ila londo tamani no walto ba? Absolutely not. Hali, hali, kansul. Have you in fact ever worked at traffic? Foye nane doko ke trafiko bunda afa ngoto la ba? Never kansul before that. Ani ni mwani ke kansul janu ulu. Except what I read during training. I have never commanded the traffic. So he said I should take over traffic. What do you think was happening here? Well, Council, at that moment, I feel it was a conspiracy against me. That uh, perhaps um, they could even have gone beyond transferring me. Alunga sikeno fanga isitambilo ni mpala sula le devo makamu purkante saundi sitambilo walde. Immediately I was expecting a shock. Uloto fanga nta kilo tata ni mkamu fanga koi bembaila. But it didn't happen immediately. But a man kwa uloto de. And it never happened actually. Ndo amana kifanga. So then I called the commissioner for traffic. Commissioner na member cha traffic wala no kumandi. I called him commissioner jamu konta. Kafai commissioner jamu konta. I called him. Na kumandi. He's my superior. Adu na temu na nyato kalti watumu. I say sir. Nka esa. I'm taking over from you. Sa inde ntele bete la palace hotel. He said yes. They told me. Ako ha ya phone yeni. But tomorrow I will come to hand over. Risa mami na la lengana palace hotel inse i manga du ibulo. It was not four o'clock. I cannot go home. I was later within the building. I had no office. So sat four o'clock. I jumped into my car and went home. The next day was Tuesday. So contact him and hand it over to me the, uh, the responsibility for, of Commissioner for Traffic. Commissioner, I'm not the traffic lawyer. I'm not a 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 lawyer. I'm Bari abe bunja wala sapala bangu jine to. That was in Banjo. That was in Banjo. Mbani usate wale kono. That's where the commissioner sits. Commissioner kasi jele. So I took over on Tuesday from Konta. Mitu ntalata lulu 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 ta Konta bu. So you were kicked upstairs. Munda ye 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 Tuesday and Wednesday. I was in my office. In office. Quiet. Everyone, I was quiet in my office, just sitting down. The DIG called me. When he called me on the intercom. And I went on to the intercom. I said, good afternoon, sir. And I said, good afternoon, sir. And I said, good afternoon, sir. And I said, good afternoon, sir. I said, good afternoon, sir. I said to him, my elder. I said, good afternoon, sir. Uh, how, how are things? He said, among Katiku. He said, uh, well, things didn't go the right way. I said, what happened? He said, they say you should leave headquarters. Because he said, headquarters, police la Korda Bato. With immediate effect. I'm going to Kairaba police. So he said to me, all the MTO, that is the motor traffic officer, to provide you a transport. You take all the furniture. You go and sit at Kairaba police. Was this normal? It was not normal, Council. Would you, what would you say they were now trying to do? They were trying to kick me out of the police force. So, were well, they not also trying to create a distance between you and the in actual investigations that was happening? Absolutely, counsel. They don't want me to have anything to do with that investigation. Mm -hmm.
proceed. So I call the MTO. Na MTO commandi. I said to him, can you send me a transport? I should move to Kairaba police. He said, okay, tomorrow I'll send a transport. So he sent a transport. He sent in a transport. I'm talking now. Then the officers came to help me out. Move the furniture from the police headquarters to police to on the truck to to I hope you had an office to, to put them in. Yes, yes, council. I, I, I had an office. Ah, council, officer be where I was asked to sit. Yeah, for you, you see that. Was the officer in charge of CID's office? So I was given uh, that office to be commissioner for traffic. So whilst uh, we are doing that movement, transferring this furniture, um, visibly, the officers were emotional. Uh, they were demoralized. Others really broke down. I, went to I was sitting in Kairaba. Kairaba doing nothing. But uh, when you return to Kairaba, mm -hmm. did you see uh, those people you had interviewed before? Uh, when I returned to Kairaba on that Wednesday, uh, I, Wednesday I was moved. So that afternoon, when we transported the, um, the furniture, I went to the police station, the charge office. I did not find any of those people who were detained there during my time. I didn't see anybody. Neither did I find Lamin Tunkara. And I didn't ask. I just went to do the diary. That they were sent to mile two, something like that. That the detainees from Tunkara were sent to mile two. Because as a senior officer, I can inspect any police diary. I was sitting down in my office. Do nothing. Mantara fenna. Headquarters will never consult me. Headquarters will become commandi. Or so quiet there. Mbe jiri inje doro. In fact, there was a time. Wati nata soto. I remember the president of Côte d'Ivoire. Nari hakilo baka Côte d'Ivoire la president wo. Loran Bagbo. Loran Bagbo. Came on a visit to Gambia. Nata kumbaburo la Gambia. And then I was never informed as commissioner for traffic. Alu hange kaki baro di nante memu commissioner di memu marta silo lula. Trajoso. I want them wanye. I went home and then came to Kairaba to go to the supermarket, one of the supermarkets there. I saw the police officer on group line. The police officer on group line. I went on the traffic light. The police officer on the traffic light. I went on the traffic light. I asked them what happened. They said we have a state visit. 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 I should have been the person at the forefront providing route lining and security on the highway. I was in inform. You were sidelined. I was sidelined. Blindsided. Blindsided. Exactly. 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 And kept away from everything. From everything. And what was your crime? My crime was trying to be professional. Trying to, Try to investigate a heinous and barbaric crime. Perpetuated by our own people. Not us. By who? Monkey dirty, By the security forces. In the name of who? 
président His Excellency, même le président de Tumo. How do you know that? Because that I know um, uh, on that particular day, during the festival Jamuri, if you like. Um, I can see the president leaving after he was after he had he had a tete a tete with the chief of intelligence who was Dabo Marin. Now the president will await at the palace or to abort a day, bring an in Dabo Marin to the abuta. Abruptly he went. Kita kuterin si dorong abul tanya mengkata. And then I I don't see anybody. And the mama moje among the security chiefs. Yang niat orang kolu kolu menu kita kantor nintang kada dua kualiti. Who has the daring mind? Mensi fatia the audacity. Kau ingin jusub bengos soto the power. Kasembo soto instruct for the execution of these migrants. Mensi kamu di puri ini luntang lufa. Orang dari presiden. Nama ke presiden wati. No the chief of defence staff. Sejauh lalu kundung kota, nuri IGP, IGP tak kela, nuri Director General of the NIA, alu Director General NIA tak kela, nobody else, alu more tak kela. This is my opinion. Ni nampun tela Gerald. From all you know, you had your ear on the ground. Ite men belong, ye la itu lo nying beku kony konam. Did you see a serious investigations going on? Faya jele banko, sobe ya beke ne kany kony taka kis kis. Um, Council, you see, um, when I left Kairaba, when I came to the headquarters, the CMC, Brimbata headquarters, Kabo CMC Palace Um, Jatabalde took over from me, the late Jatabalde. Yala Jatabalde Palace Hotel, nte, nte, nte kasai mnoto. Uh, I decided to keep away from these investigations. Na katapurka mfanjam fandi nyin kisikisirola. I don't want to know. Mala falona. I don't want to ask. Mala fini nyin karola. Because, but because, um, I can even notice. Some senior officers were giving me distance. I was kind of isolated. But I was determined that I will never give up. I sat in Kairaba. There was no investigation during my time. Uh, prior to that, the CMC, um, I was uh, nominated as an investigator. In Therefore, therefore, then uh, when the time comes, and I was at Kairaba, of course. I had an interview from DPKO. I was selected as one of the investigators. So during the interview, at the end of the day, you know about it and the chairman also knows about it. I asked the panelist. When are you going to get me out of here? So they said to me, go we'll to a permanent mission. So we write to a permanent mission. So you will write to your permanent mission. So within a week, you wrote to the permanent mission. Offered me the job as an investigator. And I should go and pick a ticket from the DPKO. So I mean, I went there, did that. I don't go to the headquarters to because... UNDP or to DPKO? Uh, UNDP. <laughs> UNDP in Tata Walto. In Banjo. Banjo. So I don't go to the headquarters. Manta police corridor today. Because there was a personal man grata for me. That was Jemu Dinkirati Manso Lanna Damen. So I didn't go there. I went to collect my tickets. Then a date was scheduled for me to travel. So I had a service passport as a senior officer. And I had a passport as a senior officer. So I, I may not need a visa to Sudan. But on arrival in Khartoum. When I saw the, sorry, on arrival in Addis Ababa. Um, they checked my passport. In the passport of Ube, there was no visa for Sudan. The visa to the for Sudan. They refused to take me. But I would not board. But in terms of my preparation, no wala. Because at the time, at what tempo? The government of Sudan were definitely against the UN getting into Darfur. We Sudan for man sakunda man preparing the UN to do Darfur. But the African Union were already there. But the African Union move from Ube then kafu wala mo lo bije. Then Basir, President Basir. And there was no UN will ever enter or set foot in in, in, in Sudan in Darfur for that matter. And ICC. 
So I was refused um, um, to fly to Khartoum. So I was stranded in in in, in, in Nairobi. It was Nairobi, sir. Nairobi. Maranta Nairobi. Nairobi. I was there for two weeks on the air, in, on the floor of the airport. No, no, kufla ke ila kulunti la jidula la terotoje. I could not go. Mantalo. So they said they would um, arrange. Kenya Airways said they would arrange a flight for me to Dakar by you. Kenya Airways ko be sino parendi la njenga bo Dakar kana banjul. I said never. Oh, nene te kela. I'm not going. Manta. So I stayed there. Ntarsaje. Virtually, I was just like an employee of Kenya Airways. I know all the flight schedules. The flight that comes in and out of um, Jomo Kenya at the airport. The flight that comes in and out of Jomo Kenya at the airport. I started speaking to DPKO. Jomo Kenya at the airport. And I started speaking to DPKO. So they wrote a note verbal. Yes, sir. Okay. To allow me in. So when I got the note verbal, I went to Kenya Airways again. Data Kenya Kuluntila Lokumbula Lakoteke. I gave it to them. Nadila. They scheduled me for an order flight. Yeah, not a parent Kuluntila Dola. I arrived in Khartoum. Furata Khartoum. They said no way. Court for Nantekela. I'm not going in. I can't do it. I was deported. Yeah, in Fintindi. Back to Nairobi. Yeah, Murundi Nairobi. I was in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Almost three weeks. That hand for no Kunsaba. Then. I informed the DPK again. Now for DPK or a court case. They have refused me entry. Oh, you're the balance of the problem. Because then definitely President Basir has vowed that no UN staff will ever enter. Now to President Basir, you will have to let us go. You and the local let us do the job for. Did you explore the chat route? Oh no, no, no cancel. Any cancel? So what then? Uh, uh, I received an order not verbal for uh, twice. You're acting in 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 a short in a short day. I address to the Sudanese Foreign Ministry. They should let me in. But now, I sign ticket. I don't have a ticket. I don't want to come to Gambia again. I call the Gambians in Sudan. They contribute among themselves. Led by Tatim Baji. Because he had already left at the time. They contributed. Bought me a ticket. Then I flew to Khartoum. Khartoum And then after I got my visa to Darfur. And you can get a visa to Sudanese visa. Uh, Sudan, la visa soto no you also need a visa for DAFO. For your visa, you need for a member for a visa. I you know about that. Council member is a So that is how I got into DAFO. For that DAFO, ten and don't take ten. As an investigator. That I'm going to make this reality. What precipitated that was a report by some NGOs. Yes. Explaining about what happened in DAFO. In DAFO. And then the Sudanese government put a blanket cover over that for no UN staff, no ICC staff would enter there because I had submitted an application for warrant of arrest against the Sudanese foreign minister at the time, mm -hmm. Ahmed Harun and Ali Kushib. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, yes, so you went to Darfur and after that you, you went to the United Kingdom. Yes, in fact, before that, before that, before that, before that, before that, before that, I worked in Darfur as uh, an investigator. And after I was assigned as the um, as the chief investigator of the ceasefire commission. But there was a ceasefire commission um, um, uh, created by the African Union. And I was the chief investigator. I was there. Gambia may be the smallest country in Africa, but it will host the second largest gathering of world leaders in 2022. To successfully host the OIC summit and put the Gambia on the global stage, the government of the Gambia set up OIC Gambia to mobilize resources for the implementation of key development and infrastructure projects on a scale never seen before. 
20 new roads will be constructed across the country and the Bertel Harding Highway will be expanded into a dual carriage highway of two lanes on each side from the airport to Sting Corner. All people in the Gambia deserve clean water and a constant flow of electricity. Therefore, an entirely new water system will be constructed, including new transmission and distribution networks to meet the increasing demand. In order to provide a more reliable supply of electricity, the OIC Gambia project will replace and double the capacity of the Nawak transformers and overhead electric cables. We will equip the police with modern apparatus and technical training in an effort to keep the streets of the Gambia safe. By building the largest international conference center in the region, a five-star hotel with state-of-the-art facilities, first-class mobility services, and improving the VVIP experience at the Banjul International Airport, OIC Gambia will position the Gambia as the leading conference destination in West Africa. With our partners in the tourism sector, we will reinforce the preeminent position of our nation, the Smiling Coast, as a go-to destination. The OIC Gambia will create strategic partnerships that calls for the involvement of local talent and businesses as a matter of requirement. In short, OIC Gambia projects will create jobs, boost commerce, accelerate growth, improve the urban outlook and lifestyles of many families across the Gambia. So let's support the OIC Gambia as it prepares us for one of the biggest global events. OIC Gambia, building today for a better tomorrow. In 2008, then I came back to Gambia. Gambia. Then I requested coming, then I should be transferred to the police training school. I don't want to go to I don't want to go to the headquarters. But did they did they in fact sanction your move to the UN? Did they give you the secondment that you needed? Yes, okay. okay. So I went to the police training school. That the police karamoto. I was made deputy commandant. Yenke kuntongo no langkoti. I was there for almost eight eight months. Ndiye kari sai. And then the, the, then the, um, the United Nations Peace Support was created for Gambia Police. And what more than United Nations la makur bunda pur yenta Cairo sembentu yala nyami yau bunda nombi Gambia Police. With the support of the Swedish government. And we makur of an Sweden man sakunda le bulo bakoto. So that office was created. Yau officer nombi and headquartered at Cairo. And we between yau of an la korda ke Cairo Police korda to. So the IG said. Oto what more IG ko. Then uh, Jesus was the IG Esabaji. What do Jesus Esabaji at the IGT? Decided I should go and hurt it. So I'm, I was there as head of the Peace Support Center. As head of the Peace Support Center. I was there 2008. I was there 2008. 2009. 2009. 2010. 2010. I had an offer from the UN. UN. A special assistant to the police commission. Because then the mission had already grown from African Union to a hybrid mission called Dafor. Because of my experience in Darfur, I was one of the first few police officers from the UN side. So when the new police commissioner arrived, police commissioner he needed a, a, a special assistant, which was on a fixed term appointment. So I got the, the offer. When I got the offer, I try. I don't want to go to the headquarters again. Because there was a PNG against me. So, but finally, I have the most of the courage. I went to see the IGP. That IGP, I saw him the letter of offer. That was Jesus. And then um, he said, okay, we'll have to see the, the minister. 
Okay, so it took some few days. But I insisted I must see the minister. So I he was here at the time. So the minister was Usman Sonko. Minister mu at Usman Sonko leti watumu. Who declared you PNG at the police? It was Usman Sonko. Kamu ni Usman Sonko le koye mansula na police kordato. So I was reluctant. Munta manke mfungola dianye kuti. Because I never saw Usman Sonko again until the day. Atu nene mwa Usman Sonko jakote ke hanifu lumu me ya lanko. When when myself and Jesus. Buri nte fungoni Jesus went to the ministry. Data minister bunda yina. So Jesus asked me to wait outside. Jesus kuna mbatu banta. I said no way. Kai hani. And I have already received my UNLP. Atu dumo UN la fankanta kaito bembulu. So I went inside. Jesus when I followed him. Jesus went to the mumbula talo. So he said to the minister, "Ko minister enko." When Pajala has got a job with the UN. Pajala do ko soto le UN. So he's requested for a second man. So I men kanu wole minti member kela ala sambara ala tarang kaitoti. It was the first time I saw Usman Songo for quite a while. Wole sinya follow the Usman Songo jalo ayata na wati jam maje. And immediately, when not today, he gave the green light. Santa. He said, Jesus, why do you have to keep him? Let him go. So Jesus said, okay, no problem. Jesus called, uh, so we went back to the headquarters. It was after 4 o'clock. I used to be the commissioner for admin. So I drafted the, you know, the request for me. You know, to be seconded to the UN. You know, from a kaito ni safi me ya longo wale mo bunte la fankandaran kaito ti kaito ni kumbita la UN. He signed it. I signed. And the following day, also mo he was sent to the PMO. Yeah, key PMO. Because I was really uncomfortable. That was mantera sewering kulo Kenya la utembo. Um, I have been going to the, I went to the PMO once twice. That a PMO sinya kilimfula. Then my request was granted on second men. Itu inata song na o palaso purkata. Yeah, but before that, I have some very close friends actually. They asked me to wet my back. Because there is a particular jungler that was jungler sotonta who was who was assigned. Who was that one? This jungler. In jungler, a little came to know. Not a long call. It's called Fantunyabali. A little came to know. Not a long call. It's called Fantunyabali. A little came to know. So immediately I left. But I just went away. And after your stint in the in the uh, in the UN, mm -hmm. Darfur, mm -hmm. you went to the UK for some further studies. Yes, council actually yeah. council academy uh, as an international staff. Usually, um, you you are entitled to what is called, I mean, RNR. Usually, rest and recuperation. So, but as an international staff, actually, it was always very lucrative, if you like. And to visit your country. It was tough for me. Koleyadan tefe. Council, so I was there. Council Mbije, I was the um, special assistant. Ntelemu nyaton ko nolam koti. With the police commissioner. Police commissioner Bundala Karola. I think I worked with about four commissioners, police commissioners in that mission. Na mera wo Bundala nim police commissioner nani le edu koke. One time there was no chief of staff. What is it on the chief of staff man soto member kela kundong koti? The chief of staff has left. Rumah memu chief of staff tinggal bertata le. So I was appointed as acting chief of staff. Jadi nanti ni pelasau di mana pelas chief of staff pelasau ni mara. I was doing both. Mbadu kuflo bela kekang. But can come to Gambia. But mungkin ada Gambia. Why couldn't you? Mona tinai tinano. Council because of the threat. Council katu silang diri ko. 
But finally, I have to minister the courage. Come back home, we say to now. When my mission ended in 2014, I was still not comfortable. But you told me to wet my back. Why do you think mm -hmm. that Fancy Nyabali was detailed to kill you? Because Fansu Nyabali, I understand, was a jungler. I don't know him in person. But I have heard his name. And the one who told me, I mean, I for me. It was a former police officer who found Fanny Menekata police will to know. He would not lie to me. So he warned against that. I am Dandala. Why do you think they would want you dead? Yeah, because of the case that I was investigating, they didn't like it. That may be the reason. Yeah, that was the time I left in 2014-15. And then I went to UK. And then I went to UK. And then I went to UK. to UK. And then I went to UK. And then I went to UK. After I came back. But while studying in the UK. Did you come up. Did you come across any Gambians who had a connection with this West African migrants case you were investigating? And I fell on more water like a West African migrant. Yes, Hello? Yeah. In fact, um, whilst I was in UK, what I in the UK, it's a Gambian guy. Gambia He came from the same area in Jara. But I'm not from We were speaking on Facebook. The dear Mukanyo Facebook. And he said to me, Commissioner, 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 do you remember the day these Ghanaians were killed? For Hakilo Yamutale, Lumme Yin Ghanian Olufa. He said, Yes, I can remember. Guy hung Hakilo Yamutale. He said to me, You see, when we saw you coming. We were terrified. This officer was a member of the PIU. He said to me, we are so terrified when we saw you. He said to me, I said to him, what happened? Why, you, why were you terrified? He said, because we just buried nine bodies before you arrived. When he told me, Brian I said, but where did you bury them? He said to me, you know the crime scene? I said, yes. He said to me, after that, immediately after the crime scene on the right-hand side, there is a baobab tree. Behind the baobab tree, we buried nine bodies there. He told me, because he took part in the burial. I knew for you in Kadu at a former Mabita Badi Rotoli. So when I came back, the next day, and Asamu, I went to the scene. In that day, I went to the crime scene first. And I walked um, to the um, to, to, to where the alleged mass mass uh, uh, mass grave is. Between Birimbata Koke Lulato and Tamatan Sula Kata Ikonim Mojama Badi Obedaming. That's how I know the place. Nadin Kira Long Ten. You saw it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I saw the place. What did you But I cannot actually identify the spot. But yeah, he told me, I am sure maybe within 20 to 25 meters radius, it should be the mass grave should be there. When did you return? What year? In 2014 to end to, no, 2018. 2018 Yes, consul. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. I have no further questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Council, and thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jallo, for your testimony. Baraka Baka, Council, Baraka Baka, Mr. Jallo, in the Yakumakamal Minfajang. And thank you for a tremendous service um, to the United Nations. Baraka Baka, you do Kendo Minka United Nations. 
notwithstanding the difficulties that you were encountering in your I, home country, you uh, sacrificed and uh, um, helped them, uh, the World Organization to carry out its mandate. The mandate, is, the mandate inspired by the preamble to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war. Notwithstanding the difficulties at home, you were one of those some uh, Gambian contingent um, uh, who serves um, the organization. Again, thank you very much indeed, Dema, for that service. So you had to endure difficulties in your home country. Uh, two quick questions. Did the uh, DPK reimburse the Gambians who paid your ticket from Khartoum to Darfur? Was the ticket reimbursed? From Nairobi. From, from, Nairobi, from, from Nairobi. Nairobi, yeah. Mr. Chairman, the ticket was never, it was kind of a welfare. Mr. Chairman, I was in the house, 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 I was in Bari sebo ko hanu ma ko lolo ya ke wala kan drong e ye bro fay no kay ye tikato nyin jo bari man ne bulu masai no they should have been reimbursed them if they um, get you to the duty station that obligation would be on dpk that's correct nyante bulu masai la dpk o nyanta bulu masai o kala le wayri wolle akata an fo ye futandi tadulato the second question whatever happened to the eight bodies that were taken to the mortuary I didn't know anything that happened to those bodies again. But there was a PNG against me. I went to Kairaba police and sat down there. I don't know what happened to those bodies. Thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, if you have any questions, um, uh, Imam Jala, you have the floor, please. Imam Jala, what can you hear? Thank you, Chair. Chair Baraka. It is very sad what happened to you. I mean, get a new nuclear water bucket. You are doing service to your country and to your people. If you do, you can put it in a bank or in a bank or in a mall. Will put you on such pressure that you are almost crying right in front of us now after many years. My question now is Are these people still in service who are your bosses? Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner Jalo. <laughs> During those times, uh, the IGP was Usman Sonko. Well, of the Kelatu and the IGP Usman Sonko let him um, He was subsequently appointed as Minister of Interior. In a tatombo, he became Minister to Member of Banko Kankuyala. And uh, after I understand, he fell out with the then President. Abarwan Beko la na tani fahamu ko anin President wona takuya. Then he fled the country. Abortai Banko Bula. He was my direct supervisor. Um, the deputy IG at the time was uh, Abunjai. Uh, he was also kind of frustrated. He, was, he, he also resigned from the police force. So they are no longer there actually. Yes, uh, Commissioner Jalo, sir. Just a point, uh, except for Esa Baji Jesus. Yes, Esa Baji. Now, man, ke Esa Baji, who became IGP. Who became IGP? Well, after all these events. Me alonka fanana taka IGT ni mkulu betamu mkola. 
And is, is still serving. Still serving, yes. And but he was not connected with the immediate period after, after exactly. the events. When that man took him down, so to cool, the time at the moment, and at the time, Uh, Imam C. Baraka. Imam C. Uh, 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 I am praying for you because of the um, difficulties that you went through. The day you went to Bruford to look at those corpses, and they might have born the way they died, the horrible way they were killed. You spent the whole day from morning to uh, evening. You were doing this job, loading corpses into vehicles and taking them to the mortuary. And after that you went to your home. How did you feel during that night? Thank you, Imam. And the that day, uh, Imam, Imam, Imam C. That day, uh, that day in, uh, we are talking about Imam Midana C. Gihawit. I cannot sleep throughout the night. Till Midana, the Midana I didn't even uh, sleep throughout the night. Hey. Yes. It was really hard for me. I cannot sleep. My second question. The death the, or the dead people you saw, and you know that this was done by people. And uh, you wanted to stand to follow it up until to reveal those who were responsible for committing such heinous crimes. They decided to remove you immediately from that job. How did you see yourself uh, uh, with these things happening? Imam, how I can describe the situation at that time? There was no law in this country. Because I didn't commit any crime. I was just doing my work. I didn't do anything wrong. What I wanted to do is to follow it up and know who were who committed this crime. That's all what I was doing. Thank you, Imam. Thank you, Imam. No further um, questions. I'm just one last one. The fifty some uh, individuals um, who were killed, fifty plus. Individuals who were killed. Was it on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary? Yes, on the eight bodies that you had seen, or have you seen more than that? Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Yes, on the eight bodies that were found in the mortuary. Because when they were being transported from Bara, um, I'm sure the deputy IG must have tried to reach me. Nalo deputy IG William IG no lamko aya katale lumpur kam futante mawa la nyo moi, but he couldn't. But among soto no. So I don't see the life bodies actually when they were being transported. I only saw the corpses at the end of the day. Uto me baluri noje, ibe baluri tu me namma oje ne frio duro noje bring ko ni keta fuka pare. Did you get to know the nationalities of the eight individuals? For morning, yellow ne bolta banko minkam bankili wakili. Actually, um, those I found at the at the crime scene, the already dead people. Yeah. I already assumed they may be Ghanaians. Because those I left at the Kairaba police station before departing.
Ebolaji were all Ghanaians. So I, I assume we both dead bodies were also Ghanaians. Sir. All of them. All of Ghanians. them. Yeah. It's good. If you have any concluding remarks to make, um, uh, Mr. Jalo, you may please proceed to do so now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. In fact, I have very little to say. All that I want to say is that that there should be justice before reconciliation. And I still maintain my stance on my statement that I made to the press that those responsible for this heinous crime must be held accountable because there cannot be just uh, peace without justice because these claims were very unnecessary they were very unnecessary and would you call it uh, an intelligence failure and as a care for Musa Fonoko, a Munta Kulu Kibaro Le Beta, Manke Noanyama. I said no. Niwa Le Munta Baflahani, because in my evidence, Katundila said they are I said that when you focus, there was a correspondence from the uh, Spanish government informing the Gambian government that there is a ship in the Gambian waters. That ship is allegedly waiting to transport some migrant to. to to, to Spain. So therefore, I do not see this as an intelligence feel. It was callous. It was treacherous. It was heinous. To kill people. Just for coming to your country. And the tools are there to investigate. Why do you have to kill them? Why do you have to kill them? So this is my short statement, Mr. Chairman. And thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Jalo. Um, uh, on Thursday, I did remind um, uh, the Commission here that one of the principal um, items in our mandate is to create um, a historical record of um, uh, what happened during that 22-year um, period. In order to, among other things, to address impunity. We are not oblivious of that um, mandate. But thank you again very much indeed, uh, Mr. Jalo, for coming to testify before the Commission. We will now take a lunch break and then come back at uh, 3 o'clock sharp. Meetings adjourned. The pride we take in our brand, the work we put in to constantly change the landscape and elevate real estate in the Gambia, it's compared to none. From inception, our goal was to add value to the beautiful Gambian landscape. That's why we are proud innovators of community estates. Kololi Sands is an exceptional piece of work, tailored for ultimate convenience and luxury to bring you an element of finesse that is rare but unique in its own. This is also our pride and joy and we welcome you to the exquisite beauty right here in Kololi and right here on the waterfront. Kololi Sands, feel the ocean breeze, 
at your doorstep. Members and members of the audience, we are ready to proceed, please. Mr. Kambi, kindly bring in the witness. Thank you. I Martin Chere. Me Martin Chere. I Martin Chere. Do swear it. Me me can't tell say. Can't tell say. I'll speak the truth. I cannot cry. I'll speak the truth. I cannot cry. The whole truth. I cry now. The whole truth. I cry now. I Martin Chere. Me Martin Chere. I, Martin Shre, do swear that. I can't even say. Do swear. Uh, Martin, you repeat in your local language. Yes, you repeat what the interpreter says. I, Martin Shre. Me, Martin Shre. Me, Martin Shre. Do swear that. I can't even say. I can't even say. I'll speak the truth. I can't pray. I cannot cry. The whole truth. No crying in No crying in I'm nothing but the truth. And you be a fan of crying. And you know, be a kind of crying. So help me, God. No, 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 no. Amen, no, no. Thank you. Can I sit here? Uh, Mr. Kerry, welcome to the Gambia. Mr. Trey Akwaba, Baba Gambia. Yeah, mom. Thank you. Uh, the interpreter, you should, I'm um, sorry, we're giving you the onerous responsibility of interpreting both ways, from English into Tui and from Tui into English. We are here. If you understood. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We've Before you start interpreting, could you kindly take an oath that you would interpret from English into Twee and from Twee into English to the best of your ability? Yes, sir. Could you take an oath that you would interpret from English into Twi, and from Twi into English to the best of your ability. Did you hear me? I and Amabani will interpret to the best of my ability. From, Thank you, Counsel. From, from English, English into Twi, to tree. and Twi to English. And from Twi to English. So help me God. So help me God. I, Kwesi Brako, do you swear that I will interpret I will interpret from from tree to English and English to tree to the best of my knowledge and ability to the best of my knowledge and ability so help me God so help me God thank you very much uh, may the record bear that the interpreters have been sworn in
Uh, Mr. Kerry, welcome to the Gambia. Mr. Trey Akwaba, Eba Gambia. Thank you very much. Uh, we regret very much that you are coming back to this country under the current circumstances. Uh, I see it as an opportunity because of all of us, our well-being. Uh, we do hope that uh, you have had a good reception into this country and that you are being taken care of. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, though I'm sorry rely on you people. Um, thank you very much. Uh, of course, uh, you are aware that you are uh, asked to appear before this truth commission. Uh, to talk about uh, the migrants that came to the Gambia in 2005. Yes, I know the, that is the reasons why I'm here. Good. You have just made an oath to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. What you say, Obaka no kre, inye bibia se no kre. Sankutu ena masu ese meka, no kre mkwa. Exactly that is what I am going to say. Uh, just to uh, make you aware that in this country it is an offense to lie on the oath. So we will say krumhano, eye enfonsuo se ube chantro, ewo se wasu yeso. Ini se... I know that it is offense to say something that is not true in the Gambia. Good. Uh, Mr. Kerry, uh, don't be constrained to speak in, a, in any particular language. You are free to speak in whatever language you want. If you want, you can speak in English. It would be interpreted into three. For those who are listening perhaps in Ghana or those who are Ghanaians in Gambia who, who are listening. If you wish you may also speak in Twi and it would be interpreted in the English language. The choice is yours. Feel free to decide the language in which you would wish to speak. Mr. Chair, you can say 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 Ghana for you can say 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 me can bro for na the ultra no e dey kwetwi say be your mama ofie no beti i want to speak in english so that it will be interpreted in three languages so so those in ghana will understand uh, thank you very much so now you would switch to to the english language and then we would have interpretation in uh, from english into three but, but even though you are going to speak in English, you have to wait for my questions to be interpreted first from English into three and then you respond. Uh, we, should also, we should also exercise some discipline to ensure that the speeches do not overlap. Because if the speeches do overlap, there would be a problem for the for the transcribers and the interpreters as well. Uh, 
mekan makon makon se be ya obi abetimi ate ase ni ame ko pese mekan ase i will say it one after the other so that it will be understood to those who are listening uh, thank you very much thank you um what are your full names my full name is martin kwajutre could you spell the last name for us please e y e r e and how do you pronounce that and who pronounce the same or bonny dean the same we pronounce it i pronounce it chire chire that's right all right yeah uh, i ask this uh, because we have a list of victims that was written phonetically Maybe. and the way some names are spelled and the way they are pronounced may be somewhat different Maybe sir, if we say Yes, so at, at some stage we would have to visit the list we have in order for you to assist us in the spelling of some of these names. Thank you, Councilman. Okay, Martin Trey, what's your date of birth? Martin Trey, yeah, we would have been. 3rd March, 1980. Mm. And where were you born? Brekum, at Bono region in Ghana. And uh, what is your profession? Ejuma Ben Enaoye. I'm a trader, a shoe seller. Could we have that? Oh, could we have that interpreted into? Me, me, Thank you very much. And uh, do you recall where you were in early in July of 2005? Okay, baby, and now July 2005. I remember where I was July 2005. Okay, baby, and now July 2005. Did you have cause to leave Ghana in July of 2005? Or somewhere there about? Na o on Jina Swane, ma o person who free Ghana crew. At July 2005, I was not in Ghana, but rather I am. Um, I was in Senegal. July, July 2005. Nami ni Ghana. Nami was Senegal. When did you leave Ghana to go to Senegal? Baba na ufi Ghana. I was Senegal. I left Ghana early 2005, January. We free Ghana 2005, January. And where were you going? Intention is going to seek greener pasture, going to Europe. Na majin yina ne se me ko Europe. As at the time you left Ghana in January 2005, did you have an idea where you were going to go in order to get the you the chance to go to Europe? Samuel na ufi Ghana 2005. Na ako baby a wokono. Yes, I know. The time I left Ghana, I know that definitely that I'm going to Senegal. So Ane. I was able to get to Senegal 2005. Ane, na me say, ebi ame kono me free Ghana no na me ko Senegal in 2005. Ena me drew Senegal. Why Senegal? Ade na ko Senegal. Senegal because in our place people used to uh, pass Senegal to Kivet and later get to Europe. So as initial stage when you are growing up you hear it, people talk about it. So you have knowledge where it's close to Europe and where people used to uh, have access to Europe. So it's not something new to a young guy who is growing up in our area.
na ye ho no se wo nyine a na nkrofo ka se wo du senegal a e be europe enti no na e yaade a me de ahye ma dwen achi enti na e ma me tu sa kwa no in a sense growing up in your area you knew of a route that people would take to get them to europe and that route passes through senegal kunin na mo adwen po bi se obekɔ europe a obefa bebi a ekwan no eda senegal yes i know because some people has been used that way to europe and they have been back to our place so they used to talk to other peoples so uh even women also have knowledge because when they come back they speak to everyone this is the way i use so if any young one or any child who is growing up is interested in going to europe he can also uh have that way to get to europe na omo ba na omo ba mane se ampa e ho na e fa e ko iro enti no na e ya de a enya de foforo kra enti no ye ho no de nipa ni nyina nkwala no bebre wo munim se ho na wo fa wo be ko iro is there a name by which this route is known commonly e din bi wo ho a sa kwan wi so obi ani mo na okay Specifically, there is no name, but Senegal is not the only way that we use. So, whenever somebody is embarking on such journey, he normally said, "I'm using desert, or I'm going by sea." So, some sometimes they say, "If there is no land, we go by sea." So that is where that that is some ways they use to ginger the young ones up. So that you grown up to that. When you get to a place where there is no land, you go by sea. Ye ni e di bi a ye de mano ne mo mo de ti ani se e ni Senegal ko e ni o maya ye femo e ma be bri na e ni ya e se ye be fa e stresso enti no e ni e ye ni no no na e ya di a ye de she ya ju e chi. In this country. It is described as the back way. From Hano, the cancer cell will say back way. Yes, it's the later on I heard that word, that word. But in Ghana, we don't have that word. But when you speak that, definitely the people have understanding of what you are talking about. Ane Ghana the na yinimsa ekseya ansana. You whom you say, baby, your friend, or back way. In fact, back way, illegal migration, both describe the type of uh, journeys that you also talk about, correct? Back way, any illegal migration, you know, a chair, a coin, a watch, a chair, a watch, a chair, a chair, a Exactly. That, that, that's, that's the correct. That's the correct one. I'm oh, sorry. Exactly. Thank you very much. Sanity. Mm -hmm. So when you left Ghana to Senegal in January of 2005, you intended to take an illegal route to Europe. Is that it? We free Ghana 2005. Now we were going to say, we were going to Senegal to Europe. And now we were going to Senegal. And they are illegal and I'm a boy. Yes, the time I'm leaving Ghana, I know where I'm going. I know that I'm taking a route to Senegal and uh, take on the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. I know where I'm going, but consider it as an illegal. That is the question. Not me, I'm saying, I'm going to Senegal and I'm going to Europe. And I say, would you say that you knew you were going to take the back way into Europe? Now when you say over far back way ako Europe. Sometimes the back way can be turned by uh, those who know the pro proper way. Because 
what you've grown up to know is that you use the route to Europe. So the one who you have fought in his hands may determine whether you are passing back way or but the one who is embarking on such journey is considered it as a hard call to make life. Because when you are living, the family go and pray for you, and when you come back, they will go and thank God. So they think it's the greatest opportunity in life. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, in essence, for you, your objective was just to get to Europe through Senegal, and it did not matter how you do it, whether it was legal or illegal. All your, your objective was just to get there, correct? Now, what green is say with your who first in the girl at the Aco Europe? Say, Papa, say, Bonnie, would you know what dream of Pony say? Oh, for now, the Odiaco. Yes. Annie, 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 Yes, but at that time, we don't know much about illegal illegalities concerning that because we consider it as illegal when you don't have papers with you. If you don't have any identification with you, you become an illegal because you, are, you become very difficult to be, uh, access you or to locate or to find who you are. But so far as you are living in West Africa, moving from country to country, and you have your ID card with you, we, can't, we don't consider traveling from Ghana to Mali, to uh, Kidra, to uh, whatever, to Dakar. Journey is not an illegal because you have your documents with you to Dakar. Now, <laughs> Uh, you are perfectly right. Uh, there is free movement of peoples or persons and goods in West Africa. So, as a Gambian, I could travel all the way in West Africa uh, and it would not be illegal. As for as long as I have my papers, and the same would apply to every other West African. West African But I was referring to the leg from Senegal to Europe. But me be say free Senegal echo Europe no. That leg would have been illegal if the person did not have the necessary authorizations to go to that country. For that one, Council, I agree. Good. Uh, when you are going to Senegal, did you have an idea or did you have contacts in Senegal uh, who would receive you when you got there? No, council, because uh, the way we, we prepare ourselves to embark on such journey, we know that wherever you go in every country, you go and meet Ghanaian. So, and exactly when you get to your station, you will grieve before you take off from your country that whenever you go to any country, you should ask for where Ghanaians are. And when you get to them, they will locate where your brother is. Definitely you will have somebody that comes from close to your village, maybe from the, the same town or something. That's the way we prepare ourselves. We do not necessarily know someone there before we start back on such thing. So in fact, sorry. In fact, when you were going, you knew your destination was Senegal, Senegal, and you knew that when you arrived there, you must find Ghanaians who would help you out. And so that's the case. For my case, when I'm coming to Dakar, 
I came with one Nigerian. So we reached Dakar early in the morning. So I slept with him at Baba shop. So next day morning, he sent me to a one on story building where Ghanaians are living. So he said, this is your brothers. So I go straight to them and they receive me. Ane, council, the attorney say, yeah, bano. Me bano, many Nigerian even in a buyer, dear Koena, Obia, baby Omuji tree, and a Omuji. How did you come to meet that Nigerian? She didn't know she a Nigerian, you know. At, at uh, Kid, Kid, Kidira. I met him at Kidira on my way to uh, uh, Senegal. So I mean, we met at the Kidira border town. He also coming to Senegal with his wife. Michiano or Kidra, now on also Elko, Senegal. And Kidira is in which country? Na Kidira no e wako benso. Kidira no e Mali, any Senegal border. E ye Mali, any Senegal, she yeso. Se mi, border between Senegal and Mali, that's where we call Kidra. Yes. Good. And when you arrive in Dakar, Senegal, where exactly, do you recall exactly where you went? We drew Dakar, Senegal, and we baby port in Okoye. Yes, Medina, and the house number I recall was Rutran Troa and Gokarant. Rutran Troa? Rutran Troa, R-U-E, Tran Troa and Gokarant. Angle current, yes. Real trend through angle current in Medina. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, what happened when you arrived there? In two rooms on a day, I see. One afternoon, we were sitting at uh, the, in the front of our house, and we found a three guys approaching where we live. In fact, they are Ghanaians. And they came with one tall black guy with big eye. So the guy came and they greet us. And uh, we give them a place to sit. Did you know them before? No, only mom and son. No. What did they say when those three guys accompanied with another tall bar black person arrived? What what happened? They came with a uh, message that this man name is called Chastila and he's a vessel captain and he has a vessel that he wants to send people to Europe. Nipano, our buyer, no, I small mechanic say, I quite into your friend Chastilla now, or Hema are a timid Nipaco Europe. And this person who called himself Charles Taylor, did he say which country he was from? Now, a Korean or see a friend Chastilla or catch a crow free so Yes. He said he is American, and in fact, he has an American passport in his hand. Ane osi oya American na American passport kutano. Were you able to speak to him? Uti mini ne kasaye. Yes, I speak to him several times. Ane mini ne kasaye mprebebri. In which language? Ano kasaye mo? English. Mini ne kabrofo. As a Ghanaian, were you able to detect from Charles Taylor's accent whether he was truly American? So we are Ghanaian. What do Charles Taylor Kasa Mose of America? Yes, like uh, the way he speak and he back it on his passport also. And uh, I was not the only person who knows him. In fact, he. He was introduced to me by those who are close to him and those who know where he lived. And uh, if you say, eh, or they name crap touch rebel, and I'm confused as well, no or more, and then a buyer, no, and I saw my name, no, no, or more so can't say. And uh, when you heard from this Charles Taylor that uh, he, he was the captain of a vessel 
uh, what happened next? What says such as still are we in car? Ah, your car say, or no, or your captain, oh, Sherman, or so no, a Denny see. Castilla decide to collect money from anyone who want to embark on such journey. So he always came to Medina with some of three guys to find out if he can have money from any passenger who is interested to embark on such journey. Castilla ever said, or not, or did you just get through or any you want to say on Do you recall? Who introduced you to this Charles Taylor? Okay, Nipa, do Sir Charles Taylor we a trail? Yes, Charles Taylor came to our place with Asian. What is what's Asian's full name? Uh, Asian Edin Nanadin. Surely I'll give you within, but the Asian is what's normally in my mind, but after the testimony I can record and add it to you. Asian and other guy. Because of time, I just forget him. But it's Asian and other guys who came and introduced Chastila to us in our place in Medina. I have a copy of your statement with me, and I will just throw out names to help refresh your memory. No, Uncrata, I was dancing in the room. I met me a bobo edina a woman amau. Does the no, name Robert bring a bell? No, do you know Robert? No. Yeah. What's that? Robert Asian. Yes. Because the name Robert Asian was not the name that we used to call him. Because he's a tall guy, we call him Tola Tola. Mm -hmm. So his name cannot be remembered frequently. So that's why I was able to have only the Asian. Now, your friend of Asian, now. Uh, uh, Robert is here and I just say near or one to near friend of Tola Tola and T. And yeah, Diana may make me a kind of dinner. So we we take it that the person you're referring to is Robert S. A. S. A. Tola Tola. It's near Jitsu Missy Nipana or Kana Semno or only a friend of Robert S. A. Anna moved out a friend of Tola Tola. So you you also indicate. Uh, that there was another person who introduced you to Robert. No, the Robert Asian and other guy came with Charles Taylor to Medina. So they came to introduce Charles Taylor to us at Medina. Robert na. Uh, do you know a person called Victor? Who will be a friend of Victor? Yes, I know Victor Odru. Yes. He also was a close guy to Asian and uh, also captain. So normally they all move together. And I also saw that he will be a worker who will be a worker who will be a so this person, Robert Essien and Charles Taylor, when they came to meet you, did they come with Victor Oduru? In this any power, I have friend Robert Essien, on which Charles Taylor buy no. Now Victor Oduru come home, na any be home. Yes, now Victor Oduru, I come home. Now Victor Oduru, no, na on the place. He did not leave at their place. Victor Odro did not live with Tola and uh, uh, Captain Chastila. He lived at Medina. But the time they approached our place, they came with Victor Odro and Robert Eason. Yes, Victor Odro was among them. Now, I don't know So when you met these guys, Charles Taylor in, was introduced to you as someone who could who was a captain of a boat and could assist to take you to Europe. Uh, what decisions did you make? It is who sank of four way I catch or say, Chastella no bit in your ball and our co Europe no. I dream then I will fire. We first sent people to go to Senegal port to verify if indeed he have a vessel at the Senegal port. So Tola and uh, 
Victor, they came and said, yes, indeed, the man have a vessel at the Senegal port. I'm a bass, I know your man, Crofo, a course, or more precious, and a choir now, and a taller name, Victor, or more coin, or more by Messiani, or him. And then what happened after that? And I didn't see So before, after the confirmation, the man continued to ask money from the passengers who are interested to embark on such journey. No, no, I see, you know. But because the situation in Senegal, some money has been collected from many passengers, they send them to the high seas and they return them back and say the weather is no good, we can't proceed, it has been continued for a long time. So no one was ready at that time to give money to Chastela. And as a result, Chastila said he have a friend in Gambia whose name is called Lamin Tunkara. So he will go to Gambia and see that man. Now, I you know, Adam Fobi, Chastila Kaso, Adam Fobi, or Gambia, or friend of Lamin Tunkara, and you know, or Babi Muno. So after some days, uh, Tola and Victor communicate to us that uh, Charles Taylor have given them information that Lamin Tunkara promised to give him money. But before he will give him money, he must return the vessel from uh, Senegal waters to Gambia because he also has some passengers here so that he can join uh, with his passengers. And you know, and the Oka Yane say, Lamy Tunka Rano, a Chastila say, this year, the Hemanoba, Gambia, and Sana, Yetimi, Enya, Enyeska. So the passengers who are living in Senegal should find a place called, uh, the place that's secure so that we can have a big size of canoe so that we can use to join the vessel at the waters. Which waters? Gambia So we gathered ourselves at Sali around Mbu district. And uh, we are many people there. I think. How, how many of you? At that initial stage, we are over 50 at the Bara, at the Mbu Sali. But did you, do you have a definitive figure? But oh, number, particular number, which me account? No, because I am not the conveyor. Uh, I saw Robert Eason counting the people after they brought the canoe from uh, Mbu. And the canoe came with a lot of people, including Nigerians and uh, other guys who I have never met before. So uh, exact number later, uh, I found about 67. That was uh, uh, Robert Eason later on, because he was the one who made the counting. Robert Ilsen, a chino crowd catch him, so I'm here, a Duisian also. Of that 67. Sir, a Duisian. How many people did you know? The Mudduan in an hour. I can't give you exact figure, and that is that people that I know, but it's not everybody that I know. They will not pass half because. Not everybody I know. It's the small people that came from our place, our village, and our district. That's the people uh, I've come to contact before. And uh, Yes, uh, just tell us those who you can remember. That is, that is okay. Okay. Yes, one by one. Uh -huh. I remember Abari Kasim Osamang. 
uh, Abari. Abari Kasim. How do you spell Abari? A B A R I. Uh -huh. Kasim. A A S S I M. Yes, Kasim. Uh, we Two. have Kabari Kasim from where? From Ghana. Mm -hmm. We have Eric Yao. Mm -hmm. Eric have, Yao. Yao is Y A O. Yes. O. Yeah. We have uh, Victor Ozu. Y A O O O Y A W O. Y A O. Yao. Okay. Okay. And then three. We have uh, Victor Oduro. Victor Oduro. O D U R R O. Yes. O, o D U R U. O D U R O. Okay. All right. Proceed. We have Edmond Kume. E D M O O O M U. We have Richmond Adey. Uh, Edmond. Edmond. E D M M O N. Edmond. Okay. O N D. Edmond what? Kumi. Kumi K U M I. We have Kwabna Fusu. Okay. Five. Kwabna. K W A B E N A Kwabna, huh? Yes, we have Kwabna Fusu. Yes, Kwabna Fusu. Mm -hmm. We have Richard Boachi. Could you take Richard Boachi? Richard Boachi. How do you spell that? B O A K Y E. Boachi. Okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Yao Chire. Y A O. Yao. Yes, Yao Chire. K Y E R E. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, mm, we have Janet. She's a quote from Cote d'Ivoire. Janet. Janet. The only name my name is Janet. From Cote d'Ivoire. Yes. Uh huh. We have Maku. Maku. Uh, Maku. It's male or female? Female. Maku. Yes. And uh, what's her last name? I think it, uh, because. It's the only Maku that I know at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yes. We have Maku. Um, uh, what? Where was she from? He's a. She's a mm -hmm. Ghanaian. She's a Ghanaian. Maku. Ghanaian. Okay. Yes. Female Ghanaian. Female Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. We have Eja Amo. Spell Eja Amo. How do you spell Eja? A G Y A. A G Y A. Okay. Eja Amo. Amo. Okay. A Amo. How do you spell that? A M M O. Okay. We have Eric Ngetia. Eric Ngetia. Yes. Uh, we have uh, Ngetia N G E T H I A. Oh, N, uh, N K E. N K E. N K E. Yes. We have okay. Eric Ngetia. Okay. Uh, we have. Uh, Mm. Yeah. Governor <laughs> Fusu. Yes, you did mention Governor Fusu. Fusu. Edmond Kome. We have Yachre. We have uh there is some guys we used to call them other names. So their red names become very difficult to remember. Then we have someone called Queer Master. His his name was around, but just a guy named always Queer Master. Queer Master, yes. He's from his name was David. I just forget. So uh, now, okay. Yeah, you've given a statement before. What in Kaya account was him that that? In your statement, you have included names like Ena Wokrata no Enok Kwami Abo. That's a jamu. Wokrata no Wajo. That's right. Enok Jamu. Okay. So, so. What is the name? Is it Aja Amo or Enoch Kwame Amo? We used to call him Aja Amo, but the name Enoch is okay. what the family provided in attached to his name. Okay. All right. All right. And uh, you've also provided uh, Ajikum? Yes, Ajikum was among. So we should add that. That would Ajikum. be 13. Huh? Ajikum. Yes. Huh? Yes. You've also provided... Uh, Kusi. Kwabna Kusi. What did, what could you say that again? Kwabna Kusi. Kwabna Kusi. Not Kwabna Fusi. Fusi. We have Kwabna Fusi and we have Kwabna Kusi. Okay. That would be 14. Kwabna. Kwabna Kusi. Hmm? Yes. Daniel Amamkwa. Daniel Amamkwa. Hmm? Yes. 
that's taken from your statement. Just hold a second. Also provided Kwadu uh, Ampadu. Kwadu, yes, Ampadu. Mm -hmm. That's Ghanaian also? Yes, he's a Ghanaian. He's a Ghanaian. Daniel Kwadu Bai? Yes. Do you remember that name? Kaisadino. Yes, I remember. Bye. Anne Mekai Sadino. You remember any other name? Okay, the Fufobia. any name I'll just give it to you council. So Mikai Edebia Bekashro. So essentially you've given me seventeen names for now. Yes. Barry Kasim, Eric Yao, Victor Oduru. Uh, we are forgetting you, Richard Richard Chere. <laughs> Martin Martin Chieri. Yes. Uh, okay, that is eighteen. Uh, so Abari Kasim, Eric Yao, Victor Oduru, Edmund Kumi Kwab Nafusu, Richard Waki, Yao Chieri, Janet from Côte d'Ivoire, Maku from Ghana, uh, Enoch Kwami Amo, who is Ajaamo, Eric Nketia, uh, Kwe Master, uh, Ajekum, Kwab Nakusi, Daniel Amankwa, Kwadu Ampadu, Daniel Kwadu Bai, and your humble self. Martin Richmond Kier. Ade. Who? Richmond Ade. 19, Richmond Ade. Yes. How do you spell the Ade? A-D-D-E-A. A-D-D-E-A. E-A. That's right. Okay. Good. These are the people you could recall. For, for, now, for, for, now, for, now, for now, this is the names that are on my fingertips that I can. How about Eric Nana? Not Eric Nana, sorry. No, we have Eric Yao. Okay. In your statement, you said. Eric, Eric Nana Yao also answer. Yes. Me, Nana is a title. He, he can take it out of it. And so we have Eric Yao. So, oh, so, okay. So that's Eric Yao. That's all. All right. Good. So this group, you claim that Eric counted them and stated that they were 67. It's not Eric. It's Asian. Asian. Sorry. Essien yeah. uh, counted them and Robert Essien counted them and say yeah. it's 67. Yes. You did not count them, but you knew they were over 50. Yes. Okay, I'm assuming it's only over 50. Yes. yes. Anne. So what happened after that? Today I see if. So whilst we are waiting at the Sally, we had a call that in July, uh, mid July, we would take off to Europe. So we must to have a big canoe at Mbu so that we can use to join the vessel at Gambia waters. So whilst we are waiting at the house, we found a canoe is coming from the direction of Mbu to our place. It came with uh, over, I think, nine Nigerians and uh, 
other guys included because as for the nine nigerians i was specific because when the canoe came there was a conversation going on within the asian and uh, other guys in the oh we have nine nigerians added to the passengers so Not that's why thank you Good. yeah eh uh, 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 Na ye dia kwa kushia hemano ewo eposo. And then what happened after? I don't so, see you. So we left from Bar uh, Sali to join the vessel. So whilst we are on the sea, there was a communication between Captain and the organizers. I'm talking about the ACN and Victor Odru and those who are close to the captain. Yes. Uh, Oma no more bear captain, no. Ye, ye knew a moody in Kitaho. Open ya can in Tinti and we said they made me a trash you. In the meantime, where is, where was Charles Taylor? Somewhere in a Charles Taylor, were he? We was taught that Charles Taylor was in the vessel. Ye, ye, ye catch a said that uh, Charles Taylor, no more a man. And that is. That was the vessel you were supposed to join at the Gambia waters, correct? That is what they told us. So, when you mention captain, who are you referring to? It is our captain. Why is it captain? It is captain. And what was the discussion between him and Robert Essien, as far as you know? And Robert said, Captain, give him a uh, go ahead so that we can join the vessel. So the time we left uh, uh, Sally, we are all informed that we are going to join the vessel as giving directive from the captain to the ACN and other guys to Robert can say Captain Wamano Kwan say uh won't cost one tino or mu yina or my being say or move can no hona or moako he money. Who was in charge of the vessel of the boat that you took from Boor? Hana na odi a continuing Shemana Modi film Bruno. What I later found out that they went to Mbu to hide from the canoe and uh, from the fishermen. Yes, so they hide from Mbu. Wamu Koji, if we are fired for no hope, I won't And then you guys took off from Mbu and uh, went into the seas in order to meet up with the vessel in Gambia waters, correct? That is correct. And what happened afterwards? The time we get to the waters in the night, we find difficult to make calls. Our batteries run down and we find difficult to locate where the vessel is. So we found there is a light ahead. Mra yedu opono so no na ye hu se ye battery ni nyina ash echo form enti na ye 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 de se e betimi aye aye contact. So those who know Gambia started saying that oh this is Gambia let's go there and buy chip so that we can have proper communication. Wo unu Gambia no ka se Gambia ni enti no ye ko ni ye ko same card. So we arrived in Gambia port early in the morning around 5.45 to 6 o'clock a.m. At the port, that's what you said, right? Yes. Oh, port, yes. And what do you mean by the Gambia port? Could you Gambia port. Yes, because the time we get there, there was uh, ships around where there was a loading of containers and uh, offloading containers. Yes, 
Ah, yes, and I contain a scrum for the boom. Yes, and then? So, and then here. Early in that morning, we get to the Banju port and uh, we decide to send some of our guys to go and buy a chip and make proper communication to the captain. I'm not particular to know that you buy a car, so I'm going to send a car, so I'm going to send me a captain or a car. So six of our guys get down from the canoe. You know me, ACA, AC from every Hermanum. Who are those six? I can give you the three of them, but because I don't know all of them, I can't remember. But the three. Let me up on me and say, Dean. Give us their names. Robert Asian was among. Robert Asian. Yao Eric was among. Yao Eric. And one Daniel. The short name and with Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Okay. So three out of six, huh? Yes. Okay. All right. So, and then what happened? Today, you see. Immediately they get down from the canoe, we had a gunshot. Yes, see, free. Herman, man, I had to say, you are too. So, those at the top started shouting, they have been killed, they have been killed. No, I know what's wrong with you. I say, say, you woo, you woo. So, we returned the canoe from the Banju port to the other side. Later, we found out the place called by Barra Beach. But uh, how many got saved? 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 Proceed. Arriving at Barra Beach, the canoe owners said that the contract has been ended. It's just one night contract, so they want their canoe back. You do, Barra, no, and now, but why are you high? Money through a monocle, say, eh, eh, you see, eh, contract, no, I see. So we decide that they should return their canoe back to Mbu so that we will find Charles Taylor. So we sent three of our guys to Barra Town. Another three? Another three. And who are those this time? That three, the one I remember, Tarzan. Tarzan was among uh, Tarzan, what is his full name? Tarzan, the name I know was a Tarzan because it's not someone I know from far, so we just miss so the name. Tarzan and Kwana, me name. And uh, Victor Odru was a man, and I think other guy, just which I forget his Victor name. Victor Odru also can't hold any nipa back up in so. What happened to the group? Did they remain on the boat while Victor Odru and Tarzan and the third person went to Barra, or did they discharge from the, from the boat? Into the group, no. I didn't see. Not Tarzan come home. Now Victor Odru no come home. Mo mo ja mo 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 di inka koya na. So mo Odru no I didn't pan see. At the Barra beach, the canoe guys left with their canoe, so we were discharged at the Barra beach. So we decide to send three guys to Kabara town so that they can locate the chest healer. But so they, they return with the news that chest healer told them that he haven't heard from the guys who left in the morning. I see like catch your muse, or mobile, or Moka say, Chasilla see, on Tio Moka. Six guys, you haven't heard from them. Pisian on Tio Bianca. So, supposedly, maybe they have been arrested by police. A beer, police if watch you on. So, he will send Lamin Tunkara to go around to Obesma Lamin Tunkara, say, Uncle Uncle Shavon. 
if he can uh, have them in police station and grant them bail so that we can join and even time we all can join the vessel and make our journey then na say we bet me you are free a police station wa so the rest passengers there is a canoe at the term, uh, ferry terminal there we should negotiate with the canoe guys so that by evening we can have a canoe to join the vessel and you know the airbnb and say you need a hammer for me be a war bar a hollow because i said yeah yeah and you better on beat me a fire the process of finding a canoe they came to a guy whose brother is a policeman now yeah you share a hermano is ya a obama bia na nini aye police ni so the three guys who go for canoe was arrested at the barra police you know what i'm going to a high canoe no yeah she won't have a bar police station that is tarzan victor oduru and somebody that guy yes no yeah tarzan victor oduru knew before sure and then what happened after that today so, at the evening time we are waiting for canoe and definitely we have uh the, we see the trace medium size of canoe heading towards where we are they came with victor udru ah you will say her mommy and say biba na na ba kono na victor udru or team so immediately we found they are coming with victor udru we thought that this is the canoe that we have sent for so now you did say so it's become like everybody was angry why we have sent for canoe early in the morning and this time you are coming so it's become like insulting they have so we joined the canoe now you're both if you say an opportunity to me a small mona a more mobile on a for my check a cry so after joining the canoe we had a saying in ghana that kuti aha na yeah 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 now you can't be busy guy uh gana kasem se kuti you can say kuti and hsa police in it so when you hear kuti it means police yeah kuti means dog yeah kuti hsa kramai so immediately we heard kuti we know that we have been arrested yet to say a kuti no ana adia any police you know now you know say a kobe as we are here so if we have been arrested we are going to the initial stage we are going to europe and we have been arrested so we don't we, we don't have anything in mind that we have been committed serious crime it's just our money and the time and the uh, has been gone so that is what's come to mind and we are in the hands of police so the western is going back to ghana and you lost your money so that's if we are to know why the energy say so we say call ghana energy say we see cano nashim so arriving at the ferry station at the barra side you drew a barra a ferry terminal no it was a waiting policeman around over 20 policemen with guns are waiting there already now police for base a do you know so when you come down from the canoe you hold your brothers back here and the line is straight to baratown police station so we see from say pair let us say what's on the room and i almost sound more like a call barra police station so at that time one of our guys jumped over the baratown police station wall it was not high he jumped over it and the police found out that one half jumped so the police surrounded at that place. Now, Nipa Baku, who we a war no into the bus and on a police for Kucha and Dana Mushiai. The one who jumped, do you know his name? No, we are not in meeting. Dennis. Dennis. Dennis Debbie. Dennis or Henny Quachi. He was living in Germany now. He's living in Germany now. Yes. Dennis or Henny Quachi. Quachi. That's right. So already six people, seven people have not been accounted for. Yes. That is the six who were originally sent to Banjul. Yes. Uh, that includes Robert Essier, Eric Yao, Daniel, and three others. Yes. 
And now you have Dennis, Dennis Henekwachi. Yes. So to make seven people. Yes. All right? Yes. Proceed, please. So, a man came in and his open office, and when you go in, you present your ID card and any document that you have with you, and you write your name at that place. When you buy na obie dai, you know, who rema okwa no achiro udi na wa ID card na di achiro no. The statement of two ladies were taken at the Barra Police Station. Which two ladies? Mommy and Obey. Maku and Janet. Maku and Janet. Mm -hmm. So they came in for half of our guys. They just divide us into two and take half from us at the Barra police station around 7 p.m. So they, they, they take the first batch and they put them into. So around 9 p.m. at the Barra police station, they came for us and we joined a white. 207 bus to the ferry terminal. In the ball, no crow and a journal, your best is our own arcano, and no eddie, a car now from 207 or Gale Galenibi from your bar. See her in the bar from Barra Police Station to the terminal. Yes, which batch did you take the first batch or the second batch? No one, 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 no I joined the second batch. What time did the second batch arrive in Banjul? second batch Banjul. We arrived Banjul around 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. When your batch arrived, where in Banjul were you taken? After joining the vessel, they brought us straight to Banjul Port, where immediately you come down from the vessel, you meet a soldier. In fact, in the vessel, that is where the soldiers started coming in, and they started beating us. So, the scene changed. At the time we left from Barra police station to the ferry station, you can see that the environment has been changed. It's how did it change? Explain. It's, it's about soldiers, soldiers with cutlass. It's not about asking you where you are coming from, but rather beating you. You said soldiers with cutlass and guns. Yes. Yes. So the 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 way they are beating and the things going, we thought that they are going to put us in the sea. So the way they are beating and the things going, we were brought to Banju port. When you come down from the vessel, you meet a soldier with long cutlass. So he put the cutlass at your top here, and he just tear it, and all your shirts go down, and you put it at your tie here, he just tear it, and your trousers is off. So at that time, we find it difficult to identify the first batch was there. The yeah. first batch was there at the Banju port. Already? Yes. And their hands has been tied at their back. And their shares has been taken off and left their underwears. Now, you do one of the can buy and on the HSA, a teacher will say, and you go on the HSA, one of the two go on the HSA. It's not about three security officers or 20 security officers. It's about mix up of police and soldiers. So, how were you able to tell the distinction? 
Chesi then na uti muhu soja for no fi a police for no. Yes. A soja for a third year, any a police for a third year in uh, everywhere. English. <laughs> uh, thank you. The the soldiers you can identify soldiers from police based on their uh their the, the, what they have been putting on, what they have been well and the equipment that they have been put it on. You can identify that this is a soldier and this is uh, and also they have their badges and uh be able to remember any name that you saw? No, 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 I can't remember that thing. Uh, you said they were beating you guys. Uh, from when you went inside the vessel, the navy boat, to bring you to Banjul, uh, did they beat you? Fiti mo na mo wa shemanu every banju ana mo ba banju no usu ya bo mo ni ya bo ubi. Severely, I was beaten up. Ya bo me pa. Could you describe how you were beaten? We went to my church and seen ya bo. In fact, they have the police take that day. You can. Uh, they have the police sticks in their hands and they use the back of the guns and sometimes uh, the edge of the gun they just beating you it's like they are beating you here and there so a guy who was protecting his eye his, he was not fortunate the the, the stick get his, his teeth and all of a sudden he lost all the front teeth just one time so it's not him only and the other guys there is a big marks a, a blood flowing everywhere in fact you find it difficult to identify do, do you remember the man who lost his ajamo. who can you only see to two you know his name is ajamo the day the ajamo proceed please so about seven minutes time a soldier car came in and he said you people must join the bus so at this stage all of you uh, your top clothes were removed yes. and, and your trousers were torn first batch they have been taking off their shirts and their trousers some of them did not have things under so if they found out you are not wearing pants under, they do not take off your trousers. Yes. Yes. So that's what but So some of them they left their underwears and some of them are wearing trousers. So so we joined the by a soldier bus which came in and those the first batch hands was tight at their back. They they used the one group one wire to tight all of them. So when they finish this guy, they use the same wire to tight another one. So no one is free to move anyway. Let us say, you know, that dear no, why are no near the attitude of Munina, the attitude when near the attitude went to be any whole bit major. In the sense, they were bound together in a straight line. The sense is yet to shoot a mudum, yet to shoot a mudum, something so. That's what happened, Council. So, they said, join the bus. They said, a Herman a cannon. But your group, were you also tied? No, at that time, we were not tied. group, no, we are true. Maybe. No. So, we the second batch, our hands were not tied at that time. So we have, we must rush. Because the beating is going, where, going on everywhere. So the first, the first batch was tied. They joined the bus, we the rest joined the bus. So the beatings continue in the bus. Yeah, the so the 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 so from the uh, uh, as far as you can see, did did anybody did you see anybody try to stop the beating that was going on? So kaya sa ne ya bumo no ubu biya e try se ujai ana usi sa e bono ho kaya na. No, I did not see anyone trying to stop beatings. There be 
man who be bias as you be a patent of one. As they were beating you, did you hear your beaters, your your assaulters saying anything? So my woman, woman, no my woman, what's this? No more can be bias now. Yes. While they are beating you, they will ask you questions, but they will not allow you to answer questions so that they will know who you are. They will ask you, what do you came here for? You here to throw your jamel? You think you can destroy the destabilize our nation? You kill you? So we left at the Banju port and we get to a first police station and there was a shout, they should get down. So we, the people who have been not been tied, we have chance to get down rather than those who have been tied. And I, your dear we drew on all the theater. We say, We see from into one more more yachty to a bonny dear. Moment to me, a almost one year had a yachty and a moment dear. You hear her. Do you know, do you know, uh, exactly where you are where dropped off? Who mean the be pots here? You see, no, oh, at initial stage, I don't know, but later I found it was Bundum Police Station. A chain, I mean, who say a Bundum Police Station. But was that the first stop? Yes. Or after several stops? That was the first stop. Me, baby, I'm Jinae, and I said, I'm Jinae, Jinae. That was the first stop from Port. How many vehicles, how many buses were used to transport you to ferry you? Bus, no, 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 Bus do do send a demo call baby at Shema Station no one from Barra Police Station to Ferry Station. I in bus no no do do send in an end demo call. Okay, from Barra Police Station to the Ferry Station before we came to uh, Banju Port, it's only one uh, two seven bus that transported us from Barra Police Station to the Ferry Station. But from the port to Buntung Police Station is a bus, a soldier bus that uh, that carries us from. Banjo port to Banjo police station. Bara Hone, a year two or seven, a year by a name of a free Banjo, a by a way say an idiot, Groman idiot, a soldier for a can a year by one bus carried everybody. The bus back on a demon by the bus that have a, a, a door at the middle and the front. So it was people, those who are not being tied, we use the back. The middle route, uh, way to enter the bus, and those who have been tied use the front way. So it was like dragging for your life, and the soldiers are after you. So it was a bus with two doors, two gates. Yes, a uh, bus like this, na a prono ye mi elunti no. Wo a ye chichu wo ne die na wo mo a pro wo mo kwa na wo mo a chichu wo mo die ne di wo mo afa a chichu ho a prono. Do you recall with whom you were dropped off at the station at which you were dropped off? Okay. Yes, I can give you some of the names right mm -hmm. now. Yes. Eric Nketia. We have Edmond Kome. We have Kwame. Rich, uh, uh, rich, rich, uh, uh, rich, uh, uh, rich. Kwame. Uh, Kwame. Richard Bwachi. Richard. What? Yes, it's a Kwame. And, uh, uh huh. Mm, uh huh. I'm I have coming. Martin. Yes. Uh, Eric Ketia. Fee. Huh? Fee. His name is Kofi, but we call him Fee. Kofi. Yes. Kofi what? It is the only name because that's the first time I met him. So. Kofi. Yes. K O F I. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Kofi. Yes. Kofi. Uh huh. And then what? And then who? Uh and so we have a Nigerian also among us in ourselves. Whose name? Yes. We have one Nigerian among us in ourselves. How many of you were at that station, Bundum Station? station. First day we was ten. First day, only 10? Yes. Yeah. And the next day, they came for two. They came for two or they brought two? They came for two. 
They came for two of us. They took away two they of took you. Away. So ten of you at Bundung. Sure. Station. Station. Okay. And those two who were removed from you, for two. where are they from? I'm from here. They are Ghanaians, but I don't know them. But in your earlier statement, uh, you said that uh, at dawn, say between 1.30 a.m. and 2 a.m., two Senegalese were removed from the group. And the remaining eight, seven were Ghanaians and one Togolese. And eight No. In our police station, we were ten in number first day. The next day night, they came for two guys and they brought in Lamin Tunkara. Okay, so that left nine of you. Yes. From Bulu Station. Yes. Okay. Do you know who these two guys were, the two who were removed? Do you know who these two guys were, the two who were removed? Do you know who these two guys were, No, Councillor, I know at the first day, second day, they are Ghanaians, but because we did not live together and I don't know them initially, as time goes on, I just... Oh, yeah, Ghana for them, but and then more minimum thing. So this suggestion in your statement that these two who are taken away were Senegalese, that is mistaken. Yes, yes. They came for two guys, but though there was Senegalese among the group, who they, they came from... Uh, Dakar. Okay. So, and in your group, instead of ten, you are now nine. group no. First day we are ten, and the second day they came for two of our guys, you are and eight. they brought in Lamin Tunkara. Okay. Okay. But you do not know the names of the two guys no, that have no. been taken Do you recall what time of the day they were taken away? They came for them at the night. At the midnight. On the foul. There's that time. No. The night you arrived there or no. the next day? And I do not know what was the next day. No. In Bundung police station, they came for the guys at the next day. No. And they brought in Lamin. And they brought in Lamy. Fantastic. Okay. And then what happened after? I didn't see you. Uh, sorry. In your statement, you have listed the following persons. Ukrata Anumene. Wabubo Edimbi. Richard Boake. Richard Boache. Yes. Wando Antu. Ajo Anchi. Ajo Anchi. Huh? Ajo Anchi. Can you spell that? Yes. At the initial stage, the names I give you, I think I forgot the Kwadu Anchi, so you can add to. Yeah. Yes. Kwadu Anchi. Anchi. A N T W I. Okay. Anchi. Okay. Okay. So Kwadu. Okay. Kwadu Anchi. All right. Kwado uh, Anchui, he was part of your group. Yes. Okay. There is Eric. Eric in Okay. Uh, there's uh, okay Edmond Kumi. Yes. You mentioned him. Uh, there is George Amo. George Amo. Amo. No, Ajamo. Aj George Amo. In our source, I can't remember any George Amo. Kai George Amo. There was one Togolese? Yes. Ane. In our cells, there's one Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And the rest 
is Ghanaian. So no Togolese? No Togolese in our cells. Baby, I want to know Nigeria is back home. I'm not going to be a Ghana for. So, uh, in your statement, the suggestion that there was George Amo one and one to go is mistaken. Nti no ukrata se na ukanya no a ukase George Amo bi wu eni to go list ni ba kuno e infunso ana. Ah, aja Amo is one who is amount. And uh, you see, okay, you will be so as man answer why in ourselves there is no Togolese, but rather Nigerian in okay. ourselves. Okay, this Aja Amo wasn't he amongst those? Wasn't he amongst Sir those? Aja Amo, no, okay, no, 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 Okay, that is Enoch Kwame Amu. That's it. Okay, so he was part of your group. He was not part of our group, but later we joined him at elsewhere, which we are not rich. Okay, about okay. So now I'm trying to establish the list at Bulu. Yes. So that's Martin Chieri, that's you, yes. yourself. Eric Nketia, yes. two. Edmond Kumi, three. Richard Boache, four. Kofi, that's five. The Nigerian is six. Uh, Kuadu Antui is seven. Uh, Lamin Tunkara is eight. Eleven is one guy. Hmm? Eleven is one. Our, our one just... person missing. Yes. Akani uh, Pabako. There is a name that starts with F. F-I, but in your statement it's not Fee. clear. That is Kofi. Fee. Uh, Fee. Fee, yeah. that's Kofi. Yes. Okay. All right. In, in the statement, in your statement, you have the following. Huh? Richard Boache, that's one. Kwadu Antwi, two. Eric, three. Martin Cherry, yourself, that's four. Edmund Kumi, five. Fee, that's Kofi, that's six. George Amo is seven. All right. Uh, Lamin Tunkara is eight, and uh, then you have the Nigerian guy. That makes it nine. Do you have Kwadu Enchi? Could you say, say the name again? Kwadu Enchi? Yes. Yes. Plus the Nigerian, that makes it nine. That's all. Huh? Sure. Okay. So those were all accounted for. Yes. But two have been removed. Yes. And taken away. Do you know who removed them? No, cancel. Uh, did you guys give a statement? Mama, oh mama, Krata, Moka, Monu, Masa, Ma, Etro, Krata, so. The next day, they came with white pickup, and uh, the CID came. So when they take you from the cells, they handcuff you. They brought you out, they take your fingerprints, your statements were taken, and your passport picture. I passport. That was done at Bundung Station. That was Bundung Police Station. Bundung Station. And after all those details are taken, what happened? Council, just before that, mm -hmm. the notation that you have, the two who were removed from Bunding Station, they were both Ghanaians. So, you know, you were from Bunding Station, you were a Ghana for Yeah, Ghanaians. Yes. Thank you. Yes, and then what happened after that? Then I see. So, at the next day, a wife of Lamin Tunkara came there with a newspaper. I did actually hear that Lamin Tunkara is going buy or the crater nearby. And uh, but, but as far as you could recall, so okay, no. your group did not make any stop before you were taken to Bundung Station. No, cancel. We left Banju Port 
and the first police station they thought was Mundung Police Station. It's where I have chance to be at the Mundung Police Station itself. Mundung Police Station, you two free banjo and I honey be jinae. If you see those cells again, would you be able to recognize? So who saw cells? No, be more okay. Sure. Ane. Mr. Chair, perhaps it would help to take the witness to both Kairawa and Bundu. After the testimony, he can go with the investigators and he would just identify which of those places they were taken. Absolutely. Please. Ah, thank Please. you very much. So you would oblige us after this testimony, you would go with the investigators. You would identify the place, they would take photographs and that would form part of the record. Thank okay. you. I Thank hope it wouldn't traumatize him again, again, going back to... Yes, uh, of course. Facility. Yeah. If you, that is, if you agree to do it. I don't think there will be more problem. There will be no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Lamin Tunkara's wife came with a newspaper. How do you know she was Tunkara's wife? Lamin Tunkara, you don't know. Or the Krata, I buy an accident on who said Lamin Tunkara, and you we are at the cells with Lamin Tunkara. So when the woman came, she was pregnant, and she came with another old man, and she said, this is my wife. Okay. All right. Proceed, please. And what was contained in this newspaper, if you know? Newspaper, we have a story. 50 foreigners have been arrested at the newspaper. Mm -hmm. And the next page, we have eight dead bodies has been found at Brufood Forest. So, initial stage, we don't know that is these dead bodies is part of our groups or we don't know that they are killed, started killing them so, 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 so we so we spent over a week getting to two two weeks mm -hmm. you spent what we spent more than a week at the bundum police station cells so one night they brought in the car they used to carry the prison inmates. And are you be one of the prison for car no bar Mobile. They came. Can with you describe this car? This vehicle? It was a car that have uh it's like a container that have a small spaces, dot dot spaces at the top. And there is a a chair at this side, long time, this side, and this side, and the middle there's no chair, and they open from the back. It is a cargo van now in two quanky and kitty the daho and now you be a free at all. What color? If you recall, no, I think the color was not much my attention at that time, so I did not meet me who said the NICT color. Okay, proceed, please. So what time in the night did they come? It was, it was around 11 p.m. So they came for five of our guys, including me. And we meet some of our guys at the, in, in the car. Okay. Just take it a little bit, huh? In your group, you have yourself, Martin. Yes. You have um, Eric yes. Kesia. Yes. There's Edmund Kumi, Kumi. Richard Wache, Kofi, uh, Aja Amu, a Nigerian guy, and Lamin Tunkara. That's right. Okay. Now, just a minute. Let me check whether these names were also in the main list that we have. Just a moment. Uh, there's an important reason for this. I think that the, mis the witness is a bit mistaken. Because the list that was prepared from Kairawa 
station includes his name. It could not have included his name if he went straight to Bono. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, let me just check the other names. You see, Erin Ketia is also there. Uh, Uh, Richard Boache is also there. Edmund Kimi is also there. And so the names was taken at the Barra police station, including all of us. They did not a uh, Barra police station. No, so I don't think the when the names were being written at the Barra first, police station. The first. Did you see the names being written? Yes, I, yes, I entered and I present my card and tea, card and tea, and I write my name. You wrote your own name? Yes. The man was sitting there with white shirt. You go in, he take your name, and you present your ID card. Who wrote down the names? It's a man with a white shirt. Okay. Not you, but not me personally. Okay, I will send you a document. Miss Endo Krata. And just take a look at it. Nahe yes. Krata also. So, and tell us, honestly speaking, where the best document you saw yes, at the time. Krata, no, you know who said that. Or not. And I know. Sure. Okay. All we want to know is where the best document you saw. Krata, who is the document you saw? So be it. If it is not the document you saw, that is also fine. So, Mr. Chair, I'm passing over to him Exhibit 200. Council, you, Council, you have a minute. Yeah, yes. Did you see this document before? Council, the paper we write, uh, he, the man used to took on is a white paper like this, but I can't specifically see that this is. The orchard was a crater if it has a nice room to be in Capote, he said, anyway. That is a fair answer. You can have no answer. You see, the, in, the interesting thing is. Yeah, was saying, say. The lineup of the names. Uh, you gave us your name. Eric Eric Nkatia. Eric Nkitia. Nkitia. Uh, Edmond Kumi. Edmond Kumi. Kofi. Kofi. Uh, Aja Amu. Aja Amu. And the Nigerian. And the Nigerian. Name. They are almost all grouped together in this document. Do you know a person called Peter Asire? Peter Asare. Peter Asare. Council, if I know that maybe I can, this is the guy, but their names may be escaped me. Okay. Yes. So, but as far as you could recall, you do you were not taken to one place first and then to another. No. no, no. no. From Barra Police Station, we brought to Banju Port. From Banju Port, we joined a soldier bus straight to Bundung Police Station. Next day, they came for a statement. They sent it back to Police Station. If you buy a man near Banju, if you buy a man near Bundung, 
Adia chi yeda omo bechro ya no asem. Okay. Good. So the next day they came. Today to su me na omo ba ye no. Two people were to taken away. Mo fa ni pa me no. Yes. Lamin Tunkara was born. Lamin Tunkara e de ne ba ye. His wife later came to visit. His wife Saba Ichri. And then the next day the CID came and thereafter that night at around 11 this minibus this uh, um, cargo van came and you were put in there how many of you it's not the same day, Council. The yeah. next day. We spent oh, sorry. One, about one week. Yes. We yes. spent about yes. one week. And uh, this is the process our our statement and fingerprints were state. Yeah. They brought in Victor. Mm -hmm. You see Victor Udru. Mm -hmm. He was the guy who can speak both French and English very well at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, Victor so, go by, if you say, or Cabro for the French. You they know? go with Victor Udru from police station to police station to take the statement. Until mm -hmm. you know, Victor Udru. Police they station. brought Victor yeah. to our place mm -hmm. to have our statement and they sent him to another police station to take the rest of the statement. So that is how our police our statements was taken. Victor yeah, the one bar baby I wanna if you want to call police station for fro. Just a moment. You see, the list we have, Victor Odru's name is not there. See? Okay. Uh, what the reason why we're doing this is we're trying to also establish a list of all those people who were involved. Yes, I say, if I see a car, a dinner, Roma, or no more, same room in a eating room in a din. This list we have contains 51 names. List I want a din, a genuine numbaco. But you told you told us that 67 people were in. But now, so more a genuine science. We we know that six had jumped. And you say, you see, I've been sent. Yes, we also know that one jump. You mean say move back on so so every wall? Denis Kwachi. Eh, Denis Kwachi. Alright, that makes it seven people. Ah, man, yes, so. We now know Victor Odun has not been attacked. You mean say Victor Odun so so so? Yeah, I'm going to do. So if you add that to this list, fifty-eight. Eh, fifty-seven plus fifty-seven. The guy had that jumped is 58, and Victor Audrey would be 59. Yes. Already. Yes. You understand? Tarzan, Tar we don't know yes. whether he's on the list or not because. But let's say, let's say uh, that, that's what we have. Now. Uh, 59. Okay. So what happened afterwards when they came to they see came at night after one week uh, with that vehicle? How many of you did they take away? They came for five of us. Oh, five. Yes. Uh, they came for five of us. Who were those five? No, we are one more. I myself. Edmond. Edmond. Is it Martin? Edmond. Edmond. Richard Boachi. Edmond. Uh, Richard Boachi, a Jew entry, a Jew entry, and one Nigerian. Uh, entry, Nigerian that is Nibako. entry is what's his full name again? A Jew, a Jew entry, a Jew entry, yes, and one Nigerian. So. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and what happened? Where then I see it. He need Mukoye. He brought us to uncompleted story building, a white uncompleted story building where it was guided by police with guns. 
I'm going to tell you. Do you know how long it took for you to get to that? Okay, I'm ready to do a day and son of Mutimidru, baby, I'm going to do it. Eight to twelve minutes time. They say, Miti, I'm going to check out the meal no more. And then what did you find there? And then I uh, was well, a police with gun around the house and <laughs> when you enter the comp air hall, there is a police with guns sitting down there. So they tell us you must go and sleep. Oh, so I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. And they've been so aging in a new moho, and they done a hona, uko, a dani mosuswa. Police for good at you. So you left, you must have left behind Lamin Tunkara? Yes. Lamin Tunkara or Ajamu? Ajamu? Yes. Eric? Eric Ketia? Eric Ketia. And uh, and uh, yes, okay. you left mm -hmm. Lamin Tunkara, Aja Amu, Eric Tunkara, Eric Ketia, and somebody else, Kofi. Kofi. You left those behind. Just Uncle Fu. We went back for them again and brought them to where we are. Almost Uncle Fu, Omo Ba, Baby Ayewano. Okay, went it, back, including Lamin and yes. everybody else. Yes, they went back to Bundum Police Station and brought them to. Uh, uncompleted building where we are guided by police. police station police That is a story building you say. It's a story building. Did it look like it is in the town? Or do it look like it's in remote places? It's within the town. They were within the town. Yes. Okay. So when you arrived there, who else did you find there? At a place, there was a police around with gang, and uh, we entered the com a hall. In our bags, that's the two from us at the uh, Banju port was kept at the hall there. Yeah. Could you say that again? Uh, we enter at the hall, and our luggages and the bags that they took from us at the Banju port was kept at that place. Some of them have taken their bags and they left it small bags around in that hall. You do hold na ye bag na omo jijin wo port wo no omo dini na ako sa dani. Did you find any members of other members of your group there? Who be full full car no come on I will hold at that day, we were the first batch to enter at the whole day. And the second batch? Yes, the second batch included Lamin Tunkara and the guys we left at the Bundum police station. Oh no, and Lamin Tunkara and the one who came to the Bundum police station. Were other people brought there? You didn't come from France or Baho? No. So at that incomplete building, you remain nine as nine people. The incomplete people, na how no, na mu yeni pa ankro ene ne oho. No, there be. They came with other guys with the that uh, car they used to carry the prison emics. Yes, they came with. Uh, other people. Yes, other, other people. Car. Yes. Almost had ankro four 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 by. Almost the one who goes out prison carrying. Do you, know, do you know them? Yes, they are all Ghanaians and Nigerians. I know you know a Ghana and four in Nigeria. Yes. Oh. You remember the names? Any names? The two them. ladies was among them at that time. The two ladies? Yes. That is Maku and Janet. Janet. Okay. Ah, perhaps uh, I should, I should and bring the, this to the attention of the commissioners. And the victor was among jo Just a moment. Uh, uh, just a moment. Maku is Juliana Maku. I raised this for some reason because the commissioners had asked questions about this. Juliana Maku, that's Ghanaian. And the other lady, Janet, uh, the list we have here, just a moment. Could you say again? 
Yes. Number 44 is Tano Janet Ivorian. So these two ladies were brought. Yes. And then Victor was amount. Victor Oduro was also brought last. Yes. Yes. So now you are how many? Nine plus three, that makes no, twelve. They are not three, they are four. They are four. Marco? Yes. Janet? Yes. Victor Oduro? Yes. And and one guy was a mount and that I think he was a Nigerian. Yes. And and in Nigeria. Yes. Well, he doesn't know the name. He doesn't know the name. Uh, does the name John Ameze? He didn't John Ameze. Does it? What? What did that? No. Okay. And then what happened? He didn't see. It. So, he, they told us you must sleep. So one man with one police is just holding gun and it's facing you. So when you want to enter the washroom, you ask permission, he go with you. police So, after 15 to 20 minutes time, we heard a car coming in. So, they open the, uh, the, the gate to the compound and uh, a man step in with a white shirt, a long cutlass. And nah. A best meeting, a dunum call meeting, you know, no, Papa be by an old shot, I did fit out of Kutasekai. Cosso, he was followed by three soldiers with a soldier and sons who did not you almost who could answer kind and gum, and they have been tied their hairs. It's not easy to identify them. Yes, now one more, I ye one could tell you now, which is so much a tree, and yard they are waiting me. What do, you, what do you mean by they tied their heads? They are not easy to some identify. Of them, some, some of them have some black scarf to tie their to cover heads. Their heads. Cover their heads. What, what, what color uniform did they wear? Uniform they wear white. White. At that stage, I would say the color of the military as ordinary people, ordinary person can identify that this is a military. No more share soldier for a third year. Proceed, please. So the man said, he stepped into the compound, a hall, and said, You people must go and dress. We are going to release you. So you get into your bag, you take in your shirt, you put on your trousers. You just search because everybody, some people have taken there. So you took what is fitting you, you well, you take back. So they will come for you from the compound there. They will hold it, your hand and send you to the outside the house. It is now almost a say and corner and go share a tidy. Do you fall back and why are you wash a tidy out and wash it? Now a few honor, almost ban on what be ye and a crown normally a question. When you get to the compound, they take off your shirt again and leave it your underwear. So the guy who is inside no know that you have been naked outside or you have been taken. So the first four, they use a black wire to tie their hand, including their necks. And including their what? Their neck. They use the wire to tie their hand at the back. They use one wire. So when they finish one wire with me, then they use to another guy. They use it in four in in four peoples. And you the wire at the tree when it's all a coachy. No more side at the tree will call. Only answer so no more in the side. I just a more to a to a to see as to say, you know. We want to understand really how that is done. Yes. Can I have two, three TRRC staff come to the middle? Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. Yes. Could you? Yes. So they tied your hand at your back like this. Yes. They tied your hand at your back. Yes. Mm-hmm. At your back like this. Mm -hmm. They use the same wire to tie this man's back. This man's back here also. Uh -huh. You see? And this man also, they use the same thing to tie his hand goes here. And also my hand is like this. And they use the rest of the wire to tie your neck and you are looking up and they use the same wire to tie this guy also neck. So they are all looking at but, but, but how would you get into the vehicle? They push them. When after the, the, the tightening take place uh -huh. outside the vehicle, uh -huh. so after that you go close to the vehicle, then they push you. So when you get down with your chest, other guy also lie at the left hand, and other guy also at the right hand, and the guy at the top is sitting or lying on you. So if you are in the you are in the And you said it's a wire that was you. No, it's a wire. Yes, it was a wire, but it's a soft. It's soft, so they can tight it well without you doing anything. So the first four was pushed into the pickup, and they placed their bag alongside them, their bags, their luggages. wire, <laughs> So they came for first four after they came for another four, and I was among the next four that they came for. Omo be far na e di kano e chi no mo se be far na e na e chi di no be far na na me kano. But our wire was not too long as compared to the first batch. Yeah, your wire no na e ni ti 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 se o di kano. So after they tried to use it on our neck, but it was peace, so they did not able no, to use it. So, uh, did you, did they put the first and the second batch all in one vehicle? In Tino, no more teacher, no, a fine decline for no, any more motors, no, yet the moon, a cool, a car back, Moana. Yes, Anne, we also they push us into the, the same white pickup and they place our bags. The, the two soldiers want to join the bucket, the pickup bucket, but it was full. And they decide to bring in two ladies, but when they consider their luggages, it was too big, and they say, we are going to release this after we come for the rest. So the ladies remain behind? Yes. The ladies, the ladies Eric and Ketia uh, and Edmond Kumi, we left them behind. Yes. And then what happened after that? In the, In the car, it was me, uh, Victor Odru, Richard Boachi, uh, Lamin Tunkara, Aja Amo, uh, Animona, Oma Mabubo Mudino, Aja Amo, Tunkara, and they were Mabubo Mudin Canelo, Nani, Nigeria, and Niba also count. Yes. Could you entry? Could you entry in Solo Caho? Let's get the list again. The, the Nigerian, yes. Lamin Tunkara, Victor Oduru, Kwadu Anjui, yourself, huh? Yes. Richard Boachi. Six of you, or more than that? Yes, we the are. The Nigerian, Lamin Tunkara, uh, Victor Oduru, Kwadu Anjui, uh, Martin Thierry, Richard... Uh, Richard Boachi. Boachi, uh-huh. Yes. Uh, uh, two guys. Edmund Kumi, did he let? Did yes, we left Edmund Kumi back. Okay. Uh, Edmund Kumi, the one At Kumi. Eric and Eric Inkia. Eric Inkia, yeah, we Kinkia. left him back. How about Kofi? 
في يس في واز اماند اور جروب انا نا في في ان سوسو كان هو هاو اباوت اجا امو نايجا اجا امو واز اماند He also yes, was part in the, pick, in the pick up. That makes one, two, three, four, five. Eight of you. Yes. Eight. So two batches of four, four. Yes. Okay. And then what happened after? The officer said, if you don't want to die, don't jump from this pick up, okay? The officer said, if you don't want to die, don't jump from this on green free canning. Say yes sir. So we asked Lamini, where are these people taking us to? He said, let's pray. So we take north direction from Banju. We go up. We face the up direction. So from wherever it goes, from, from the wire house. From that white house. Proceed yes. please. So we get to a point when the Nigerians, the, the one Nigerian, he started praying. He was a Muslim, Allah Akbar. So the voice was up. And was so the man stopped the car and came in. Who is that? So the officer came in with the cutlass and bring the guy down and have his backbone here and use the cutlass cut his backbone. And you know, Oba, you know, Nan, uh, you could ask a guy, no, the cha, ne chika say. And, uh, just a moment. Uh, in the list, I'm just looking at the Muslims on the list, on the basis of the names. Uh, just a moment. There is Suleiman Abdullah, but that one is listed as Ghanaian. Yes. <coughs> you say again? Six. Kasim Amadu, also listed as Ghanaian. Yes. But you know Kasim, yes, yeah, so it Kasim. could not be Kasim. There is Aruna Musa, but it's listed as Ghanaian. Would Aruna Musa be a Ghanaian name? That would sound more like a Nigerian name to me. Aruna Musa. Would that be a Ghanaian name? If Aruna Musa no, or she a Ghanaian? Meaning Ghanaian be an Okanwa friendly Aruna Musa at that time. I don't know any Ghanaian who was named Aruna Musa. There is also Mohammed Bayo. Mohammed Bayo is more Sierra Leonean than, in fact, Ghanaian, but is listed here as Ghanaian. Yes. I don't know Mohammed Bayo also. Mohammed Bayo would definitely, most definitely, be a Sierra Leonean oh, man. All right. There is also Asan Conte, that is obviously Sierra Leonean. <coughs> Momodu Korkajalo, that's, Sierra Leone, that's Senegalese. John Ameze is Nigerian. The only person listed here as Nigerian is John Ameze. But you said this person was praying in the Islamic way. Yes. Okay, let's proceed. So, after that guy suffered that serious injury and he was breathing over like, <laughs> and the blood started flowing, and uh, we get to untied road. So after how long? After how, after how long in the trip? In, in 
You see, in your first statement, you said they took you from the warehouse at around 1.30 a.m. Yes. And uh, at about 2.30 a.m., you hit a ship. Yes. The time we left the tide route, on tide route, the forest route, there was a village. After this guy had the serious cut, the guy branched from the tide route to on tide route, and the car knocked a ship. And they stopped the car, and they brought the ship, the dead ship, between me and Kwaju, and the officer said, you are going to travel with this ship tonight. Now, yes, did they slaughter the sheep before no. it died, or is just the dead carcass, the carrion that is just put? Can't knock the sheep, and the sheep was already dead. It left the blood coming through his ear and his mouth. Where blood flowing, you know, they placed the sheep within me and I know that a ball or a Ujano, and T Ujano, who ye and Omadine buy a bet to Muse, one who will drain money in the bet to buy. Between you and who? Or you and she? Yes, or you and she? Yes. So, definitely, we have knowledge about what the man is talking about that you are going to travel with a dead sheep. So, in the forest, we branch from that road also to a forest road where the pickup is finding its way through the forest. How long have you traveled? We spent it's not more than two hours, but close to two hours from eleven twelve to around. Was it was midnight? But you were not keeping the time, right? No. At that well, time. Two, three. So, so the time you provided is just a guesstimate. Yes. Proceed, please. Yes. So we get to a place that the driver stopped the car, and the two of the soldiers with gun came to the uh, bucket, and they came for our luggage bags. And there was a valley there. You do baby no omu jina na a soja for me no no a by tree and you know omu de yenema and yina a by ho. So they took our luggage into the valley and whilst they are in the valley, because a jamu was at the down where everybody lie on him because he was at his chest. He's sleeping with his chest. So he complained to an officer with a long cutlass that he should help him to turn so that somebody will go down and he also have some small rest. The man used the cutlass at his shoulder here. Though the hand was not completely off, he just cut and asked him which one is more painful. Were you able to smell the breath of these guys, these officers? That time, no. I could not remember. I could not remember. <laughs> okay, that is fine. That is fine. Sorry about that. Proceed, please. Proceed. At that time, we are at this very serious moment where you are going to be killed. So, when you get to any barrier, they're just opening, you are going to be killed. So, what is in your mind at that time is, you know. On that journey, did you come to any checkpoints? 
along the road. Some you know, eh, um, according to Nana Mukono, no room in Ben Sobi and Namu checkpoint. Yes, there was a barrier, but they did not stop us to in access anything. And then, a quino, na a woman, and so no beer, Miss Ibia, a bia. So, how do you know that you are going through checkpoints? You basically know who said Namunam checkpoint. Yes, when we get to any police barrier, they just stop and they talk to them in the other language, then they will open the barrier. Maybe I have a group, maybe I have one or two, I see a woman, a police for the Casa, and you are more Casa, or more Chrome Casa, now Mama Quay. This pickup, did it have any cover? Pickup will not be picked at so your group would have been visible to security officers who were standing at checkpoints. International say, my group, no security officers are now working. So definitely, no one Yeah, the security officers may know that yes, there is a people's in the car, but because it was night and our hands are in the pickup, so it's not easy to identify what is going on within the pickup. But you see that. The people said they know my CRT tree, you know, a be a police if one of me is not come on behoo Nancy Sono or me to me who I had the Kodia party if he's an A and a joke. But as far as you know, uh, there was no attempt to stop your vehicle uh, and and be searched. But send out train and I shall say, Oh, my dream be I say, Oh, my big Jenna Bocano, I have to show me near my room near Coso. Nowhere at any point. Oh, my yellow know, baby. So you went up to this valley and they came, they stopped and took your luggage. Yes, two of the soldiers took the luggages and bags to the valley while two of the soldiers, one officer with a long cutlass and other guy with a gun, they are watching as well as their guys are in the valley. Kwenye bonka ni mna mionuzo so ewa kadi mna chese o e ba kude isi kani tini na mionuzo e e e e e e e so so what were they doing with your luggage? Shana mo mo ni mna na mudi yadi. At that time, we have already have completed mind that these people are going to kill us because what's happening on our way to where we are and uh, the way a jamu has been cut off by colors at his shoulder. What's going through our mind at that time is that God forgive us our sins and Samuel no near bomb pie copy me say Jam who said the ACD second piano no na yeah bomb pie say said the young couple eddy yeah bo and from so better if he said yeah see a cool yes God So you no longer cared about your luggage? No, at that time it's not about luggage but it's about how you can convince yeah, yeah, James, ugly, so just angry who are going to kill you. For how long were they at the valley? They spent a few minutes and they came back. They did not do anything, but rather give us a little space to discuss some issue. Who discussed some issue? discuss it, baby. The two guys who went into the valley, they came and the officer took them uh, just about a few meters and he speak to them. And in the meantime, where were the bags? They did not come with our bags and that increased the sadness and uh, that let us know clearly that your yeah, bag no one is on farm maybe that makes us known clearly that your box has been already buried so these people are definitely going to kill us what happened after that you didn't see so from there they joined the pickup again and they decide to move deeper to the valley move for us here a two car no no, I'm call my name. So at that uh, time, the military, the officers who who were guarding you, were they inside the cabin or at the back with you? As rough one, I know my bum is buying. No more, he bunk on me, and as no more, can me. 
at that time, you see the pickup double the car. The one you, you used mean to, double cabin? Yes, double cabin. You need to push the seat of the other seat, the one who sits beside the driver, before the other guys can enter at the another car. Mm. So the man who was at the front with the driver is with the cutlass. The driver was driving, and other two guys with gun passes behind the first man beside the driver before they can get to the second car. Mm -hmm. And we, the eight, uh, uh, I don't, I want to, I don't want to the name we used to say, qualify right now. I saw that me, no, no. Omu di omu kutetu, omu no omu ko bon kanemo. Na ba kono, eh, driver ni no, ene di omu kutase kano di e. No omu timu, ne che sa adeno, eh, kano, eh, 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 kwami ilu pende da huwa, ube timi, akomu. So, in at the bucket is only the V A eight and it's full. So there is no military at the bucket at the back of the car. And you know a tree hono na yayama and ti so the ni be any one or can yeah. So now they decided to move deeper into the forest and then say omu ko bon can today ne ko e bay. So at that time it's like everybody was trying if he can do something. So while I'm trying to do something, I realize that when I try harder, I can get my hand off from the wire. So I try hard and I was able to take my hand off from the wire. So I take my hand off from the wire. To the guys that I had my hand off from the wire. And they told me it's God who wants to release you, who wants to set free. So that you tell the world how your jamay has been killed. So it's like go. Don't go, go. Who was saying go and don't go? Yeah. The Ghanaians guys around me, because Kwadu was sitting me beside, Kwadu said go. And other guys say, if you go, they will kill us fast. And it's like some people decided to give you message. Oh, God. Could you catch them and say, or shall we cry? Say, call maybe no more to say, ah, oh, quiet, be quiet. Is there kind of messages? Is there you see, tell um, and send me a normal catch show. You know, someone will say, a jam who said, I live at a guacqua, and uh, my wife and my children are there. If you have chance to go, try to, you know. And uh, other guys say, I'm from Western Region, and uh, other guys say, oh no. Itina, wawa wawo mono na uwe, ubiya ee chile chila kwa nse de be ya, nyame buwa no kwa obe timi ya kobo ne bushu ya fo ama ni ee. It's like, it's like, I don't know, you are going to be killed. And uh, I'm from here. I'll go and tell my family. Go and tell my people. Go, it's not. And you know, more man in class said they be ya. They said the medical cano. We bet me a couple we will push you for a man here. Say assembly here. And uh, it was at that time I decided to jump from the pickup. The bus, I know. Didn't you make an attempt to free the other people? Why no? I didn't say oh boy, I'm going for now. I never can. Knowing that your hands were on. You know, say what me I do. I know, say boy, I'm going for now. No, no, no. I decide to help them, but the way the wire has been tied, very tight. Well, I try to remove a jamus uh, wire to here. To, to knock here. I was not able to take it to here because when it passes through the nose, it may definitely lose. But it gets here and the car was about to stop.
Bomodi Senka, Messani, Grofo, be crumpled to say a jamon, Nelson, or not a yedding. So I decided and I tried. And they said, if you do make sure, if not, go and they find out that you have your hand off, they will just kill you at the spot. So I decided to run for my life. So you jumped off the vehicle while it was still. Yes. Moving. Yes. While the pickup was moving, I jumped and I heard a shout at my back. Who is that? But I did not look back. I have first, second, third, fourth, fifth steps, and I was tied by something. It brought me down. And I was tied by uh, some stacks of ropes in the forest, and it brought me down. Immediately, the gunshot is passes over me. So I decide to relax more. So I found out the open a big torch light. When they throw to this direction, they shoot at that place. When they throw the torch to another direction, they shoot and make sure that they shoot every door. Or the place. So I decide to have small time. Immediately I wake myself from the ground. I heard it was about ten ten steps and I heard a shout at the back there. Eradigio, Eradigio, God save us, God save us. And gunshot follows. But I don't know that I was just close to the road because it was night. So I found that proceed, proceed. I found that the pickup is the pickup is coming where the light was coming. It's heading towards where I am. So I threw myself to the for the bush and the pickup passes to the right direction and I use the left direction. So I spent four days in the forest there try to protect myself from people because I was thinking that if I go to anywhere they will arrest me to the police station. What did you do for food? And then now we say we did you. There is a, a tree in the forest here in our place is common. It's like coconut. It bears fruit red, yellow, red, like coconuts. Is here. It bears red fruits. Is that the palm tree? Yes, it's like palm tree. It's it's a tall one, bear fruit, round, round, big, big, red, red. So in our place, we we eat that thing. So it was full in the forest there. So I decided to hide myself there for strength because I've been in the cells about one week and hurt more so the above dinner i had to say could be no i be what you crew until my nona meet me the man on the world real moon so in the fourth day afternoon i i found myself in a place where there is a straight line that they have been cleared and could, I, could you say that again you found yourself I found a place at a location where they have been a street lie, they are with the place street. You can locate from here to locate far. And mm -hmm. I So when you come from the forest to the other side, they have cultivated granite and uh, there's some cottages, villages there. At this stage, how were you dressed? Some men pen show in and what 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 shed in and now a show. I was with my underwear. 
Na me pie to go under shame. Underworld. So only under only underworld. Proceed. So when the farmers set the eye on me, they started running away. And the oldest men among them approached me and they asked me where I'm coming from. And in which language? In French. Yes. And how did you respond? Yes, I hear French. Do you recall what exactly they said in okay. French? Yes. They okay. asked me, Tibau. Which translates to where you going? Yes, Tivau, where are you going? Come at it appel. Yedi monon, yedi yesu genien, yesu adaka. We say me say o o din de say o eh o ya fro we say o free him fa. Na me catch o me say me din de say me ya Ghana ni. We are we want the vehicle we are back home to Paris and Europe and on the side we are Gambi on arrested and police. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, call Europe. Ena, yeah, 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 ba Gambia. Ena, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, Bobia, my bedroom. So it get to a point that they understand all what I'm saying. In the bedroom, maybe I just want to tell you, I'm not carrying you now. See, do you know the name of that village? Hmm, it's a bit bigger now. Okay, no, Nigi. It's close to Bunklin. I see a bit Bunklin in Kazamas. In Kazamas. Oh, Kazamas. Yeah, what happened after that? I didn't see. So they said they give me cow milk and uh, rice at the afternoon. Oh, and, they, and they give me shirts and uh, slippers to wear and they give me trousers. And they said this place is close to the border and we are farmers here. We don't have any protection. So oh. this is the way. Oh, oh, my God. God. In the meantime, did you form a conclusion as to what might have happened to your colleagues when you had them saying, God help us, God help us, and then you had gunshots? Some for me, the time they are shouting, I was just close and the pickup return and I see the pickup, no one is inside the pickup. So na e ade a me ben nti anche bia na pick up no sa da ne ho me ba me hwe na obi ani when the pick up was passing i just want to see if they are still in the pick up so i just raised my hand, head small and nobody was in the pick up so the pick up took the right direction and i took the left direction so nti me ma me ni so no na me hu se eh pick up no obi ani nti no pick up no fa ni fa so na me so me fa benkum Based on what's happening on our way to that place and what I have passed through, I do not have any doubt that they have been killed. If we near my man who named the name himself, Quebia, so no, and Yadia, or more, Eti, at Yasi for my mobile. And now you are near boom killing, you've been given uh, a shirt, trousers, and slippers, and told to go. Where did you go? The first village I arrived is where they offer me sets and they show me a way that I can go close to a road from Second Shore to uh, uh, Dakar. That was where I can locate a big place, a big city, a town, so that I can have medicine. So I walked small and I get to another village where I slept. So next day, the next day a guy came in with a donkey that they used to carry granites. So uh, the villagers asked him to take me to a highway. And I'm going to catch you and say, I'm going to call for me and call.
quantum promo. So I arrived in the evening, and that place also was a village, and there was a gendarme camp. So immediately I get there, the villagers escort me to gendarme camp. So the gendarme took me and they find me a place to sleep and they do a wireless message to the Adeshwet capital, which is Bonklin. So next day morning, uh, Amoka came from Bonklin Jandamali camp. So they brought me to Bonklin where they sent me to hospital for treatment and uh, my fingerprints and passport pictures and the statement was taken so after some days that they found that I can go back to Dakar, the gendarme gave me some money and they write some notes to me and they give me another road that I can use Koda, Koda Road so that I will not pass through Dakar. You said, what's the name of the road? I use Kolda. Kolda? Yes, Kolda. Okay, proceed, please. Yes, so I have my way back to Dakar, where I later come to know that no one was responding or no one has been heard since we left uh, Mbu. You know, so now I came to know some of the guys who initially I don't know because when anyone heard that one of the guys has come out, definitely he come and find out uh, where his brother is. Yeah. So briefly tell us what happened in Dakar, which, which, uh, which led to your eventual return to Ghana. So in Dakar, in 1989, was a Nigeria counselor who also came with other Nigerian guys whose brothers was involved. And there I came to know that nine Nigerians also was involved. In Tidaka and Susono, Nigeria, a embassy honor, almost Obi Fuho by our bearish in India, Hona Mu said Nigeria for cross so a camp. But you told us earlier that in Moor, when the vessel, when the boat came, it came with nine Nigerians among others. Yes, yes, there was that. They came with Nigerians, but the specific number, I was later find out that this is the specific number because it came with Nigerians and Tola also is shouting, nine Nigerians, we have kept nine Nigerians on board. And but they say, So by specify of the counselor, that makes, us, that makes me understand that. Yes, indeed, there was a nine Nigerians on board at that time. So, this, this group of six that were sent initially, uh, you mentioned three, Robert Essien, Eric Yao, and Daniel. Did that group also include Nigerians? No, I can't tell that they are Nigerians because uh, actually I did not see that uh, this is the guy. They, they just left and the guys, oh, the six of them are going to make a call. The six of them is going to make a call. So those who I'm close to, is the uh, Yao, uh, uh, Asian, Yao, and the Danish. They have been to me Ghana. They are from the American. They say, "Woman, I'm a bear. I'm no Yao and a Danish." So, 
while in Dakar, it was confirmed to you that at least there were nine Nigerians involved. Yes. What happened after that? So I sent to, I was brought to the mission, Ghana mission in Dakar for my statement and fingerprints and passport picture. And that was the place I stayed for Ghanaians also to brought pictures for identification. And we Ghana embassy to Dakar. I hold on now. Because I'm going to force you to buy a chair. We're going to buy a chair. We're going to buy so I spent some days there for identification, and uh, later on we had uh, news that if I do not take care, some people will come after me in here, Dakar. So I must to rush to Accra. Today, so I returned to Accra with uh, Councillor Mauto. And he handed me over to CID, which is Mr. David Asante Abiatu, who was the CID. But initial stage, they sent me to Foreign Minister, who was uh, at that time Nana Akufuado, now our president. And now, Mr. David Asante, a pretty on a lawyer, see I the boss, Sam Reno, and now, see, see, I also know Nana Ado Danko Kufuado, a way Ghana president, no, Satan, no, 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 a foreign minister. And uh, later, Mr. Appear too brought in speeches of some dead bodies for identification. It is a trade on. See, I the boss, I know what Ghana no, or the and Crophobia or more woman, a more a bass, the measure is a minimum. And I so I was able to identify some of them who I know and have the pictures for their families also for confirmation. And me to me, extra and Crophobia or more now, me a minimum, and now almost we shall force so a buy a before so. How many were you able to identify? No, no, say now to me a whole tray six at that time because the dead bodies was eight. And who were those you were able no, to me identify? No, me and one Ajekum. Yes, A G Y E K U M. Ajekum. Ajekum, what's the last name? Yeah, the first name. Could you say? No, it's only Ajekum. Ajekum, I think Kwabana Ajekum, but what was it? Kwa. Kweku, Kweku Ajikum, Kweku Anti Ajikum, yes. Okay. And who else? Yauchre. Yauchre. Yes. Uh huh. Abari Kasim. Abari Kasim. Yes. And uh, one old man from Mampon. So we call him Mampon. Mampon is the only. His hometown's name is Mampon, and Mampon. that's what we call him. Is it? Uh, all right. Sorry. Uh, we have Abari Kasim. Uh, Kasim, we have Amadu. Is it or is it Abari? It's Abari Kasim. Abari Amadu Kasim. You know, so. Abari Amadu Kasim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then Mampong. Yes. On the second. Uh, uh, if he's from. Okay, we have Yao Chiere. Hmm? Mampong, I don't think. We have Ajikum also. Yes, we have Ajikum. Ajikum Kwaku. Mampadu. Mampadu, we would not have. Yes. Um, we have Ampadu, you said? Ampadu, yes. Ampadu. Yes. Ampadu, we have. Hold a second. Ampadu is. Uh, just a moment. Uh, number 10. Yes. Kwadu Ampadu. Yes. Yes. Kwadu Ampadu. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then who else? Um. It's two, four, five. I have one more. Yes, I think I will, I will give you the one. And, uh, okay. and also, it came to my notice that these eight dead bodies, one half chance to escape to Ghana Town Police Station. Check what you've said again. One of the eight body, dead bodies escaped. They, 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 they discovered. 
the time they are executing them, one half chance to escape to Ghana okay. town. Okay, in the group yes. of the eight people, yes. of the dead Bodies. eight people, yes. uh, there was another person yes. who wasn't killed, yes. who would have made them nine, yes. who escaped, escaped to Ghana town. Yes. What's the name of that person? Kwabna Fusu. Kwabna Fusu. Yes. Where is he now? Oh, he's here. It's only Ghana town police who can tell. So he was handed over to Ghana Town. It's known the name of Ghana, Ghana Town, Town Police. Police. He ran to the chief of Ghana Town mm -hmm. at Ghana Town. Mm -hmm. And the families and the Ghana Town people came to conclude that mm -hmm. no, Gam Gam Gambian soldiers cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Gambian police cannot do that. So some say let Gambian police cannot do that. Gambian soldiers cannot do that. It's become like they don't understand. Mm -hmm. So some came to conclusion that let's give this guy money to go to Senegal. And they say no, let's report to the police. Nti dia ba yan se, o mo se da bi Gambia for the o mo nkumu nipa. Nti Ghana ta ho dia ba yan se, o mo se ye mo ko fo sika no aboy sika no ko Senegal. E bi no se da bi ye fa mo nko ma police for. Fa so minia. So they brought this guy to Ghana town police. When he was arrested again, including the chief of Ghana Town at that time. Mhm. yade ni ni ba yade no ma Ghana Town Police no yes I H E one bill. And then what happened? So, Kapana Fosu spent some days at the Ghana Town Police Station, where people used to visit him. And one day, they went there. He's nowhere to be found. Now our Ghana town police in Susoro, that will be one more call, you know, one more one will be The interesting thing is, Kuabna Fosu either has a different name. Yeah, we want to say Kuabna Fosu, no. He be bad say Odin Fufu. But he is not in the list. Was on car list now. That was prepared uh, uh, from Kairaba Station. Is it possible that he was amongst those? Among the six who were sent from Bara, from Banjul, to go and look at what was happening. No, Kwabena Fusu was not among the three guys who we sent for. Uh, no, the six. The six. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Yes. But the the issue we have now is that he is not in the original list. Yes. That we have. No, I want to say, we didn't come to the country, we didn't come. Because the expectation is that if he had come to Banjul with the group, he would have been in the list. Because me almost say it's an kokanuna, umu ba banjula, and can he din be walk right and so? You see, the time we get to Bara Police Station, some of our guys have experience of traveling to other countries where they have been arrested in such situations before. So you see, Dan Dennis Daniel Dennis just jumped over mm -hmm. the thing and go. So maybe Kwabena Fusu may decide not to write his name. It is possible. You see, so the story after I have based on the eyewitness and those in Ghana town, the guy came and he was very hurt. And uh, according to his story, they get to the forest at Brufoot and they found out that soldiers are ready to kill them with knives and cutlasses. So, Brufoot forest, no, Omu who say, soldiers, no, Omu kuta, etio, ene, nsikai. How did that happen? Yes, so Kwabana Fusu said that there was a Nigerian and uh, other guy actually, they are very strong guys. So they decide to fight with one soldier and tell him to run. So they tell, that is what the story I have based on the chief of Ghana town and those who What's, what's the name of the chief of chief no, yes, I can give it to the commission, but later I can I'll make sure to okay, give it. Okay, we write it on a piece of paper. Write it on a piece of paper. 
It's not right now. Later, I'll find out because I'll mm -hmm. contact him. So that's no problem. No yes. problem. No problem. Obviously, these are things that uh, you don't have an intimate knowledge of. You were told. Yes. So, Kwabna Fusu was arrested again. Yes, actually, Kwabna Fusu Bio. At the Ghana Town Police Station, where people used to visit him every day. And you know, Ghana Town Police Station and Ankro for Kostan Omribia. So he was the f guy who told the Ghana Town people that that this is what's happening to us yesterday night. Into Oluna, we catch a Ghana Town and Ankro say near Etuye and Rana Junior. But the people did not believe. Now one hundred and ninety. So they decide to send him to Ghana Town Police for. Uh, Report to be made. And you know, Omo Kase, Omo de Nobeko Ghana Town Police, Amana Control and Numasem. And then what happened after that? He went with Ghana Town Chief and the elders at that time. And it's not the only chief who was arrested. The chief and his elders, including Kwabana Fusu, was arrested and later they did have bail and Kwabana Fusu was not granted bail till now. And the Kwabana Fusu, any I am for no Ghana Town or yet you only know, and then no. I have no idea. Omunya, your friends, a bill. Na kabla fusi di, ebe si se meka se yingu baby owo. And up to now, kabla fusi has not been seen. No. Si ne yingu kabla fusi. So he should be considered as disappeared. Si enfa ne se yingu ni chira kwa. Yes. So the time we left at the uncompleted building. Mm -hmm. Leave it other guys in the building. The two ladies, Eric Nketia, Edmond Kumi, and I think one guy at the uncompleted building. Also. So, this is the people I can say that yes, I left while they are alive. I did not see that they have been killed. I didn't see their dead body anywhere. But the time I'm living at the uncompleted house, they are there. And I'm free. Baby, I have one on Dana AC. You know, San Crofo, we say, Ketesia, me, no, no, and I, and my mommy and Sano, now me, who say, Omo, the Omo Tias, and no more. Give us their names. Omo, Omo, Dinche, Eric Nketia, Edmond Kumi. Maku. Uh, hold a second, Edmund Kumi. Maku and Janet. Maku. Yes. Maku, that is the lady. Yes. Janet. <laughs> and I think one guy, maybe Fee or something like that. One guy. Yes, Fee. Mm. Hmm? Yes. Okay. These five. Yes. <laughs> So after you went to Ghana, you met Ghana. with the CID. Yes. You met with the then foreign minister, now president. Yes. Uh, what happened? So the pictures of dead bodies that discovered at the Brufood Forest was shown to me for identification. Yes. Yes, I identified them and have the copy of the photos to show to their families for them also to be at the CID and the Ministry and of Foreign Affairs for Confirmation. How, how were you able to trace their families? Yes, because the time the case happened, I spent some days in Dakar. So whenever the guys came, oh, I stay with this guy. He came from this town. He came from this village. So the time I left Dakar, I knew almost Ghanaians who had lived around. So when you escaped to Dakar, Ghanaians in Dakar must have heard the story yes. and came to the embassy to confirm certain Yes, that's exactly what's happening. And uh, 
we have decided the time I left, I thought these guys are not going to be killed. So I'll make sure that definitely they will be released. Enti se sana ye ye yadwe na tama me ye ye no me fri hono na eh mkrofo no na me ni mse kwe biya so no ye be jawo so i move from village to village town to town cid headquarters foreign ministry to make sure that maybe they may be arrived so that we can do something to have them release but my effort was not so now it's only Isien, Eric Yao and Dennis and Daniel that a few guys I can't record that. Dennis and who? Dennis and Daniel. Mm -hmm. Those we, they are amount the guys who we left at the Barra Beach to Banju, and they are the only guys I can testify that. Since 2005, since 2005 till now, I can say that yes, they have life, and we can talk to them when it's needed. And but Osei Daniel. Yes. Daniel Osei. Yes, that man is on the list. Yes. That is the one I'm talking about, Daniel Osei. Where is he? He's Germany. We have Daniel Ohene Kwachio, yes. Because Daniel Daniel they are they are two or something of that sort and the names is maybe you will not call him daniel you know okay, okay. daniel osei is in the is in the list yes but daniel kwachi is not on the list okay so which one of them is in uh, is in uh, always use the daniel huh daniel is which one is in gun is in germany i think daniel osei no, that it could not have been Daniel Osei. Because right now people because use Daniel Osei is in the list. And at, in your statement earlier, you said one person jumped at Barra. His name is Daniel, Den, Dennis Oheni Kwachi. Dennis Oheni Kwachi. Yes. And one Daniel is also in Spain, who was with uh, Yahoo, Eric, and uh, Robert Isin, the other. Robert Isin, Yahu Eric, and Daniel. They are the people who was arrested together. There are six and the three, I don't know. And this Denis jumped over Barra police station wall. Mm -hmm. He is now living in Germany. Okay. They are all who, you know, or to Germany. Okay, Robert Isin. Uh, Eric Yao and Daniel. The, 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 the problem with this, were there two Daniels or one Daniel? One Daniel and one is Dennis. I can record one Daniel and one is Dennis. Yes, but if Daniel was sent together with Eric Robert Sien and Eric Yao, his name would not have been on the list that I have. Yes. Because... So it must have been some other person other than Daniel. For counsel, because I was not able to record everybody's name, That's right. it may be very difficult to recognize all the names and identify who the guy is. And if there is also a Daniel in Spain, it's either the Daniel on this list escaped, okay, from okay. Banjo. I said Daniel will be was spin, and I said Daniel or all people will use me, Ujaniko spin. Or he must have been part now, of the six. Or, or can we confirm here no one? Yes, the Daniel, which I'm talking about right now, he was arrested at Banjo Port with Isin and Eric. 
he was the Daniel, and the other guy, Dennis, was jumped over the Barra Town police station. Okay. Yeah, make us see how Ohri we say. Obey him. He didn't come out. Daniel now work on him. You know the work that he has. We could tell him more. Now they are now working. So of the six that came to Banjo, at least three were arrested and accounted for at the Banjo police station. That's correct. And those are Robert Essien, Eric Yao, and Daniel. Daniel. Okay. So the other three have not been found. Not been found. Okay. So we have to account for those three. Sure. All right. And those so three. So it are means, therefore, there were three Daniels. <laughs> yes. Huh? We got it. The Daniel, who's part of the six, who were saved. The Daniel in this document, which raises the presumption that they were executed, and the Daniel that is in Spain. No. The Daniel mm -hmm. who is in Spain mm -hmm. was a Daniel who was arrested ah. at Yahoo. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yes. Then it means there may have been two Daniels. Yes. Okay, good. But who, so, is the, who is the one in Germany? Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, not yes. Daniel. Not no, Daniel. not the Daniel, it's Dennis. No. Dennis is in Germany. Sure. And Daniel is in Spain. It's in Spain. Let me get that again. Dennis, Dennis is in Germany. Germany. Yes. That's the guy who jumped over the fence. That's it. Yes. And Daniel is the guy and who Daniel. was arrested by the yes, police yes. and held at Banjul Police Station. That's all. That's the guy in Spain now. Yes. Okay. So in our list, we have another Daniel who may be... Another Daniel among... Because maybe amongst I, those who are I can't recommend... Uh, have everybody's name in mind. We understand that. We understand Thank you very much. But since then, you have made a crusade yes. out of this issue to ensure that <coughs> efforts are made to trace the whereabouts of these people, and that justice is done. Fish and men, what can you say? You bet me in a section, a man in Crawford, or Modi, sir, to trace me, I won't go for a moment. Yes, and in Ghana. I have moved from village to village, town to town. At, at the initial stage, I was thinking about making sure that the rest of the guys may be released. But later, I found out that they have been killed and they are nowhere to be found.
Gambia may be the smallest country in Africa, but it will host the second largest gathering of world leaders in 2022. To successfully host the OIC summit and put the Gambia on the global stage, the government of the Gambia set up OIC Gambia to mobilize resources for the implementation of key development and infrastructure projects on a scale never seen before. 20 new roads will be constructed across the country and the Bertel Harding Highway will be expanded into a dual carriage highway of two lanes on each side from the airport to Sting Corner. All people in the Gambia deserve clean water and a constant flow of electricity. Therefore, an entirely new water system will be constructed, including new transmission and distribution networks to meet the increasing demand. In order to provide a more reliable supply of electricity, the OIC Gambia project will replace and double the capacity of the Nowak transformers and overhead electric cables. We will equip the police with modern apparatus and technical training in an effort to keep the streets of the Gambia safe. By building the largest international conference centre in the region, a five-star hotel with state-of-the-art facilities, first-class mobility services and improving the VVIP experience at the Banjul International Airport, OIC Gambia will position the Gambia as the leading conference destination in West Africa. With our partners in the tourism sector, we will reinforce the preeminent position of our nation, the Smiling Coast, as a go-to destination. The OIC Gambia will create strategic partnerships that calls for the involvement of local talent and businesses as a matter of requirement. In short, OIC Gambia projects will create jobs, boost commerce, accelerate growth, improve the urban outlook and lifestyles of many families across the Gambia. So let's support the OIC Gambia as it prepares us for one of the biggest global events. OIC Gambia, building today for a better tomorrow. So I decided to make sure that justice must be served. So I came to uh, contact with Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative Africa. And uh, we make sure we did our best and later we have eight dead bodies from Gambia. Uh, that's, that's, we were told that they are the bodies. We were told that they are the bodies of our fellow Ghanaians. Which at this time the families are not too sure about that. And no autopsy was done at that time, no verification. Even the coffees that they brought from Gambia was not open. But you must be aware that there's been cooperation between the Gambia government and the Ghana government <coughs> regarding the bodies of those Ghanaians, which resulted in the evacuation of those coffins that you talked about. Do you say a government of Ghana, a government of Gambia, no more didn't get a home, no more, a fast move? So far as I know, there haven't been no compensation so far as this case is concerned. Yeah, me, 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 and conversation, so far as I know, uh, there was a conversation which, as a result, it came to a conclusion at the Silt that those who are responsible for these killings are rogue elements, rogue, and elements. rogue elements, and they are not, they are operating on their own. So, so we were waiting for a day that we will find the rogue elements. We, uh, we, wait, we have waited till time. We have a common watch, a human rights watch, tra international, uh, CDD, ASLA, and uh, Amnesty International Media Foundation Africa joined Jamaica Justice Campaign. 
international bodies ni na no ye ni wo mo aye ye a chese e kwa bia so no e se de jam e ya ya jame e ba na obeye mbo ano ni di and later we found out that there was a investigation team opened by UN and ECOWAS. But the sadness point or sadness part was that the UN ECOWAS also did not give even little respect for we the poor peoples. Because even to call the families and speak to them that we are sorry, uh, you are, you are, you, you lost our people at the Gambia, and based on our fast founding is a rocky element. So later uh, we will deal with it. This is the uh, the report. We have nothing the like that happened. <laughs> But you must have seen in this road commission that people, that soldiers who actually carried out these killings came forward and confessed but and carried out the killings. Yes. Because I know that the Gambia is taking new direction where people can live, so everybody is ready to vomit. So, for soldiers to confess in the presence of TRC, I think is a great thing, but that does not stop us to find justice. And as, as part of this collective quest to find justice, the Gambia government had paid $500,000 to some of the victims' families in Ghana through, through the Ghana government. Do you, are you aware of that? We are aware, say, as you see, the Gambian government, each year $5,000, I'm a Ghanaian government. $500,000. $500,000. I'm a Ghanaian government. No? I'm a Ebusian Fua or more Odisha, a course at the BIA. We need to be Bisa. One thing the families and I normally talk about that the Gambia government have insulted us with $500,000 to bury unknown bodies. The Omo can say Gambia government, Omo the $500,000, Abraham or Archess, or what did you want him? If you say Nipa no the buyer, or Munim, say Omo, a year, or Mom, we are Omon Crawford, and I say, yeah, Omon Crawford. And he did not said, I'm sending this five hundred thousand for compensation. One cassette, or this are five hundred thousand, a bar, a war, compensation, dear, because he told us that he don't know who killed these people. Your kind, they say, Munim, Crawford, or Moku. So later, if we find out who are culprits or those who are responsible for these killings, they are going to deal with them, they will brought them to justice, and the families are going to duly compensated. But because these killings take place in Gambia. So because this case is happening in Gambia, in humanitarian grounds, we are giving 500,000 for the barrier service. And you know, the 500,000 normally buy any day, and yet, a dear, a year compensation on a humanitarian grounds in Tra. $500,000 for the burial of five remains would be some burial, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, because but, but Mr. Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin, on behalf of the entire Gambian people, did you Gambia for in name? We say we are sorry for what has happened. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. See, say, say, see, For me, I, like I can, I can just accept. Moment. Just a moment. I can accept the best. Just a moment. Like you said, uh, justice must prevail. 
you please continue with the interpretation? Yes, see, um, as I said, as such, she, this is just one step in the quest for justice. Be rest assured that the entire Gambian people and its government are deploying their best efforts to ensure that the truth of what has happened will be seen. And once the truth is disclosed, the road would be open for people to forgive. For people to begin to forgive and to reconcile. And for the wheels of justice to start in motion and ensure that justice is done. Like you, we are all in for justice. And that is why we are giving all our best efforts to ensure that this process succeeds. And to ensure that no stone remains unturned. The bonds between Ghana and the Gambia are far too strong. Painful as this may be, it should only serve to reinforce the bonds and and connection boom and the peoples of Ghana and, and the Gambia. For Ghana and Gambia. I'm sure you would agree with that. Sure. Uh, on that note, I have just one more question for you. I would read out the list and you help us correct some of these names no, as far as you possibly can. Sure. You don't know that? No, I, I know that it's Togolis, but I don't know his full name. Loka Esperant Kungolis. Do you yes. know do you know that name? I know the Kungolis, there's Kungolis, but I don't know his full name. Good. Suleiman Abdullah Ghanaian. Yes, I maybe, but I don't know him physically. Uh, Bright Antwi or Antwi? Antwi. 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 Okay, Antwi. Ghanaian. Yes. Kweki Antwi Ajikum. You have identified yes. that person. Yes. Kasim Am Amadu. Amadu. Kasim That's Amadu Abari. 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 Okay. All right. So it should be Kasim Amadou Abari. So, so I am taking a list of the corrections. Huh? Yes. Uh, so that is uh, number six on our list is Kasim Amadou Abari. 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 Kasim Abari Amadou. Okay. Amadou would be the last name. Would be the last okay. name. Okay. Okay. Kweku Apia. Kweku Apia, yes. Kweku Apia. Yes. Benjamin Kobna. Kusu. Kobna. Oh, Kobna today. It's Benjamin Kobna. Yes. That was Kobna Fusu. Benjamin Kobna Fusu. Ah. Kobna. Kobna Fusu. Okay. <laughs> so that is eight. Okay. Benjamin Kobna. Kobna is K-K-W-A-B-E-N-A. Not, not K-O-B-N-A. No. Fosu, huh? Yes. Benjamin Kobna Fosu. Okay. Nketia Eric. Yes. Kwadu Ampadu. Yes. Richard Bwachi. Okay. Edmond Kumi. Peter Asire. Asare. 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 Yes, he is the choir master. 
Queer Master. Yes. Okay. Peter Asare. A S S A R E. Yes. Huh? Yes. You call him Queer Master. He was. How do you write Queer? Queer Master was a guy named, so he's just a. K K K Q W A Q U A Y. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So maybe. that's Key Master. So you call him Queer Master. Queer. Queer Master. Queer Master. master. Yes. Okay, Queer Master. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. You know these are the pro differences between Gambia and Ghana. The pronunciation. Okay. Um, so that's Peter Asare. That's the Queer Master. Kwadu Antwi. Chiere Martin. Peter Mensa. Yes. Emmanuel. Is it Emmanuel Nati? Emmanuel Nati. Emmanuel Nati. That's 17 should be. Emmanuel. Nati. N A A T Y or N A T Y? N A T T Y. N A T T Y, Nati. Okay. Yao Chieri? Yes, Yao Chieri was a Okay. Asanti Isaac? Yes. Koranteng Machiel? Michael. Michael. Okay. You know him, right? Sure, sure, sure. I know him for well. Peter Achina? Achina. No, 21. 21. Uh, Machiel Tawia, is, is, oh, is it Michael Tawia? Michael Tawia. Michael. How do you spell Tawia? T-E-W-I-A. I-A? Yes, T-E-W-I-A. Okay. Uh, Peter Ashina? Peter Ashina. How do you spell Ashina? A-K-Y-I-N-E-A. A K Y I N E A. Kina. John Carson. John Carson. K E R S O N. Yes. John Carson. Nelson Frimpong. Pong. Is it Frimpong? Pong. F R I M P O N G. Okay. Twenty-four. Nelson Frimpong. <laughs> you know. This must have been written by a Gambian sure. uh, based on the pronunciation of yes. the names. There is fight shit. <laughs> that wouldn't ring a bell to you. No, no. George Amo. Yes, that was Aja Amo. Huh? George Amo. It's Aja Amo. Maybe. I don't know the name he gave at that time, but. Okay. George. Yes. Amo. A, is it A R M O O or A M O O? A M M O. Amo. George Amo. So he's Aja Amo. Yes. How do you spell the Aja? A G Y A. Aja Amo. Okay. Then Aruna Musa. Muhammad Bayo. These are listed as Ghanaians, but they sound very much a reunion. Johnson Ajire. Johnson. Jerry. Well, it says Johnson, which I imagine should be Johnson. Yeah. Ajire. A G Y R E. Ajay. Ajay. Yes. So you know this one? No, no, that's it's Ajay. It's but there. you you believe it should be Ajay? Ajay. Yes. A G Y is Ajay. So Johnson. Ajay. How do you spell the Ajay? A G Y E I. Uh -huh. Okay, Johnson A J. Ah, I, this looks like A G Y I E. A D. Okay, all right. Joseph Mensa. Yes. Juju Mengs. You don't know that. Um, Richmond Boadi. Yes, Richmond Boadi. B O A D I. Boadi. That's all. By Daniel. Yes. You know that one? Yes, Daniel. Samuel Solomon, Sierra Leonean. That should be 34. This should be Samuel, I think, not Samuel. Asan Conte. 
Okay. Uh, hold on a second. This one I'm trying is add this something dear coffee. I'd have to. Anyway, the, it's Ivory Coast, so you wouldn't know the name. Juliana Maku? Yes. Ghana? Yawi Mens? Yao. Yao Mens? Yes, maybe he's again because. Huh? 38. Yao Mens? Awa Pon? Awa Po. Awa Po. How do you spell that? A W U U A H. Awa Po Po P A U L P A U Po P A U L Po. Yes. Okay. Osei Daniel. Osei Daniel. David Gibson, Liberian. Mumudu Korkajalo, Senegalese. Kweku. Awam full. Kufu. Oh. Kweku. Well, this last name is a bit difficult. I can't decipher some of the letters. Awami full, something like that. Do we have John Akufo inside the list? John Akufo, no, John Amezi. John Amezi, we don't have John Akufo. Yes, there is Akufo inside the list. John Akufo. John Carson, maybe it's John Akufo. Yes. Hmm? That would be to number 23. John Carson. Should be John Akufo, huh? How do you spell Akufo? A K U F O? Yes. Akufo. Okay. Ah, Kweku J K. Amamful or Awafu? Awamful or Awamiful? Amamfu. Yeah, Amamfu. Amamfu. You have Amamfu. Yes, because. Kweku Amamfu. Amafu, how would you spell it? A M A N F O. Amafu, okay. Okay. Tano Janet, Ivorian, John Amezi, Nigerian, Ismail Laku, Senegalese, Abebo Yawi, Togolese, James Okiere, Ghana. James. Ochieri or Jim Okieri? Ochieri. Ochieri? James Ochieri. We have Chere and we have Ochieri. Yes, this is Ochieri. Yes. Okay, this is the Chere is spelled the same. Yes. But yes. Ochieri, you add O before K. Yes, that's right. That's what we have here. Idrissa Touré, Sierra Leonean. Manila Alpha. Ghanaian. Isaac Amoli. Isaac Amo. Amo. Yes, okay. Good. So with this list, uh, now we have discovered this this one. Uh, Fosu. Abna Fosu. Abna Fosu is Benjamin. Benjamin Kwabna Fosu. Benjamin Kwabna Fosu. So Fosu is in the list. Um, so the three people have to be added to this yes, list. Yes, Robert Essien, Eric Yao, and Daniel. Robert Essien, Yao, right. and Daniel. That would give us 54. Right. Nine. We have to add Dennis Oheni Kwachi. Sure. That would Oheni give Kwachi. us 55. Remain 55. Yes. Right? Yes. And uh, Victor Oduru. Victor Oduru. Yes. That's the one we have to account for. Yes. Uh, Victor Oduru, we don't have anything here that is similar to Victor Oduru. 
Bibini hosa Dimbini hasa You know what's happening at the Bara police station? Yes The time Victor came for us mm -hmm. To the Bara police station mm -hmm. You see when you enter Bara police station There is a compound mm -hmm. At the back of the police station So the Victor They send him directly to cells mm -hmm. The time we get to Bara police station at the night evening time he sent Victor Dari to sales. Mm -hmm. So he did not write his name when the man came to his office. Okay. So after they are taking the first batch, they just go to the cells and open the cells and take away Victor. And I don't know why his name was not here because the Gambian authorities always go around with him mm -hmm. in Banju. Mm -hmm whenever they want to because the time we are in the Bundum police station some afternoon they used to visit they used to come and check over so when they come i ask victor what is going on so they will release us they will release us let's pray even victor himself is going around with them but he don't know what is going on okay so with with this list that we have of 51 plus robert Eshien, eric yao daniel victor oduro and Dennis Kwachi would make 56. You see, at least we are when we are coming in Adimbo now, we are making 56. Yes. But it was nine Nigerians. And in Nigeria, four, nine. But those nine Nigerians are not here. Just nine Nigeria, four, nine. We are in Kakrata, no? Yes. We cannot account for those nine Nigerians. And number 45 is not among the nine, because if he was, there is no explanation why the others were not. So, that is the problem we would have to deal with. Yes. How do you feel now that you see the wheels of justice moving? This year, yeah, I can't see me. I wish I had prepared a better one. Send a feel. Yes, I I think it's in good direction for me and the families back home, seeing that at least giving you access to hear your case is a process of giving you justice. Eh, me say, eh, 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 kwan papa ah, eh, now so we say, say, yeah, the proper yeah, eh, to far from the net, yeah, say. So, I was not thinking that maybe something like this will happen one day where I'm very comfortable here in Gambia giving my statement and no one is, I just, I'm not looking back. My not looking back. So, what I and the victims, family, not only in Ghana, of course I know there is a lot of victims here in Victim Center, we want to see justice. And I hope, appearing in TRC, we are in the right direction to have access to justice. And Nam eh se tiasi eh juma mo ye na eh juma pa so i hope today people in back home will say yes the day will come we will see justice and we hope never again africa will be especially west africa will be a place that we can move up and down West Africa by asking for justice what exactly is it that you will be self separate prayer will be seen a damn putting in a open will join a green so then put in now he said prepare you know and then our dream yes we have stages of justice others think about having the dead bodies or the remains 
in Ghana and bury properly and uh, uh, honoured is a way of justice. Others think about seeing the perpetrators, including Yaya Jame, being appear before competent court is a process of justice. And others also believe that the families need to be compensated because they le those who have been killed left wives and children and they have bring a lot of problems in the family thank you mr cherry for mr. answering my questions thank you very much the smiling coast is the mother crying coast of today hearing what we heard all day and yesterday as well i'm personally shocked See, it is my idea. You see, I smiling coast. I done is crying coast. Now, me and Kasa Sama, me and Mati, we dream ye. Devastated. Tommy, so. Bewildered. Just me, who in tears ye. And frankly, embarrassed. And a year new that these atrocities occurred in our soil here. So, it is dressing me, a sea way, my way, so. Carried out by perpetrators. Some of said to trust in who were using knives, guns, machetes or cutlasses. Omudi said I you. And uh, inhuman treatment. Na omuye ni pa ya kaya kadi se mwa. This is a land I'm not known for those kind of atrocities. How many baby ya ye nimse baby sa koso? We truly sorry and this is what happened. Um, to all these young African um, souls. You see, sorry, who any work for you in the Jantua, Emma? Yes, the wheels of justice have started rolling. See, but she not prepare you at your soul, sir. I shall see. Our processes involve. Yes, she will look on the CBCP. Establishing the truth. The man will create CP. Which is absolutely. Uh, indispensable in order to move on. We will um, uh, reach more conclusions here in the Commission on what we have heard. We will make um, uh, our recommendations and uh, we hope that um, uh, the uh, justice would be done yeah, to the victims. Pray, pray, and then we'll pray. Yes, we heard your suggestions. We heard your views. We would reach um, uh, some uh, conclusion. The victims should not be despondent. Sometimes the wheels of justice are roll very slowly. Then you say prepare us a dream prepare will be a content. But at the end of the day, the mantra of this um, uh, exercise that we are involved in is never again. Mr. Cherry. Mr. Cherry. You mentioned that this never again should not just apply um, uh, to the Gambia, but to Africa as a whole. Sure. And, uh, I can't ask you any questions um, uh, on uh, what really happened and what we heard these two days. Uh, commissioners, if you have any questions, please um, uh, uh, proceed. If not, I'm um, uh, a stitch here. Imam, you have the floor, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Sir. First of all, 
I wish to congratulate you for your life. Thank you, sir. Daddy Kai, me share won't cry. Very few people in this world will have this kind of narrow escape. Se and can nipa I will be asking you now to me and ya a quana of us with Jana. I'm sure it's God that saved you. Me jidi se nyamina e ji won kwa. I want you to tell West African migrants. They say o catch West Africa wo opeso mo ko Europe no. Particularly those going by the back way. Wo a won na eposo e ko Europe no. Why they should not attempt it. Say the entire and say say wo mo bo mo tru mo kra se on be sa. You have had the experience when ya sue hu no. You have had the narrow escape that God has given you. When ya e kwa ke tu abi na yakopon de fast we yi wo free mo no. But more importantly today, dear here pa ene ne ne se. You are sitting to narrate the incidents. What 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 ba a wo di adanse e afa de esi ye ho. No man can do better than you to save our young people who are still trying to go by the back way. O bia ni ho a obetimi agi yen nkwale ya on pese o mo fa back way e ko Europe no. I want to hear your voice. Thank you. Bedawase. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, Mr. Cherry, if you have any concluding remarks to make, please proceed to do Mr. so. Mr. Chair, so we will come out as our country to our country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, I would like to respond to the Commissioner's uh, appeal that he made. In fact, I've taken it on my uh, shoulders to campaign against illegal migration in Africa. The Edikano, the person, me, the commissioner, same nano, me, I'm a fat to me who say, me, bu, uncle, for a bem, say, or moon, fat, sacra, and a subio. Because now it is taking different direction so far as illegal migration in West Africa is concerned. See, say, dear, dear, I don't know any action or a idea in Hupa. At first, when we talk about this back way, maybe we normally concentrate about male boys, male born. First, no see a case back way, not just see a case a man go on. But right now, ladies have joined the party. She said, "Dear, in Kitisi, I no go on a door so." Where people traffically move to other parts of the world to serve as house girls, and later found themselves in. Many on dangerous situations. Ah, and Crawford Brace, he said, Yeah, one more fat, a crabby to say, one more corner mark, or if you do my Nancy Solo, a chassis, Yana, and your papa. And also, uh, where the illegal migration, the knowledge start from, is where we must to tackle it. Baby, I dream, Eddie Bass, say, young fat, so uncle, a brutally, a free, and a second, I have, yes, so I know free. Because when we decide to block uh, the Mediterranean Sea or bring the troops, somebody who have traveled from Brekun, our local place, to uh, Senegal or uh, Gambia or Mauritania or Libya, will not uh, fear about uh, Navy patrolling, but rather he will try to make a way that he can smart his way and uh, have his way to Europe. <laughs> I will free best a baby. I be 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 free say you know, a quite be as or be ba say or be ye. I will be condensed so no only a whole assem say and crop for crop and I'm pursue a motion. I will be pay say a nipper be a fast. So I have started uh, educating them in churches, in communities, especially the women also involved. I feel my friends here say me church and crop for. Said the Bayer, won't be jai, a war, mantem, mantem, any asoria sorrow. In fact, sometimes the, our mothers motivate the young ones to embark on said journey. When sometimes it comes to FINRA, you need to put on clothes which speaks like your son is in Europe. The ancient crop, why do you want say? Yeah, 
it's not all the time by ladies but some guys also have the idea from outside but mostly when you have a scare or a dangerous aspect from your parents or your guidance it may be scare you and you have uh, male concentration on your education say you when you are a future a freak yeah a quebia solo a idea but i'm going to talk to you now so i need a man away jay so uh, i'm working hard to have some assistance in terms of logistics so that i can move from place to place and village to village town to town so that the education and the dangers involved in illegal migration can be addressed so that the young ones see i'm a bomb a home what they say a quite be as you know my call a cloning promo said you're by us and your money by a only i don't want to trust something to your way so by conclusion i think this is a great uh privilege for me to appear the presence of trc we are a queen up a moose one meeting me the abba trc it's not all the time about giving you something but a lot of gambians are listening far from gambia here in in homes gambia for the brie eight year or more more gambia ha and i saw it all too quiet not only gambians alone by i hope by this our story africans may choose the leaders who are supposed to lead us at a certain time uh mejiri said yay african see you bring your candy me ah will be to me eddie and require a to the beard so i think the trc is the foundation for future gambia that we are all looking forward so I hope justice will be saved and the perpetrators will be brought before law. And thank you very much, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, we really appreciate your coming all the way from Ghana. Come and help us um, uh, establish. Sorry, um, uh, Council, you asked for a piece of point of order? You may yeah, have yes, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Ahead. Just go one ahead. little thing. I'm still trying to resolve these numbers and the names. I have one discrepancy, and I think yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's about coffee. And if I just ask that question, perhaps maybe that will help us solve the issue. You mentioned somebody called Fee. Yes. Who began Fenuk Fee and Nikofi? Do you recall his full name? Who can I In fact, that guy, the name I, I know was Fee. Till now, I don't know that. But when they say Fee, it means Kofi. Yeah. So exactly. instead of them to say Kofi, they say Fee. Council, is that number 36? On the list? Just a moment, Mr. Chair. Uh, no. 36 is from Ivory Coast. But there's a coffee there too. Adia coffee. Adia. Adia coffee that's from Ivory Coast. The okay. coffee he's talking about is from Ghana. It's from Ghana. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. So uh, I don't have that coffee in any of the lists. Uh, but this is what I have discovered. Yeah. That we have a list of 51. Correct? We yes. have a list of 51. Yes. Counsel. And to that list, we should add, you said, Daniel Amankwa. Daniel. Robert Essien. Essien. Eric Yaw. Nana Iyao Owusu Ansa. That's all. Victor Oduru. Victor Oduru. Tarzan. Tarzan. Dennis Ohoni Kwachi. So if we add fee, that would give us one, two, three, four five six seven names to add okay right that would give us um 51 plus 7 58 that would give us 58, 58. Right. five eight and plus the nine nigerians that would give us a total of 67. we have received information that nine bodies were buried before the eight Ghanaians were discovered. 
And do we have the names of those nine Nigerians or not yet? No, not yet. Okay. Thank Fine. you very much, Mr. Uh, we will um, uh, issue a list, um, I hope, at the end of the day for really public information to clear any confusion. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mr. we'll do that. Again, uh, Mr. Chiri, thank you so much um, for coming to uh, testify, as thank I was you. saying, to come and help us um, uh, fulfill our mandate to establish um, uh, uh, a record of what really happened, especially on this um, uh, item. Thank you, sir. Thank you again very much. We will resume our proceedings um, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much indeed, and uh, sorry we ran a little bit late. The meeting is adjourned. The pride we take in our brand, the work we put into constantly change the landscape and elevate real estate in the Gambia, it's compared to none. From inception, our goal was to add value to the beautiful Gambian landscape. That's why we are proud innovators of community estates. Kololi Sands is an exceptional piece of work, tailored for ultimate convenience and luxury to bring you an element of finesse that is rare. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحابته الطيبين الطاهرين وسلم تسليما كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه والحمد لله رب العالمين <تصفيق> وبعد حديث الصباح إقواني وأصدقائي وأحبائي في الله الكرام Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu Badi ngolu Hadithu sabah Alfalu Nga mobe sama Momundi toyala Ka bo korda tiyo la nyato nka ya koto Aning fiongfendi ya lanko Iba doku wala koto Mi ya lanko wala mu Ntendiro wala bakela walto Mi ya lanko Wala mu Kanyinya ndiroke kata ila ulula mofulo kang. Kanyinya ndiroke kata ila ulula mofulo kang. Balafa kang. Hinante ya kang. Kano kang. Makoiro kang. Famajio kang. Aning diu nying nyanta bulala ala ulula fulo la yamoro noma nyaming katung kunu ngafo eko nko. Diungu la bulola ala ulula fulola yamaro noma Wole mukabula Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la yamaro noma Diungu la kola diyo ala ulula fulola yamaro la Wole maala wala munyintiko Ka kola di Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la yamaro la Woto Ete miyalon ko itele mu diunguti Isi hakilo tu bake Nyil hakolto Isi hakilo tu bake ifanna kuoto Nyi mmo fulolu ila kuomi ya lanko aba karfaribulu nyimmo fulolto milia lanko ibe nyato bi nyimmo fulolu milia lanko wolle mu ila wulula fulolti milia lanko wolle mu wulubati ani milia lanko wolle mu iwulufati ako wale yatinna sayin nin tata fenfendi ya lanko tata fo baluwo dañini wal mume be wajibiyat mimma ala hakoto wala mu nyinti miya lonko wala mu ulula mo floti ako wala yatinna kila alayhi salatu wassalam ye ñum fanyiko wa kullu mawludin yuladu ala alfitrah fa abawahu yuhawidanihi aw yunassiranihi aw yumajjisanihi momon din wuluta mislima yale kono wa momon di wuluta mislima yale kono iba jela ko saying au tuta mari la wulula mo fulol bulu kiling 
iyaake yahuduti walle yaake majusoti walle yaake nasarati ako waliyatina ibe mim moy la woto nyin toko sayin kabrin fote fato la karola dañi ne la karola balundro la karola jara lo la karola wulula la hakoto dew tema sayin wulula lota nyim mume belale bari iba jela ko ya kato fananke fo yalon di sila nyima taran kendo kan mi yalon ko sama sinimo min bakelaaye nafati sama sinimo min bakelaaye nyato tati min keta di ngunyinti ako waliati na tumala minna ete di ngutata fo ye sute roke iya korosi roke ila hakilola ibanu ifaka wakilo min kela kuoto ibanu ifaka sayo min kela kuoto ibanu ifaka wakilo min kela kuoto aning nya kotota mi yalonko ika taita dimula kuoto dukare kana ke fisir walle jam fantumuti dukare bala fa nyim mo fulol ye dukare hina nyim mo fulol ma dukare ke moti mi yalonko isa ke mo kuluri uti isa ke mo kuluri uti isa ke daji ko nyima kendo tombon mi yalonko wala mu mo kendol mu me bela taran sila nyima kendo ti akoy baaje la ko wala mu fewti mimba dewnyin nafala wala yatinna kila alayhi salatu wassalam sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama ay ñu fagn hadiso kono ako mo sabalal bakker miliyalon ko walde wal taduna alal aljanno kono ako wala mu dolo minnati fana tubita ani miyalon ka ka wulula mo fulo soki ani momi yalon ko wala mu dayus wulula fulo wulula fulo soko ako on ten kuti miyalon ko ko ken dole mu dion wala atina ye yamar nyin nako kabula nyin la yamar fulo noma miyalon ko wala mu wulu bati miyalon ko wala mu wulu fati aqul walidaini aqul walidaini ako ani momi yalon ko wala mu dayus dayus badi wadu dayus le mu moti mi yalon ko abala dimba yal nyato korda ba karafarinama dim musu dinke barinding badinding ibe ba karafarinate mo kile wala buru ala korda nyin koto ala dimba ya nyin koto bare min ka dum ala korda ko na ka finti ama haji soto je min ka dum nyin na korda ko no akata kana atal haji man tarayi ha dindi wol yela nyaadile sungutin dindi wol la nya ba nyaadile kamba dindi wol la nya ba nyaadile dunnu finto korda kono kenu musuto milka dun jang ikatai kana wal kana mune nyini jang iban la dimba yalla kono foy man tarayi dimba yal kono mo kendol lal muiti foy man ke mo kendol ti katun mo mon din kalafi nyin nako idi wo yaaje ani mo kendo liye sino bula nyonoma pour sama sini ukama pour munna sama sini ukama katun waliati nayko daji ko ka sawunne alun daji ko fanan ka halama dim aka yala mandile waliati nay silata nyin na yara fang nin ya tarako mo ibaten ten kan sila nyima kan hanama di ngo di ngo iba tenten kan sila nyima kan iba tenten kan kuluro silo kan mo kenda ya silo kan e sila ta nyin na yara fang di ngo nyin kana asimu bula kore kono mi yalon ko sama sino iba jela ko wo kore mo mo mi yalon ko ke aye ke tanyo tanyo moti aka bulay noma ani kata ani kana tombi son satarela wala daji ko satarela mi yalan ko kana sawu idimula wala yatinna wati o wati ya maro ka ke nyinna ko diw nyanta ke la fennati asaka ya maro no malati diw nyanta ka fennati mi yalan ko afana ba ka tentendi sila nyima min kan ay bula wo noma mu kan kamala sama sinwo iba uh, aba fa aba fa nafala nyaming ani miyalon ko wala bakela abana fala kontano bundati badi ngol ako wala yatinna nyin kaw kamala 
nin tata juube fo wato minna say ila nin topotoro mume be ila nin sayo mume be ila nin wakilo mume be ya fasaro nun de maro leke di ngol karo la badi ngol ya fasaro nun de maro leke di ngol la karo la anin balafa anin wakilo anin sayo anin kato idi ngol la kola waliatina dimbayatia atemu fenneti a uh, uh, ibaji lako han ikanyil mimu mebeke imanke ye ken senti badi ngolu eka etemi yala ko telemu wululati ikanyil mil beke imanke ye ken senti imanke ye ken senti nyadi badi ngolu kila alayhi salatu wassalam ibaji lako ibanyi wakilo min takan nyin di wala jaralo la karola nyin di wala karola bu la wakilo la sayola nyin di wala hakola miyalan koy dunte tema kana mirako hanna ya tara mil ke dingoti e kete bu fa di wolalti wala ikafu nyol ikafu nyo ma mo si nyol mu mu ya je ko nyende ila kano kan ani tala bete ya kan ani tala bala fa kan ya san ka sane la dimba ya liye pour sa ma sinwo e ke di wol kulu kulu nya mimna ya fanan dundi wo kulu o san san kono mando biye insha allah kando aso sotono nyaming idi wol be fan nafala nyaming aning atafana mba fan nafano la nyaming nyin ko ko moko wakilala ala dimba yalla kwoto kabira muslimo faketo akana miko faka nyin ko miliyalon ko ka wolal ke ku kendolti wol maye ku ken senneti badi ngolu nyil maye nyil maye barajolati miyalon ko abarajo nemo warta bati waliyatina kila alayhi salatu wassalam sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama ay nyimfu ala riwayat alhadis ako hana maddi ukata ala junubo dol biye muna yarafan salo buko bon salo buko kafari alquran karanten nafilin ten bari yarafan akakato minke ka fambalundi akakato minke ala sembola kan nafake ala dimba yaliye kan nafake ala dimba yaliye hinante ya anin balafa kan anin demaro kan wayati na hadisu sabah nyin wati wati badi wolu akana kachato miyalonko akawole sambali yenan nyin be mun nyi fenneti miyalonko na dingolu nyante la hako bunya la nyamin horomo bunya katakuolu nyanta bulala nyin kol no ma nyamin ka lo ila hakola ila demaro la bunda la karo mume bela ako wala yatinna diwo nyin isa karandi daji ko nyima kendola daji ko nyima ndo kuluro kuma kaunto ju uh, kuma kaunto ani molla ku ke nyew yato yatinna kuma kanto miyalon ko man nyinya kuma kanto miyalon ko aman ma ni ya dindi ngala kunta nyato juna janning mun kamala aboka fenneti miyalon ko uh, asawo mutara fenta bulu miyalon ko amanya nak ke ku kendoti ak wala yatinna dim ya marla minna wati wati atulo koto ikasai ani wakilo ha ani wakilo nu sai duru koto ma koy ka ma koy singulo jang kana e singulo jang ka reñol le muy tañoti tañol manke tañoti ila ko chika ta misroto ila alquran o chika karam bun tawato sitale ala ala jata kende ala sahaya ala bunda ala karola yewo lo ño yew lo wo noma kando korsiro fo nyaama ni wajibi yata banim fa mu mebe le ma badi ngolu ni wajibi yata banim fa mu mebe le ma muna kunu ngafo yeko ngo e modo nene sotota bari ngolu yaaju be wuro ba kuy ma yaari nyaami wuro ba horomari nyaami wuro ba warali nyaami ite di mu di mu dam malik ako waliyatina kunu kabra ngafo e modo nene nata kila ali salatu wassalam kan ka faaye ko nte faaye na nafulo le domo lafta yediya mu faaye ay na nafulo jo kila kaaye ko sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama akaaye ko anta wa maluka li abika wa problem ol bakeri nabi akaaye ko ite kunkolo ni la nafulo mu mebe 
muy fa taleti problème problème wol bakkeri society kono en keje en ke moy wo sifal la wulu di wol kata foynil balka duñ ñola culte mi yalon ko a manke kouti mi yalon ko alquran wala landro la muwati wala kila la sunna la landro la muwati sallallahu alayhi wasallam anin mol mi yalon ko ini fal ñol ka duñ ñola kolto mi yalon ko a magnan na kela kouti mi yalon ko wol mu kukende kukendo lelti wo magnan na kake adun ko jele wati wati society kono ni fanan en ka moyle woto ba atemu nomat atemu atemu fenati mi yalon ko ni wulula mo furolu sel mo lelti mi yalon ko e nyan e nyan non tale kay lam moy la e nyan tale kabula kunoma mi yalon ko ila yandindo walati mi yalon ko ila sila nyima wala do muy te diwe walati e nyan tabula la min noma ya maroto ani fatandiroto ako wala mu fenti mi yalon ko dingo muna wala beta nafala katun ita dam ma kilin kilin may fan samba nan jang ibotam wolel bala mil yalon ko ila sababo sabu ni ma keta wolelti fo ye samba nan jang du kare e hakiltu nyin ku si falto e hakiltu nyin ku oto ye hakilo murundi koma la ibanu ifakan nga fo e kunun nafa o nafa ya lonko nafa fewle mu adun tayta mari le bulo kono jannin do ko tambe muna fannala dukare ibanu ifala hako di ilaje mi yalon ko wala bi wala wala wajib yate ikunna tuman do bi ye har yaw la soto nya e manka kilinti bari min folon 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 kuma yata dukare hormonu buña di ibanu ifala famma jio di ibanu ifala ibele yamaro moy la nyamin ani la fatandiro ibo moy la nyamin kabulay noma mi yalon ko wala mu yamar nya kendoti ak wala yatina hadisu sabah ay ñim bunda ñin tombon ka sambanan a minketa ka ciarawti samaroti somanda ñinna alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa saka fenti mi yalon ko nafa fem bala bi je a saka fenti mi yalon ko ñatota ko to taba wala bi ak wo ñin kono ak wala yatina hadisu sabah a ka ñin sambanan ka ciado mi yalon ko ntel dam malu ka bula ñonoma ka ño yaamari ku kendola ani ka ño fatandi ko la milialon ko wal manke ku nyima sila tarawolti wala tinna ay wo tombo tombong ka sambanan baadi ngol ye mbal samala jang so man dañina ka duwa mo be sabu nyima la tanko suturo manta beun nyatota laban ku nyima yirwa mba duwa la mo be wala mo man di bamin nyinin kan ala yadi la kayro kono ani barako mba saro di lal jam fo wati koten haza wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh inshallah The pride we take in our brand, the work we put into constantly change the landscape and elevate real estate in the Gambia, it's compared to none. From inception, our goal was to add value to the beautiful Gambian landscape. That's why we are proud innovators of community estates. Kololi Sands is an exceptional piece of work, tailored for ultimate convenience and luxury to bring you an element of finesse that is rare but unique in its own. This is also our pride and joy and we welcome you to the exquisite beauty right here in Kololi 
and right here on the waterfront. For lowly sands, feel the ocean breeze at your doorstep. Gambia may be the smallest country in Africa, but it will host the second largest gathering of world leaders in 2022. To successfully host the OIC summit and put the Gambia on the global stage, the government of the Gambia set up OIC Gambia to mobilize resources for the implementation of key development and infrastructure projects on a scale never seen before. 20 new roads will be constructed across the country and the Bertel Harding Highway will be expanded into a dual carriage highway of two lanes on each side from the airport to Sting Corner. All people in the Gambia deserve clean water and a constant flow of electricity. Therefore, an entirely new water system will be constructed, including new transmission and distribution networks to meet the increasing demand. In order to provide a more reliable supply of electricity, the OIC Gambia project will replace and double the capacity of the Nawak transformers and overhead electric cables. We will equip the police with modern apparatus and technical training in an effort to keep the streets of the Gambia safe. By building the largest international conference center in the region, a five-star hotel with state-of-the-art facilities, first-class mobility services, and improving the VVIP experience at the Banjul International Airport, OIC Gambia will position the Gambia as the leading conference destination in West Africa. With our partners in the tourism sector, we will reinforce the preeminent position of our nation, the Smiling Coast, as a go-to destination. The OIC Gambia will create strategic partnerships that calls for the involvement of local talent and businesses as a matter of requirement. In short, OIC Gambia projects will create jobs, boost commerce, accelerate growth, improve the urban outlook and lifestyles of many families across the Gambia. So let's support the OIC Gambia as it prepares us for one of the biggest global events, OIC Gambia, building today for a better tomorrow. The best phone in the Gambia, AfriPhone, is back in a brand new style. AfriCell, the biggest and the best GSM operator in the Gambia, is setting trends once again. Get an AfriPhone for $350 only and receive one hour of free talk time spread over three months. $350 is only you can get a dual SIM phone with a wireless FM radio, memory card slot, internet access, long-lasting battery, and one hour of free talk time. Where AfriCell goes, oh, oh, nobody. There's to follow. There's to follow. Waka wel mu kampanyo lete Afrika Tiliji ka fo ninkel tanka man toro la aninke sementi yandi pour ila sama kamala foybe banko le kan waram banko e bantala waka wel nim fo ninkel ani jama mo le ka doko ke ka kibaro ni yamaro dada e ka min fintin di televisiono kono rajibu ngolto online platform ani sate cinema alto jamala nyaton ka yakoto waka wel ka molu londi taranse la koyri ngola tamo kata bantala banko kan ani bunda kota ngol nim isula ta foka karan non doko nyino Anin Julaya Gambia Banko Kang. Woto, fo ika haji jara bunda lule njini, nga foko, ite mo moleti, min lafita londi luka ringola IT, warang management. Fo ya lo neko, karandinkira albe Gambia Banko Kangne, minu buko Suna Institute of Science and Technology, Kamsi Technology Inside Training Center, anin Sibek College, daming ika information anin management karandi. Ise ku jamalon no management ani information technology la fanato ni e muna fan computer la of creative design ye bundal soto funding kelie minu mo fason design alti ani karalal minu nene ma karan dot waranka certificate o soto Nabota IT management, fashion design, 